good morning everybody and welcome to rpg limit breaks channel and welcome to the opening race of the final fantasy 5 four job fiesta the run um what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack on straight away with the uh, with the run so we don't kind of go over too much and we'll get we'll get to explaining what the four job fiesta is who we all are and uh, how it's going down because we have a nice chunky o o opening cutscene to get through so uh is everyone ready i'm ready good morning ready as i'm gonna be excellent well then let's get started in five four three two one go well, okay luck everyone yes indeed good um, luck so there are four of us hello i'm bowie i am bowie the hero we have dragon duck hello we have el magus hello and of course we have yagamoth good morning and welcome everyone we are the four stooges who decide to do this stupid thing every year um so the obvious question is what is the run what is the, the final the final fantasy 5 four job fiesta um the four job fiesta was created by revenant kyoku um he basically wanted to put on an event to play a very good game and raise some money for some very good causes um and it's essentially a challenge run we're going to be playing through final final fantasy 5 using only four of the what 22 jobs available in the game um if you don't know much about ff5 it's a very flexible and very customizable game um so much so that it can be completed with pretty much any combination and that's what the four job fiesta is is basically celebrating um, it's uh it's pretty fun we've got four jobs uh Yaga, do you want to take us through the four, the four jobs and the the mode we're playing? So how we're going to be unlocking them? Sure. In a four job fiesta, you traditionally unlock the jobs in well, whenever you get to the crystals, where you get new jobs assigned to you in the game. In this case, our first job is actually going to be a time mage, which actually is a ward job, which means once we get the first crystal, we actually do not have access to our first job yet. Which means we are going to be freelancer, as in the jobless class for quite a while. Then afterwards, once we get to the water crystal, we will unlock the white mage, which will be both available as well as the time mage at the same time. Then once we get to the fire crystal, dancer would be unlocked, but because you don't have dancer at that point, we will have to stick to having at least one white mage and one time mage in our party at all times. And finally, once we get to the earth crystal, we will have the Beastmaster unlocked as well, which means we have to have one Beastmaster, one Time Mage, one Dancer, and one White Mage white in mage, our party yeah. at any given point. So essentially what the mode we're doing is a mode called Chaos. Um, the standard way you're doing it, as Yaga said, is that you'd get your Wind Crystal job, then your Water Crystal job, and it would only pick from the jobs available at those crystals, so you always have a job to use. But there are different modes like random and uh, chaos and classic and all these different things that give you different rule uh, different rule sets. Um, so if you go to the Four Job Fiesta website, I'm pretty sure you can just Google Four Job Fiesta, or there could be a link in chat. Um, hope hopefully the latter, um, and you'll find out all all of all of the rules available there. Um, if you're not satisfied with your jobs, you can go to the job fair and for a little bit of a donation towards the uh, charity, you can choose a job or re-roll your job depending on how much you want to spend or what job you want to grab. Um, obviously, different jobs are more powerful than others in a, in a more wider general sense, so some will be considered more expensive. Um, but again, all those donations go to uh, charity, which is obviously very, very lovely. And the cause this year is very important. So, um, yeah, Thank you to all of the money that has been raised so far, by the way, because there were a variety of what's the word incentives that we had to route around when we were doing our creating our routes to get through the game with these four jobs um so thank you to, to everyone who has donated thus far uh, and hope you and hopefully you're going to enjoy the enjoy the run we've got for you indeed also one thing i would like to make a very special shout out and thank you to Rius here who is actually doing our restream so that is i think like three in the morning for our restream. yeah it, it's three in the morning for him and it's four in the morning for me <laughs> good morning <clears throat> yeah this is this, <laughs> strange strangely a european centric event here with most of the uh most of the runners being from europe so uh, unfortunately because of uh um the time difference someone had to take the hit so <laughs> We appreciate both Didi and Riz for doing that for us. 
but yeah, the cutscenes are coming to the end, and we're going to be, be uh, cracking on. The majority of the beginning will be the same, I think, for all of us across the board. I think we might have a similar concept and, uh, and approach, but uh, um, off we go. Indeed. Unfortunately, this year we cannot actually switch the window color because this is the Pixel Remaster. I do believe this is the first time anything but the Game Boy Advance version is being run for this event, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, welcome to this version. It does have its own quirks and things that you can use and abuse and have to consider because, well, you'll see. It's gonna be fun. Mm, it's certainly an, an interesting version. The reason we're we're playing it this year for anyone who's you know used to seeing the GBA version is this: the Pixel Remaster version came out last year, just after the the Four Job Fiesta ended, because um, it runs from you know basically tonight. All um, the Four Job Fiesta will go live when we finish the run today, um, so uh, yeah, it's going to go live when when we're done, and then it lasts for three months, so it ends in September. Um, but the, the Pixel remaster released just after that, and although people probably did their first playthrough of this version in a Four Job Fiesta, um, I think a lot of people were looking forward to trying the new version in the Four Job Fiesta. Um, so we thought this is the best opportunity to give this version a showcase. Um, you know, if if it if, if it sticks, it sticks. But you know, the GBA version is you know considered to some to be like the best version of the game for many reasons in terms of like access accessibility. And, um, quality of life and stuff like that, so. Indeed. So I am tempting fate. I named my, I named my character Everhate. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. Good well, name. Good luck and all blame. There are there are loads of little interesting things here. Obviously, like the, the text is a lot faster because it all pops up in one go, and we can mash it a lot faster. And in, and in with every single button on the, on the controller, I literally spin my my control sticks on my uh, on my uh, PS3, and it. Just ma just mashes the cutscenes. Um, the, the biggest difference about this about this this version, if you haven't seen this version before, I'd probably say the most critical difference outside of you know some certain strats is that the ATB functions incredibly differently. If you played Final Fantasy V before, you'll know that the ATB kind of has a very different um, st um, standard where the agility kind of like counts for how for how much of your a ATB starts filled every single um, time you finish a turn and also most of our um, most of, of the time we get the first turn guaranteed um, with, with pretty much any encounter um, apart from being back attacked or specific enemies um, but this ATB works like traditional AE ATB and other things like Final Fantasy 6, 7, I don't know, 9, 8, anyone like that where it just kind of starts randomly anywhere on the on on the grid and this massively affects how the battles generally play out a lot more a lot more of the time you'll see enemies getting the first turn um, and we have to kind of play around that Indeed. one other thing you will see is there is a concept of an order battle where the battle both speeds up as well as the characters resume their last action that they did which is nice to try and speed through things but at the same time it can be kind of tricky to control let's put it this way You need to remember exactly who's done what and if someone isn't. So what you'll kind of see us doing is um, setting up or, um, or auto battles here and there where we're trying to get like a specific strat. Specific, specifically when we're coming to grinding or just trying to get through um, areas by like trying to escape and stuff like that. Um, because we have a time mage, we have we have access to the uh, teleport spell later on. So we'll be able to, we, we, we won't really activate auto battle till we know that everyone who is potentially going to get a turn is doing something that is not going to screw us up. Um, before we kind of resort to that, so yeah, uh, you don't want to break your rods in the wrong battles. <laughs> yeah. Also, speaking of fleeing from battles, unlike the original version, um, in this version you have to wait for at least one character to be full on ATB before it will let you run. Uh huh. <clears throat> you used to just Good be able fun. to run like as soon like as soon as the battle started, you'd be able to just try and run away, and if you succeeded, you'd go immediately. Now your ATB has to completely fill, and it's semi-likely that an enemy is going to get a turn before you even get a chance to act. Yeah. Well, to be fair, yeah, I mean, that was it, how it was in the Super Nintendo version as well, but every other we version, just, you could just... Run. Yeah, we, we, we just got the first turn in the SNES version, yeah, because of the way the ATP works. <laughs> and that's really annoying. Um, well, it's, like, it's one of those things, it's just a bit different, a bit of a different flavor. I think uh, the biggest thing is that we just really like and are used to the original <laughs> version. We've been playing it, it for so many years. 
But no, I mean, despite all the things that are a bit weird about it and a bit jank, there are some interesting things about this version that you'll you'll see throughout out the run. Really, really cool differences um, that actually power up certain jobs a lot more than they have been in in the past. We'll we'll talk about it more when when we get there. But red mages are actually not as bad as they were for one particular reason. Dance has got a few new tricks up its sleeve. It's uh, it's got some cool stuff. What do they do to red mage? Rod breaking. <laughs> well, red mage already could do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But like, but, but now uh, it's actually good. <laughs> yeah, rod, 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 rod breaking is incredibly powered up in this version. Doesn't yeah. split damage, and, and you can boost. So. We'll talk about it more when we get there. Because <laughs> like, we gotta wait until like Karnak for it to matter, I guess. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. Also, um, as we've already mentioned before, because this is Chaos Mode, we actually don't unlock the White Mage first, we do unlock the Time Mage first, so... I do believe this is also the first time in an opening race where we have this format. So oh. you wouldn't get to see any jobs like the Freelancer. You might think the biggest challenge to play the game with is the class, well, the job that isn't a job or doesn't have any, but it's actually surprisingly simple because being able to equip everything is actually quite powerful. Yeah. It allows it has a lot a lot of flexibility even though it can't like do specific things. The whole point of it as well <clears throat> is that when you master other jobs, you normally get passives and stuff that are brought over from those jobs to the freelancer. So it powers up. The freelancer gets better and better the more jobs you master. Um, so you know when it comes to things like stats that got to get brought brought over. Um, or like magic power or agility, so mastering thief, summoner, and monk will probably give you the best stats. But then also think other other, other passives like um, dual wielding or countering and all that kind of stuff. And I think evasion chance as well from samurai. Those kinds of things also come over just to to freelancer, which is pretty interesting. It's a shame we don't get to use freelancer later on in the run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, chaos is one of those interesting ones where yeah, yeah any job can can come and and the, some modes, some modes are really really tricky because um, you know you could, you could you could imagine getting all Earth jobs and just being for freelance for the entire beginning. Um, things like that can change um, you know how quickly you power up because a, a big part of the routing for us at least in this in this version or in, in, at least for this run is a ABP grinding and. Um, that particular part of the route outside of just our levels, making sure we have the skills, um, the appropriate skills we need to do the strats we're trying to do. Um, so, you know, all of the beginning, we don't get any a a a a b p from any of the early bosses. So, and what is what three bosses anyway? So it's not it's not that many, but four. But still, it yeah, adds up. One of the biggest quality of life. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is actually true, but it's one thing I feel, and I've noticed it just because of how things like poison works. But um, one of the quality of life um, changes they made for this whole series, the Pixel Remasters, is that you can move diagonally. Now I'm pretty sure that moving diagonally will move you two spaces up and right, but at the cost of only one step. If you, yep. every, 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 every time you move upright or diagonally, you only get one poison tick. So I think that's the same of the, the, the same is true of steps for your next encounter. So wherever you can move diagonally, it's actually much better to kind of mitigate encounters. I yeah, think. it is. People have actually people actually have looked into that. It um, it it operates on a threat index, and basically whenever you finish a battle, it generates a number, and then it basically saves that to your file. So if you save and reload, you're gonna get an encounter on and after the exact same number of steps. But diagonal steps do absolutely only count as one step compared to uh, um, cardinal directions. <clears throat> Also, fun fact, because there are certain things you want to avoid diagonally, like falling into holes, you can actually skip those holes or plow poison plants by just walking diagonally past them. It works. So, I don't know about you guys, but um, I've been fighting two encounters in the uh, caves that we were in, just kind of to lighten up the experience a little bit better. Nope. Nope. The thing is, I, I figured out that you only lose like one or two seconds at most because the escape text lingers on the screen for such a long time when you actually fight the battle and you get a good turn order. You actually can get the escape message to go away faster if you activate auto battle after you run. True. Yes. 
but it's still a kind of well a lot around there for a really long time for some reason. I am gonna do a little bit of fighting in the Wind Shrine, but not until after Wing Raptor. I'm actually gonna go to level five before I hit. Oh crap! I just told the pirate to steer the ship. <laughs> well, pirate steering the ship today. <laughs> uh, I'm not even there yet. And he doesn't know how to go diagonally. Oh boy, I can get even diagonal tiles. The only game is going to be very particular. I will guess. Uh, sure. I think we think we'll probably be doing similar similar things at the beginning, probably like grinding level five after Wing Raptor. That ATP. <laughs> One thing as well that we have, which is going to be a little bit helpful, is oh, back attack, lovely. Um, is we have uh, quick saves, um, and also it also saves on every single screen transition. Um, but quick saving is going to be important to you know grinding in case you get bodied mid grind. Um, but uh, there are, we have noted some some like some some specific like soft locks here that can happen from like weird um, auto battle act activation. So it's important to be careful with certain stuff just to make sure we don't um, cock ourselves up basically. Uh, this might be okay. I think Ferris is going to get an extra turn. Nice. Got lucky, got lucky on my ATB. Got managed to get Wing Raptor down before he went in his shell. Wow. I've never had that, I've never had that happen before. <laughs> it's really <laughs> rare, and it has to be Ferris Leonard. It has to be whoever doesn't have the knife equipped. It's the only way it works. I genuinely, I didn't even think it was it was possible to outturn Wing Raptor this time. I didn't either until it just kind of randomly happened, and I'm like, oh, so that's how it works. Probably could have, could have got it done that time. Actually. Auto battle also speeds up the way that the enemies die off, off screen as well. So most bosses, we were going to be in auto just to kind of like speed up that. Uh... Yeah, we'll be in auto as much as we can unless we have like very specific things we need to be doing. Which as the game goes, as the game goes on, we're going to have more complex strats and everything. So later bosses may not see as much auto battle, but early bosses definitely will. <clears throat> Indeed, I had three times the wind from the Black Raptor. Ouch. A lot of wind. He's, I swear they said it so he does that more often now. Uh, yeah, I've, the, the first time I've ever seen um, a physical attack was just now. <laughs> I've only ever ever seen him do wind. So, you guys have been getting some pretty interesting luck recently. <clears throat> so from what I'm seeing in chat, it looks like 5k was actually met before the run started, so we are doing all tablets. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <clears throat> Which is good because I think most of us want to at least have holy. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward without it, but I would have a backup plan. I, I really am tempted to go back down to the wing wrap floor because you can get a much more common three enemy encounters there, but you do have to deal with potential aero. So it's like. You don't want to get back attacked by mold, mold winds, they will body you. At least they only do their wind attack on the second turn. Ah, uh, they do a wind attack only if they're alone. Really? Oh, okay. sure That's interesting. interesting. I don't. I've never seen them do it in a pack, but I definitely have seen them do it alone. If I remember correct, if I remember the script properly. And again, this is the Pixar remaster. <laughs> yeah, they, they could have changed it for all I know, but I haven't seen it except for when it was when one's alone. So that I don't. Think they changed it, but who knows? Yep, yep. So I hope I don't <laughs> get my cactus murdered before car boss this time. <laughs> because Phoenix Towns are worth quite a bit of money, and I actually sell pretty much all of them to buy lots later. I have a leeway, a slight one. I already had to use one too. So yeah, that was good. So I'm actually doing my grinding after um, 
most of my grinding anyway is going to be after picking up the crystals because um, I'm going to leave out the front of the of the uh, wind shrine so I can skip the cutscene with the uh, chocobo telling you about the jobs. Yeah, I was doing that originally too. I'm just going to pick up all the items I want to grab on the way out instead of the way in like usual. But I want to do most of the grind here on floor 3. Um, because this is where it has the, you have the best chance of getting triple uh, three enemies instead of only two. Let's just get many wizards every single time. Easy. Thing is, I don't have enough potions to necessarily go out the front anymore, anyways. Yeah, yeah. You would have to get the potions from that guy. Yep. So I just hope that the tentacle monsters don't destroy me. <laughs> do you not buy potions? I do buy potions. But they. Especially the one that uh, casts electric things. That one can be a bit mean. Meany. I think he does like 72 damage or something like that. With the electrocute, which normally is not an issue, but this early on, you barely have that much HP to begin with. That is true. One thing I do appreciate that they changed from when the Pixel Remaster was originally released. You don't get your party move back to the front row all the time at any moment, so that's nice. <coughs> Alrighty, has anybody arrived in the city yet? I'm about to. I will be shortly, I just have a couple more fights to do. Right. So, I don't know about your routes, but pretty much I will guess everybody has more or less the same route here. We're gonna go into the beginner's house, tell them that we are beginning a new adventure. Sure, we're not beginners, but it's a new adventure anyway, so we are beginning. So uh, we get a bunch of items and stuff out of here, which is very convenient, because a lot of these are worth quite a bit of money. As well as... I'm actually not going for the leather shoes, but there's a variety of items just kind of hidden throughout the town as well. I'm not gonna bother buying anything from the shops outside of potions. And for that, I will be selling the ether. And then we have more cutscenes. Oh yeah, don't forget the piano. Right, I forget them. Down. I buy a couple pieces of equipment here. Uh, just topping out my leather caps for whoever doesn't have one. And I buy one broadsword to replace the knife with. But that's And then a bunch of potions. But other than that, I don't really buy that much. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, fun fact, this will be the last time I buy armor until World 3. Wow. I at least get the Iron Shield and stuff. Yeah, I actually never buy armor until World 3. Wow. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'm playing it reasonably safe by getting a Sage of Surplus for Archeoavis. I mean, yeah, I was like originally buying hats and stuff at some point. No, I was like, well, if you kill it fast enough, you don't take damage, right? So <laughs> I put everything into rods instead. Yep. Then again, the leather stuff is cheap enough, I suppose. Yeah, I just... Yeah. It, at this point, the one defense does kind of matter, so it's kind of nice just for random battles and not taking quite as much damage, but um, as the game goes on, it's just like, eh, I don't really need armor. I can just rod... I can just break a rod and they'll die. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much true. The thing is, if you have 71 or 72 HP, I think at level 4 with Lena and Ferris, they can die to Carboss in 2 hits with less than 2 defense. Oh no, they're gonna miss AP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's more about speeding up the battle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lena is a bit unfortunate. She needs level 6 for a multiplier, I believe, so she won't do much damage anyways. Lena does get an agility multiplier for daggers at level 5, just not the strength multiplier behind it. Yeah. At level 6, everybody gets both of them, which, um, it'll be re it, like, Ferris is going to be doing the most damage for a little while, because, um, she has both of the multipliers at level 5. Butts mm. and, uh, I mean, everyone else, unfortunately, doesn't have daggers right now, so you won't notice it, but we're going to hope for a few drops on the, um, on the, uh, 
in the ship graveyard. Yep, that gives out nice. They're one less attack power, but that extra di that extra attack multiplier is uh, huge at this point in the game. Alright, this time I didn't sell the Phoenix Towns already, so it's gonna be easier. Because in my practice run I decided to sell the Phoenix Towns already, <laughs> and I was wondering why I couldn't afford the Rods later. I hold off quite a while before um, selling off Phoenix Downs, but I do. I prefer not to have to use them if I don't have to, because I do have to pawn them at some point. Yep. But better to have them when you need them, I guess. Also, I don't know how much delay there is on the restream, but Piano Flex. Piano coming. Flex, yes. Watch to speed up my battle text actually. And just put that onto the onto the config. I'm not sure about, about the other the others as well, but the, the way battle speed works in this is kind of interesting because like uh, it's hard sometimes to input your in your like actions quickly, so the enemies can sometimes get a lot of turns on very fast. So we will be changing between um, certain speeds throughout the run just to kind of. Um, I stay on very fast. Until the entire time. Bus. Yeah. Interesting. There are there, right. there are some I go to slow forge just to make sure, but I'm mostly on fast or very fast. I slow down on necrophobe. Necro mm. is probably some yeah yeah. So what you can do, which is actually it's so funny, like you, time mage has the speed spell, which is like in the other versions you're like, ha, oh, this is so useless, and here it's like, okay, maybe I should I should use that sometimes in battle. Yeah, Cause that's it, a weird spell. Yeah, it does actually set your battle speed to slowest uh, in battle, and it's actually kind of useful if you, for instance, forget to like set the battle speed to slowest. Like, who would do that? But you know, <laughs> piano flex. That's actually, kind of a good thing because you don't have too many for that then either. It, it does take up an action, of course, but yeah. An animation. But also, you can have the first part of the battle go faster. This is true. But what would have a two-part battle in this game? I yeah, don't know. No. All the flexes. Yeah, and the other versions, like the speed spell, is just kind of eh. Because <laughs> I, I believe usually it sets it to battle speed three as well, which is like kind of whatever. No, that yeah, was five. five. It, it's three. It's actually. It's... It's, it's somewhere like, it's around there. Between. It's actually some, at least in the Super Nintendo version, it's somewhere in between the battle speeds, oddly enough, with the valley. It's, I don't remember which in between it is exactly. It's like between two or three or three or four. Did I just have a double boat on the screen there? Yes. Yep, it happens. It happens. Wow. Oh, uh, sure. Don't electric climb me, please. You know, I just realized when I out I cooked the rod. It's actually doing pretty good damage. Huh. So, fun fact about the enemies here uh, and Ferris in this instance, <laughs> which always is interesting to point out. Actually, the rod is doing pretty well here. <laughs> you have it on Lena? Yeah, I didn't mean to equip it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing more damage it's... than the knife. It's pretty good on Lena, actually. Is it just rod or was it staff as well that became became magic based? I, I know, I know, rods are now magic based, so like they get reflect. If you try and hit someone with reflect, even if it's just a physical hit from that, it still reflects. Them. I think it's you can't, rod. you can't like, you can't unsleep and unconfuse people. Wow, this Carl, one. please. Alrighty, good luck. 
Let's see how that's gonna go. So Carabos has 650 HP, uh, no defense. He's weak to lightning, but well, we don't really have access to any lightning type weapons or spells because we are a freelancer and it's early in the game. So we're just gonna try and hit it until it dies. It can do three things. It can do a regular physical attack. It can do a field attack, which is a regular physical attack, as well as actually putting a character into, well, a stun state. It can use a tail screw, which puts a character into critical HP, meaning 10 HP or less remaining. And that's kind of all it can do. It's like a specific turn order here, but I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm not keeping track of that one. I even auto battle the potion because the auto battle actually automatically targets the lowest HP character, and Lena doesn't deal that much damage anyway. Oh, so that's yeah. why you don't have any potions, I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. I don't even bother. Like, I don't know. When somebody dies here, it's, uh, bosses only you give AP in this game, no experience. And since we're free dancer, the AP are not wasted, so we don't really have to bother like reviving if somebody dies. It's of course faster if people don't die, but yeah. Yep. Well, with this fight, we get a free refill. Right? Wow, cool! Three different characters under paralyzed. That's great. Yeah, triple feeler, always fun. So one in three chance each turn. And Lena was the only one who didn't get hit with it. Oh, there's a <laughs> too. Yeah, I had a pretty terrible battle in practice, which is why I threw potions much more frequently than maybe I needed to. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, I tried. I tried to do this lower level actually to see if I can, but yeah, it can get complicated if you do it on lower than level four or five ish. That was cool. Lena was the only one not to get paralyzed. <laughs> so. I see the question in chat coming up again. Good morning and welcome everybody. Um, this is Chaos mode, which means we can get any job at any crystal, so to speak. And in this case, we got a water job in, at the Wind Crystal, at the very first one. So, which we don't have access to yet. So Time Mage was unlocked once we got the Wind Crystal, which we can't get yet. And once we get the Water Crystal, White Mage will be unlocked. But we also will have both access to White and Time Mage at that point at the same time. So until we get to the Water Crystal, we have to stick to Freelancer because, well, we don't have anything else. Uh, when you traditionally play <coughs> Fort of Fiesta, you only get to know what job you have once you get to the Crystal and actually unlock the things. For us, because we are doing a race and preparation thing here, um, we already know which classes and jobs we're going to get anyways. So that's a slight difference compared to how it casually works. The, the order of unlocks was determined by the voting. So the most voted for job was Time Mage, and then the second most voted for job was White Mage, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, that, that was... Oh yeah, 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 they were paid for, yeah, yeah. They, they, this this team in particular was, yeah. It was one of those things where we were having, like, Berserk was back, and it was an interesting combination beforehand. When I say, when I say interesting, I mean for you guys, not for us. Disastrous, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was just gonna be horrible. Um, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I did start a little. Come on, let's push the time mage because I haven't had time mage in I think about five five years of of fiestas. Um, and then yeah, there's like a very generous person who put some money towards a lot of those jobs. So it's uh, it's awesome. Good causes and good jobs. Let's go. Yep. I mean, I did find the berserker. That was the first miss on the flail. I don't know whether you guys pick up the flail, but that thing um, has a high damage variance, fifty percent. And it can miss 30% of the time. I, do, mm. I, I actually do pick it up, but I don't use it for a little while. Yeah. He's on the lure, huh? But... Yeah. It neg I just it, put, the put uh, it flail also negates 75% um, of the enemy's defense. So it's actually really useful for Garula simply because he already he has 7 defense. Wow. Elixir and the dagger. I'm Jeez, so shocked right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Hashtag classic. just Jagger things, yeah. Rare drops in this game are a 1 in 16 chance. So the rare drop from the skeleton is a dagger, and the rare drop from these water thingies is an elixir. Uh, obviously, obviously, obviously it, it, it's a 1 in 1 for, for a Jagger moth. No, let's be fair. He doesn't get. He didn't. He didn't get two elixirs and two daggers. So it was a. It's a one in five. We'll call. We'll call it one in two. 
Maybe he just didn't see it. Maybe, maybe it was too and he just didn't see it. <laughs> That's good. That's good content. <laughs> yep. But yeah, um, they did actually keep the damage formulas for basically everything in the game, except for dance. Dance seems to be weird. But either way, compared to the original, this is pretty much we could know exactly how much damage we can do with various weapons at which levels, with which characters, with which strength, and stuff like that. Which is convenient, because now we know that at level 6, every one of our characters actually gets a decent amount of, well, boost, so to speak, to the damage. I'd like to see more than just single skeletons, but I don't want to fight battles that don't have skeletons, because I want that chance at a dagger drop. Uh, I don't think this elixir is thank you, game. I wish you could sell elixirs in this game for money, but not really worth anything. Imagine they would yeah. be worth 25000 That would be insane. Yeah, they cost a lot, don't they? And it'd be like, yeah, yeah, 50k. Mm. Alright, cool, we'll my controller good. didn't decide to give me a phantom left input there and put me right in the hole. <clears throat> there's actually a hole, for, for those who don't know, there's actually a hole directly to the left of the um, entrance to this uh, safe room here. Um, and the controller I'm using just sometimes is like, hey, you know, diagonals are really sensitive, so I'm gonna put you over to the left and you're gonna fall into the damn thing. And it's you're gonna really like cool. it. <laughs> There's an easy way to avoid that. Just playing keyboard. <laughs> no. And he has a sticky keyboard key. I don't know. Oh, sticky keys. Yeah. These kind of games, I just, I just can't play with the keyboard. Yeah, I need to play on controller as well. Like. Unfortunately, the only controller I've got that I've got that's good that will work with this game on PC is uh, an Xbox 360 controller. So good luck me. Uh, yeah, that D-pad is awful. You see the 360 controller as a controller, it's an issue. It's a fine controller. I just really the hate the D-pad. The yeah. D-pad's yeah. bad. Like, there's... I don't, I don't think there's too many people who like the D-pad on this thing. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, trying, imagine being being a fighting game game player and all you have is a, is a 3 360 pad. Jeez. <laughs> it's not happening, it's not happening. <laughs> nope. Fortunately, this game has no issues with the Switch controller. That's what I'm using. Oh, no, nice. DualShock 3 for me. Oh, so we're all using different types. Nice back attack. I got one so far. Yeah, one one really bad thing about bad, bad back attacks in this version is that you do, you do kind of want to be in the back row by default, unlike you know every other version, because like you can't just randomly get hit by stuff. So like in the back attack, you end up being in the front row usually. Like for now, it doesn't matter too much, but later on, it can get very dicey in some situations if you get a bad back attack. Indeed. Oh my goodness. I'm actually kind of glad we didn't get a feat, because that would be even faster speed. And it's already oh, yeah. difficult to control the movement here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's already a disaster, yeah. I'm like taking extra steps everywhere. Yeah, the characters feel very slippery in this. Slow, eh? Sure, eh? <laughs> How many elixirs did you guys get so far? Uh, zero. One. Zero? Of course zero. I'm at three. <laughs> I didn't get any in practice, so... That'll be interesting. I also got zero daggers, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Fun fact about daggers, they actually have kind of a broken damage formula, but because they actually imported the damage formula exactly from the original game, um, they still have the broken formula, or the broken calculation, which is actually a good thing, because if I'm not mistaken, the previous PC version, mobile version I guess, actually fixed the dagger formula, but that made all the daggers pretty much ridiculously overpowered, 
So you would either have to rebalance the dagger damage, or you just implement the old dagger formula where daggers are still basically the best types of weapons, but not nearly as broken. But also, because of that, there's the kind of funny part where if you level up, I think Ferris at level 6, 7, actually loses damage when she uses her dagger compared to the previous level. Uh, I believe it's 8 when she loses it. Is it 8? That sounds about right. I actually have a little spreadsheet here. Nice. Not a terrible fight. Actually, it's way later for losing the damage. Oh well. But yeah, um, effectively, the original Super Nintendo version they seem to have balanced the dagger attack power around the bugged formula, not realizing that while well, it was bugged. But if you fix the formula, then the daggers are of course going to be very overpowered because they would get effectively damage boost from both agility and strength equally. Which only applies to the chicken knife in this game, which, if I'm not mistaken, we're still allowed to use. We are, so I'll use that. That's so that's gonna make that easier. <laughs> Unless you guys have something to say about it. Libra, that's another good that's another good one. Good luck. I'm like cutting into battle now. Siren, she has Sweet. Haste. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be good. Haste never makes for a fun fight. Libra. I actually kind of like it for this one, because it's faster to her under trace. Piano Flex! You're already there. Sheesh. You get used to it, Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that no. So my characters are level 6 and they have just enough HP to survive a... Oh my goodness. To survive a front row. Slapping. Slapping. But I forgot that they don't automatically target Siren with potions when I... Yeah. Oh, that, that was interesting. Ferris got up, got damaged by poison, swung her knife, then took the damage and died. Curious. I've... Okay. <laughs> like, the, the damage by poison message came up before Ferris's turn did, but Ferris still got to attack. Uh... Oh, no. Through the fight. It was actually not a bad fight. Yeah, aside from me forgetting about the uh, auto battle thing, it was actually pretty good for my entry. Alright, I have my characters at level 6, and that's what they are gonna stay for, well, until like Fire Crystal. There you go. Firing down. I lost Faris. Accidentally rode her when I was trying to go to item. One of the nice things about the Pixel Remaster is that poison doesn't flash the entire screen. <laughs> Just on the character. Oh, actually, uh -huh. Alrighty. Piano Flex. Piano Flex! We just stole that barkeeper's uh, entire life savings. Yeah, it's going to be invested for a good cause, right? It's fine. Yo, at the inn to get uh, Ferris back up. I'm gonna use a tent later. I was actually able to skip the tent. It's I didn't get hit at all, almost. Never seen before, to be honest. I guess we're not really losing up today. Either way, that's yeah, perfect. No. Oh. Flex. No flex yet. Where's the flex? 
In that city over there, we picked up an ice rod, and I'm pretty sure everybody is going to break that ice rod on the next boss coming in. Yep. The next boss is... Oh, yeah. Magiza, and she only has like 750, 650 HP, one or the other. Not enough. Yeah, yeah not <laughs> enough to survive breaking ice rod, because breaking rods in this game cast a level 3 spell of something. And to give you a frame of reference, uh, level 1 spells have like a 50 attack power? Or was that level 2? That was actually level 2 spell. Level Either two, way. Yeah. I think it's 15 for level 1, 50 for level 2. Level 1 spells are pretty weak, actually. Yeah, level 1 spells are not particularly good unless you target an enemy's weakness. So effectively, we hit the enemies with a spell that is 10 times stronger than the level 1 spells because we break the rod. Oh, only Gala for life now. Uh oh. Nate's gonna get poisoned. Might, might want to throw in a quick save or something. I throw quick freaking everywhere because I'm afraid of the game locking up on me. Yeah, that's you do push the game. I, I, I uh, um, you, you've like kept mentioning like soft locks left, right, and center. I just I've seen one of the auto battle ones, and that's it. And I just I don't know how you broke it. So incredibly. I've gotten like, like ten just... in my like entire practice sessions. It's uh, yeah. I don't know what you do. But I, don't know. I was just playing the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, th I think I found more. Uh, I think I found more ways to lock this game up than the three of you combined. It's always different too, right? It's like it's always a different thing that causes it. It's crazy. Yep. Just when you think, oh, I got the soft lock thing figured out. Oh no, this also soft locks the game. All right, sweet. <laughs> Great. Although, for the counter idea, I feel like the one counter I would like to see is self meteor or self holy counter because. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be yeah. a good one. Oh, that, they, uh, they did some things to uh, memory cursor and that aren't. Mm, yeah. It's a little too literal. It's a little too literal. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm it, going to remember everything. That, that is the thing in every Pixel remaster, though. Like, that targeting is literally in mm. all of them. The thing, the thing I found which is really, really fascinating is uh, later on we'll be using a, a very spe a very powerful spell with a time mage called Quick, which basically gives you two actions, but they're separate actions. It's almost like it's it's separate from everything else. So the targeting is the issue that we're talking about where, like, you know, if we if we use a heal on someone, then we go to, like, Comet or to a fire spell to attack, it will still be targeting us because it, it remembers that. But the Quick targeting is a separate memory, so it remembers different targets um, in within quick than outside side of it, which is really bizarre. Don't know why it does that, but yeah. it also screws up, up with auto battle as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna not gonna bother with that. So I'm not sure if it was mentioned but Magissa drops a very important item for us coming up, which is the uh, the whip. And the whip is uh, it can is full damage from back row, but mo most importantly is it, it it can inflict paralyze. A status which the next boss, Galura, is weak against. So the good thing about having a freelancer in these situations is that we can equip the whip and use that to paralyze Garula and hopefully shut him down. Um, I'm not sure what your strategy is for Garula, Gar Gar guys, but mine is um, attack and then auto battle. And mm -hmm. is that a <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, pretty much. I actually buy iron armor and an iron shield because with all the defensive items combined, which you also get a mithril helm from the cutscene earlier. As well as the Silver Ring, you actually have just enough defense to nullify Garula's damage entirely. So for me, worst case scenario, it's just going to be one character using the whip on Garula if he kills everybody else. But that one character basically can't die. Yep. Well. Also, in case you're wondering, the little blue dragon vibrant thing cannot fly over mountains, which is why we're kind of locked in this area and can't go anywhere else. <sighs> Rude enemies. Stop in town there to steal that person's reading glasses. Yeah, I sometimes grab the specs. I wasn't sure if I were cute if I wanted to keep, keep grabbing them. Plus one defense, plus immunity. They're the same strength as, le as leather shoes in terms of defense, but immunity to block blind, which is... I mostly want him to. Yeah. Um, Dragon Dark, if you have some time, could you change the 
sensitivity settings on Discord for your voice. Because you're cutting out occasionally on my end, at least. Oh, uh, yeah. Getting here. Yeah, just make it so we can hear everything effectively. <laughs> you, you don't want to hear that. This controller is loud. I mean, I personally reading. enjoy controller clicking. I know a lot of people don't. I like it. Eh. Controller ASMR with El Magus. Ooh, missing is not good there. Paris. Man, that's luck, true. that'll be better. Two misses already, jeez. Three! Oh my god, Ferris, what are you doing? You're playing for the other team, aren't you? <laughs> Dear god, I've never missed here! The heck? The one, ne one negative thing about this remake, I don't, don't know why they, they took it out, but there's no animation when you actually land paralyzed, so you just have to hope that you, that you got it. Um, but there normally is an, an, an animation, or well, at least there is in the GBA and the SNES versions. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not here. Yep. That's really, really Thank bizarre you. that forgot about that one. Jeez. Five misses in this fight. I've never missed here before, I swear. <laughs> with the whip? Yeah. You can miss with the whip? Yeah. I've definitely missed with it. Five, oh, yeah, five sure. times? I didn't even it realize it didn't have it a hundred only, it, it only guaranteed hits the, uh, the aerial units, right? Well, yeah, those it does. Tarula is very demonstrably not, <laughs> not aerial, though, other than that. Well, I mean, neither are turtles or ice soldiers, but they yeah, still... Yeah, but, you know... Uh, but... I can no, ninja. <laughs> turtles can secretly spread wings and fly. Let me go check something, because I think I forgot something, like an idiot. Well, at least he didn't do anything nasty. I also missed Paralyze like twice, but he got like two turns. Absolutely rude. Preemptive strikes are not even that great in this game because the message box lasts forever. Mm hmm. Still take it. Yeah, still better than getting back attack. Which is both the 1 in 16 chance, I think. No, don't do- oh. Seriously? <laughs> well, I guess I won't have a Ferris for Garula battle here. What? There's a save point if you need to use the tent. No, that is behind me. I'm not gonna go back there. Oh! Oh, oh. I see. Yeah, it's fine. It's... The elephant's going to do the thing. It's fine. Basically, as I said, worst case scenario, Gallop is basically gonna solo this because they also nerfed the HP leak status effect, which Garula can do. So the way Garula works, it has 1300 HP. Once it drops below 800 HP remaining, it will start counterattacking twice. And these counterattacks, well, he hits like a trap, let's put it this way, unless you have really high defense. And one of these counter attacks is Rush, which can inflict HP leak status, so you continuously lose HP. And normally that is actually very dangerous at lower levels with low maximum HP. But in this one, not too bad. Well, it is just Gallop. Good luck. Wow. Not only, oh man. Not only did you miss the Paralyze, you also got like him to attack buffs twice. That's crazy. Yep. But it's fine. It's not even that slow. I mean, that's what I do. I, I only have to whip user attack. For that very reason, so you can actually eliminate the possibility of counterattacks. This is what I actually don't like about auto battle, because, yeah. It makes the fights very, or a lot of fights very, well... Uninteresting, I guess. 
You don't get to do much. Yeah. You don't have to be very smart about things. I mean, I guess set up ways, but eh. Eh. Okay. That couldn't have gone any better, I don't think. Okay, so the whip apparently has 90% hits and Kurula has zero, zero evasion. So I missed five times. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's a 50% chance to paralyze. Hmm. Oh, that's normal. I missed two. So that's kind of, yeah. Okay. Everyone died at, at the very end. It wasn't a, par a paralyzed for two attacks at the end, but other than that, it went fine. Say goodbye to the mimic crystal because we're not gonna see it. No all bosses incentives? Feels bad. <laughs> Just a shame. Speaking of incentives. If you want to be really generous, since this is also for charity, there is an incentive for us to beat Omega, but to be fair, it is pretty far away. Anybody got 10k? <laughs> no? <laughs> well, bummer. Also, I think El Magus has already passed the point where he finally got the second crystal unlocked, which means he now has to have at least one time mage and one white mage in his party at any given point. That is correct. It will probably, for most of us, we are going to have three time mages and one white mage in most cases, unless we want to specifically like put ability points on something, I'm guessing. Yeah. I, 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 that. I yeah. literally go three time, one white, until uh, I unlock the other jobs. Yep, same. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I originally had two white mages here at the beginning, so I get white magic level 1 on everybody. Mm. Until I realized that worst case scenario, you can briefly turn somebody into a white mage. Yeah. <laughs> this spell. Exactly. Which is kind of an interesting point to note. In Final Fantasy V, you can ch uh, change your jobs at any given point on any character you want. Which is quite neat. The only downside is you may lose some HP or max or MP based on the job you have selected next. Hi, Sildra. Please put your Fs in chat for Sildra. The true best girl of, of her five. A haunting sound, sound, sound effect. <laughs> We do, we do apologize for having to sit you through this uh, four times, each time. <laughs> well, eight times technically because it happens at the uh, ship graveyard as well, which is just before. Maybe real quick about the jobs that we just unlock. White Mage is your traditional healer. You can only equip staves and the flail, curiously enough, which is also considered a staff weapon. For the most part, um, the White Mage is probably just going to sit back and heal on the menu, from what I can tell. But the Time Mage is the character that is going to carry basically most things for most of the time, since we can equip rods. And rods in this game are, in the original game as well as the remaster here, quite powerful to say the least. Because they allow us to effectively break these rods. Each rod costs 750 gold, so it's not necessarily cheap, at least not in the early game. And that will unleash a level 3 spell. And it affects the remaster only. You actually get to 
hit every enemy with a full power level 3 spell rather than half power, which would be the case for every other version. Plus, you can actually use the rods from the inventory without having to equip them. You still need to be able to equip them in order to break them, but you don't have to equip them in order to use them, so you can actually get an additional 50% boost from equipping the rod, because equipping a frost rod and then casting a frost spell uh, boosts your frost damage by 50%. So effectively, we have like a 185 times 1.5 277. 277. Yeah, it's basically ridiculously strong as the short version. And especially since the damage isn't split among yeah. all targets. I was going to say that is, that is the biggest thing, I think, is it doesn't split the damage either. It's, it's maximum damage as if it, as if it was a, uh, a solo enemy on the entire lot. So it, 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 as an AoE option, it's even better, like twofold, because it doesn't split and you can boost it, which is a bit silly. Yep. Normally awesome. that's kind of the quirk of the summoner where you hit all targets for the same damage. So. Also, one other nice change they made to this version is that all the cutscenes where you used to just have to sit there and wait for a little while for something to happen, um, they just added an extra trigger that you can trigger it instantly. You used to have to be able to, you have to, you used to have to wait for Sid to blow the wall open, and it was like, I don't know, like 30, 40 seconds or something. Now you just walk down to a jail cell door and he'll just blow it up automatically. Yeah. In practice, more than once, I've just kind of been sitting around not realizing I should actually walk to the trigger. Yeah. I do that with the with the uh, with the cryo cut scene. In World Two is a scene where like you have to wait for cryo to do something. But, but you can just talk to her now. <laughs> yep. Yay! Get up, cryo. We have a boss to defeat. Because yeah. normally it's like when you talk to her, it's like we should probably leave her alone for a while. We should we should just leave her to it. Just leave her to it. <laughs> so you feel like you're bothering her, but this time you want to do that. The pixel mouse is faster to go around the right side to get out of the jail. Oh. Minor difference. difference. I mean, one gives you slightly less optimal line outside. You lose like 10 frames. How many of frames a uh, step of movement is in this? I already opened and closed my menu by accident already, so I lost all the frames I gained. Spells Cure and Poisona. They're both cheap and they can come in handy. Mostly I want to spend my money on this stuff. Fairly rude. The biggest time that we have to worry about about money is World 1. World 1 is where it costs a lot to kind of get through stuff, so a lot of the stuff we're picking up is usually just a sellable, just to give us more money for rods. World 2 it eases up a little bit. Because we, we can't buy rods in one, so we can't poison ones, but I'm not sure if anyway, any of you do those. Nah, um, probably not. Um, but uh, yeah, when, when we get back to World 3, it's when we need more money, so it's uh, we, everything we grab in World 2 is just going to be offloaded in World 3. Rip the tent, I saves. Oh shoot, I forgot to buy gravity. That's bad. I'm going to actually remember to equip my characters this time. The last. Last run I did, I just forgot to do it before running through the ship, and I just went through completely naked. Whoops. Before you change my job there now, I should Alrighty, welcome to the fire ship. If you have a thief, you can load up on high potions. We don't have a thief, so well, they don't do that. <laughs> but there's a bunch of items that you can grab. I don't know how much the others are going to grab, but I basically grab everything. May need to be able to sell for rods later. I'm grabbing everything but the elixir up on the top floor. Yeah, that makes sense. 
that one's just a little bit too far, far out of the way for me to want to go after, but I get everything else. Um, there's a couple items that are kind of way out of the way, like the Thief's Glove and the uh, Green Beret, but those are worth almost four rods between the two items. Yep. Indeed. Oops. Huh, okay, I didn't even notice that before. So, if you get confused and you're trying to run away, the character who's confused will run towards the enemies and not away from them. Wait, really? <laughs> I, just, I just had a galoof running, trying to run to the left. I've never noticed that before. That's a nice touch. Oh, I see. And upcoming is a liquid flame, or might already be hot with the feet of it on Mega's side. Liquid flame has 3000 HP, is weak to ice, unless it's in the hand form, then it's immune to ice, which is the thing, I guess. And I think at our current levels, we have a slight chance to one shot liquid flame while equipping an ice rod. It's anything but guaranteed. Yeah, it's a pretty low chance. You have to do over 3000, and I think the cap is like. <sighs> 30, 80 or something? Yeah, it's not a great chance, but it can work. And if you're lucky enough or to get close enough, you can just do a regular attack. Plus, Liquid Flame always changes forms and counterattacks at the same time and you deal any damage whatsoever. So you may want to be careful about that anyways. Yeah, I kept a dagger on hand just in case um, it goes hand form. Because you have to you actually do have to do damage in order to knock it up in order to get it to change form. If you do zero, it doesn't count. Yep. So I had to put specifically in my notes, do not sell dagger. I think one of my characters still has dagger equipped right now, so it should probably be fine. Just don't know who. But yeah, Liquid Flame is kind of an excellent... Well, example of Rod Breaky being crazy powerful. If we were to take our time and level up just a little bit more, it would be pretty much a guaranteed one shot. Because the Time Mage does have pretty good magic power baseline. Yeah, I believe one more magic multiplier is enough to straight up one shot and guaranteed. I don't think there's a miss I don't think it can miss at that point. That sounds about right. And that comes at I believe it's ten for Lena. I forget for the other characters, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 for Lena. And there, if it's 10 for Lena, it's 11 for the others. <laughs> She's always one step ahead for the entire game, in terms of levels for, for magic. magic. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Every character does have a slightly different, like, bonus to their stats. Butts gets plus 4 strength, but only plus 1 agility. Ferris gets plus 3 agility, plus 3 strength, plus 2 vitality, and plus 2 magic power, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So effectively... Depending on what you need, most characters are like specialized in one field or another. Later in the game, it doesn't make that much of a difference anymore. <laughs> it still does. My Paris just... Okay, my Paris just got confused and cured the enemy who's undead who took damage from it. I didn't know you could do that. The funny oh. thing is... Go ahead. Back, back attack right before the save point, Ferris goes down, so uh, I guess I get to burn another 10. Yay. <laughs> Ferris damage is just cheap Phoenix thing. down, let's be real here. I see what you did there. Burn a tent, huh? <laughs> no? If I'm not mistaken, in the Game Boy Advance version, if a character is confused, they can only do certain actions, like they can't do everything, but in Pixel Remaster, they can cast any spell they want. Which is quite funny when you get a character confused that can cast Return to reset the state of the battle. Oh yeah, that's great when, when you get Grand Crossed into that on X death. Yep. <laughs> Especially since all my characters will have time matching 6 at the end. I haven't thought about that. That would be a horrible way to lose the fight. <laughs> we'll have to restart the fight. Of and all it goes the all the way back to the first part of the fight too. It's not just start at the second part. I tested that because I was I was trying Wonder Rod strats to see if I could get get the break on Alma Chesty piece and thinking what I'll do is I'll just keep keep resetting. 
resetting doesn't change back the wonder rod anyway, but I was just, I, I learned that then, but I was like, ah, I, uh, I went back to yeah. the beginning of Tree Expert, that's, <laughs> that's not ideal. That's another quirk of the Pixel Remaster. Basically, this is timing spell Ooh, return. Yes! Got the 3000. Get... Exactly. Oh, nice. GG. The only problem is the item it drops in this form is uh, less than stellar. I would have rather had the Tornado Forms item because that sells for the most. Yes. Oh. It looks like I'm a bit slower because my buying was pretty terrible in Karnak. Where are you, Magus? Uh, running. Running, 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 running. Good job. Do you get any stuff in there? Oh, yeah, money. That's it. I we expect all want to money. Go. No. Really? Uh, I, uh, it's just too much. It's too much, isn't it? It's just so far away and so much of potential. Yeah, money. these. So you have to throw a rod to kill the sergeant here and stuff. And you do get slightly yeah, more don't... encounters, I feel. There's definitely more encounters. The um, it used to have a very very low encounter rate, and sometimes when you should get a battle, it just wouldn't trigger. But now it's just it seems like it's just been normalized, and you get way more encounters than you used to. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, the sergeants are just ungodly difficult to run from. Yeah. Um, if you just get a solo dog though, it's not too bad because they'll just run away, and you just get free ABP for it. But sergeants will eat chew through your rods really quick. Oh my god. I'm but I will only actually be picking up uh, the money. Um, I'm grabbing the ribbon and I'm grabbing Azuna, and that's all I'm getting out of here. Yeah, uh oh, that's not enough. Oh, I think it's enough. Ribbon and Azuna for me. Azuna is four rods worth, so. Butch just punched Liquid Flame to death because I forgot to get something. Was it enough? I see them talking about music in chat, and uh, I, I will agree. On, uh, uh, as a whole, I would say most of the tracks in this game are very, very well done for the uh, remade versions. I agree. It also looks extremely, extremely, extremely good. Like, all the backgrounds look really nice. The enemy sprites look really crisp. Um, some of the job sprites I discovered. Um, so one little quirk. Uh, if you play like the GBA version because of uh, sprite size limitations, if you have a time mage on GBA, the hat's kind of pointing backwards, whereas in this it points more straight up because they have more room to work with. Yeah, it was always looking weird when it was just kind of flat at the top. Whilst we are now getting our fire, well, if we're playing Chaos, right, we have got our two jobs. We would get to the fire crystal, we would do the hashtag fire to Gilgabot, and Gilgabot would reply with Lamau, you've got a dancer. Um, we probably wouldn't say Lamau, but um, he would tell, tell us that we have a dancer, which we cannot use yet. So we are going to remain in time and wait. Until we get to our next job. Fucking hell. <laughs> Dude, I had to use so many rods, I didn't have enough for this guy, so now I have to punch it, and I oh, no. probably can't. That, that's why I bought Gravit, to be able to grab it before the rod. A boosted rod break is enough to kill him. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have only one left. I have only one left now. Yeah, that's what why happens I when you get a billion sergeants and Nax. It's just like, please. Can you just kill me, please? Thank you. Yeah. Another thing, I guess, there's no easy way to reset back to the title screen in this version, so... That's you one thing I do with the fix all the PRs. It's, it's difficult from battle, but it's not so bad anywhere else. Well, that's the thing, like, if you, I, I wish you could just, like, do, like, just, if, I, if they had, like, the whole soft reset, you know, or from, from the start menu, just have a go to title screen from the start menu. I think if, if the PRs added, added that, it would be much more. Okay. It's really weird to have the return to the ah, screen in the whatever. configuration menu. I mean, whatever. That that rod would have been enough damage. <laughs> oh, did, did you gravity and then got the deadly damage roll? So on the second attempt. Ah, yeah. uh, that that rod would have been enough damage though by itself. 
Sergeant is basically kind of interesting. In the random battles, if you encounter a Sergeant and Wolves, the Wolves get their own <sighs> attack, and Sergeant basically does the Steiner thing and lets the Wolves attack as well on top of it. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Very unlucky. So I will guess everybody picks up the ribbon. Yes. Yeah. That thing this is the most convenient cool. spot to get it. The ribbon is a, uh, a dancer only or equip ribbon ability that it gives you t five of every single stat, as well as immunity to most stage sales. It's not all like the zombie you can get, but like a lot of them are there. So it's really, really, really good if like stage sales target your dancer, because then free a free turn essentially. Yeah. I almost hit level 10, actually. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, I hit 9. Crazy. I, I, I bought an extra raw, too, like that I don't, normally don't get. Yeah, I actually tend to get 10 because I do grab the Magus at the very least. That's fair. I just max them out and spend all my money, so I end up with 10 anyway. <laughs> well... Ten is bad, though. <laughs> well, no, I mean number of raw. That don't mean experience. Yeah. I'm at nine for levels. Mm -hmm. I thought you were talking about number of rods you were buying. I had. I usually have eight. I had nine this time. Oh, I got a single knack. Look at me go. And nine. I ran out. That's so crazy. Those do exist sometimes. I got one, <laughs> and then the rest were surgeons. Yep. No singles for me. The sergeant in the final battle is curious because if you just straight up kill him, he does not transform into Iron Claw, so you can effectively skip the phase two. But he is also not like flagged as heavy, which means you can hit him with gravity magic and half his HP, whereas Iron Claw is in fact heavy. On all that crap I just got. Not good. I got um, back attacked and then sergeanted, so that's going to be a million HP on every single attack. Oh my god, so many encounters. Then again, I guess I'm getting some level over. Get out of the way, townsperson! We need to go get this fire rod. Actually, don't even go out of my way for it. Frog shit. I just wanted to save the money. I only need two fire rods and the rest going to, and the rest going to ice, but I figure if I don't have to spend 750, I'll take it. Makes sense. Alrighty, let's see whether I get the roll, because I have enough ice rods to bring to you. Dance run locked. And I'm level 10. Well, we need a bit of luck in the library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. That's this another reason I didn't want to go out of my way for those things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hit surprisingly often. You just hit specifically level 10 or 15. Just going into the library, which you really kind of want to avoid. Because in there, you get page 64, those blue hats. And they cost level 5 too. They would so, never. Yeah. The funny thing is, the Pixie Monster actually gets you a better chance to run away before I cast it, because they are actually pretty tough. <laughs> As you mentioned that, I get one that casts level 5 death. Immediately. <laughs> I'm very glad I'm not level 10 right now. That's fair. I lost Lena in one of my fights, and I couldn't, her. I couldn't revive in time, so she's down to kill. All right, Ifrit, you gonna give? You gonna be just as nice as Liquid Flame did, and uh, let me one shot you? Find out. 
Okay, I got max damage roll. <laughs> wow. 3,100 damage. Okay, take it. Pretty good. Pretty strong, yeah. I don't think I've awesome. ever got the one shot on it for it. I think and I, I, there was one time where I did do like a grind before the, the fire ship, and that's the only time I've got the one shot on it for it. I didn't think you could at that at, at that late. It's very low. Like it's the upper, you have to roll. You have to roll like almost max damage. It's the same thing with Winter Flame. You have to just get such a high roll to do it that it's very unlikely. I also hate when you start opening up and zero. Screw you. Like, do something cool with that blade, son. Or attack. You actually didn't even get a turn on mine because uh, Galoof actually had really good ATB. Must be nice. <laughs> that never happens, so I'll uh, I'll take it this once. I got clapped into sure one shot, so yeah. I'm sure Biblos will show me the business. Oh, Watch. well, uh, yep, there's the dead. Well, these enemies are very dead because goodbye Frostrod. <laughs> oh, the battle. Oh dear. On the bright side, it was a zoo on turtle and stuff, so it had the best experience. Easy elixir drop, oh. right? Well, <laughs> I already got three, so I don't need any more. So <laughs> three! Three! Good. Yeah, it's, it's the ship graveyard. It's fine. So for those of us who are not game named Yagamoth, um, we don't usually yes. get those. I got one! Which is like, exceptionally lucky. My thing usually is I, I'll, if I only ever get one encounter on the uh, to and from the library, it's always on the last desert time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to not wanting to be level 10. Oh, no. And Ferris is dead again. And Galoof is confused. That's really bad. Uh, well, you have Ezra, so you're going to use it. This flame rod as well. Rip. Thank good money, I wouldn't have to go for this. Nothing I could have done about that. Uh, he at this level, Biblos just hits hits too hard. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a guaranteed one shot on anybody he punches. Punch. You must have a magro to equip on the mantle. <laughs> and unfortunately for Biblos, even if we were to boost it by equipping a flame rod, you just don't have enough damage to one shot him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In there. fact, you don't want to equip a flame drop, otherwise you can counter with Drain, I think. Huh? Piano Flex! Uh, ow. Does it count as a physical if you have a rod equipped? Uh, I think it's... oh wait. Like, he needs to have, like... Yeah. I, I don't know about the Pixel Ray Master. I guess this I'm thinking of a weird with how it does some of the counter attacks. Like so in like, previous versions, for instance, like Minotaur in yeah. World Three would counter all fit, would counter physical attacks, would counter dances, it would counter all sorts of things. But it doesn't seem to counter anything but just the standard fight command now. Yeah, and rot breaking actually, he counters rot breaking. I was nowhere near the damage roll I needed to get the kill. Yeah, I had two thousand eight hundred fifty or something. I can't. I can't go for that. I can't. I, I, I can't afford to revive Gloof again. Like he just keeps dying. I can't. I can't afford it. I have to tent when I get to the other uh, the other bit. But... Yep. That's why I buy Rays actually. Just he's my white mage. <laughs> oh. He's no. my white mage, so he's dead. <laughs> I mean, he looks the best as a white mage. So just that. Uh, all the characters. I do buy Rays, but not yet. I wait until a bit later to buy spells. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I originally had practiced and planned to kill two chimeras in order to get to level 11 in case I get to 10. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> Did you get doomed again? Yep. I, uh... Well, at least I'm not the only one getting screwed then. 
This is the trade off for his elixir grinding. Also, piano flux. Fortunately, even though if you like save and reload, um, you'll get an encounter on the same exact tile every time, it's not always going to be the same formation. So, worst case scenario, you can just brute force to get a fight that doesn't do um, something bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't have much of a choice, so that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> right, I mean, it's not gonna like magically, you, you, you can't do a magic dance to like skip it or anything. Just have to see. Well, I mean, there are rooms that don't have page 64 at the front, but I think most of the dark rooms as well as some of the light rooms do. Yeah. Oh, one thing I will actually like to point out about the Pix Remaster that I actually like as a change quite a bit is... In every other version, if you defeat the pages, like page 32, then it switches to page 64, then 128, etc. Basically, usually that's like a multi-stage encounter where there is a bunch of enemies and such. In every other version, you actually only get the experience and money from the very last enemy you defeat. However, in the Pixel Remaster, you get money and experience from all the enemies you defeat, which is actually quite nice. I believe it actually give, did give you the experience from all the enemies you defeated before, but not the money. Mm -hmm. I think that's the way it worked. At least in GBA, anyway. Not sure about GBA, but Super Nintendo you don't get the experience, because it's just not worth fighting anything in there. I mean, it still isn't, let's be real. He does counter, by the way. He just counts yeah, it for no. <laughs> Does counter, yeah, but he protect, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, so he would but never he would drain. drain. Yeah, yeah, he would. No, he would drain if you deal enough damage, for it. Right, but you when he dies, deal. he doesn't counter anymore. So if you right, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you. That's why I'm saying you don't want to equip a flame rod, otherwise you would deal too much damage and get into drain range. I just gravity and break. I guess gravity would save a frog. That is correct. I was going to, but then I noticed it wasn't a guaranteed chance to hit, and pretty much just assumed it was going to miss. Wait, I haven't it's missed properly. Yeah, yeah. I, I look, I, I look at eighty percent hit rates like they're twenty percent hit rates. That's my usual luck. It's like, oh, hey, the I guy hitting all, all of the max damage rolls. <laughs> like... The the trade off is I'm not going to be able to hit. Any, I'm not going to get any sword dances later. Yeah, it's not fun. I was fighting Minotaur in one of my practices, and I think I got like nine or ten waltzes and jitterbugs in a row. <laughs> so I'm on, I'm on I'm on borrowed time here. Like I haven't got much height. I forgot to buy my stuff, so I was kind of like on four. The only and he kept and of course he kept uh, he kept attacking, but um, but. There is one point I don't mind seeing Mystery Waltz, and that's when I'm fighting, um, when I'm actually fighting Neo X Death. If I see Mystery Waltz, it basically means I just stored all the MP I spent casting quick. Oh yeah, yep. you, you do quick dancing, right? Yeah. I only have two uh, quick uses. I die because I use double catch. Yeah, I don't, I don't have two, um, I don't have two, um, catches to throw out there, so I have to, I need, I need quick on three, I need quick on, um, basically everybody. Nobody died there. Yeah, no flex. Oh, hey, Lena has deal with it, Shades. I'm not sure where she got those, but she got them. Probably a silent figure attacking on the way. That piano might have been it. So we're all probably going to be doing the same thing, which is a black flame grind. Up our levels nice and chunkily. Um, yeah. 
Black Flames are a standard when it comes to Forge of Fiestas. You'll see a lot of... If you're watching someone or you're playing a Forge of Fiesta yourself, you'll probably end up at some point having a look at that Black Flame. Um, they are very easy to kill if you, can, if you can rod break or if you have a ninja and you can throw scrolls at them as well. Uh, they'll probably die in one action for the most part and they give a good chunk of experience and, and good money. I think it's like 870 gil. So they're worth plus 120 gil per rod you throw. So every like, what, six kills, you're getting another getting a, another rod out of it so or eight kills uh, seven kills rather you're getting another rod out of it so um yep. it is slowly a positive it, 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 is a, it is a net gain plus the experience is huge so i mean this i i don't know how many you guys how many you guys do but i do 13 fights uh, sorry 15 fights and that gets me to like level 15 16. i just i just run myself out of rods yeah <laughs> i buy how like how I, I, buy, set it up. I buy max money rods and then just I, we, we, which is about 15. so i've got two fire and 13 thunders Yeah, I run myself out of rods actually three times. Three times? Yep, I do the exact same thing. Because then you end up just around that level, time age level 6, so I guess both Dragon Dark and me are going to be looking to be quite far behind initially, but we'll probably catch up a little bit. Yeah, I think I think you and I came to the same conclusion in that we want time 6 basically as we're leaving World 1. Yep. I said that I'll be getting it off of Archeoavis. Yeah, bad. pretty much same here. Then again, I prefer getting it before Archeoavis in case somebody dies there. I haven't had that problem unless I forget to slow him in the last phase. Yeah, that's it. I have done. You can slow the first phase, it, it sticks until the end. It sticks? Oh, yeah. It does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't believe huh. that either, but, uh, yeah. That's, 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 okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sure? <laughs> yeah. That's not how it works in any other version. No, it sure. doesn't. I would say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too when I found that out. Dragon Dark using the secret Black Flame spot there. I just like this one because it's on the way to Crescent Lake. Right. I just don't feel like it's worth waiting because I go with the truck over, over there anyway. Then again, you have diagonal the movement, so it's probably not even any like movement loss. Seven fifty jobs is the concept of being able to buy and equip use rods, so to speak. But it kind of has become a general term for magic-based classes, which does include dancer, chemist. And because 750 is the cost of a rock that you can equip and use in order to throw. Six. Wow. Which is good. There's a brand new mode this year called uh, 375, which is a, uh, a build that is split between two of the no of the 750 jobs and two no 750. Jobs. So meeting it halfway. Being a balanced mix. Unless you get all Berserkers, then that's different. I'm pretty sure you're the only person in the entire world who enjoys playing Berserkers. Everyone says they do, but they're just lying. I think you're the one who genuinely means it. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to manage a Berserker. I just kill it off and have him play, play with three characters. Easy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is one way to set up a Berserker. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Love getting a back attack immediately on the, uh, on the C. It's gonna get hit for 190 and lose two of my characters. I, I have such... I'm, I have nuts back attack luck. I was doing a grind and I think I got like four back attacks in a row and... I just keep getting bad at it. One of my favorite Wish. things about the game is when you run away from counters and somebody is knocked out in combat, you just leave them behind. <laughs> it's great. Just, yep, um, you can have this one. You guys earned it, take it. <laughs> one thing I found is a really handy thing to do here is please, please. 
quick save during these grinds. Mm -hmm. if, you get one unfortunate, if you get one unfortunate encounter. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Not ideal. Mm-hmm. You do not say. <laughs> <laughs> That timing couldn't have been better, it looks like. Huh? I certainly did not get a back attack. Paris <laughs> is doing it to get Lena and Bart onto Rod Breaking 2. They're mostly harmless until they back attack you. I mean, you have to hope in that case that they start dropping the. Uh, Man, that was slow. The reason we're Jesus. The reason we're using lightning rods as well is because they're the fastest of the three rod, anima rod animation. Honestly, that might not even be true. I haven't checked, but... Uh, I checked. Okay. It is still, like, almost a second faster. Okay. Interesting enough, Ice Rod is faster than Fire Rod. Yeah, yeah, that's what I noticed. Ice Rod is very fast, actually. Comparatively yeah, to... Yeah, Fire's the one, you just... You use it if, you, if you're gonna hit an elemental weakness, if you try to avoid it otherwise. Yeah, fire was really slow, yeah. That was, that was basically how it was in, the, in uh, the original game, anyway. Well, fire is pretty fast in the original. I mean, it looks pretty neat, at least, so that's a reason to use it already. The animation right. of the spells, so this, the spell animations are lovely in this. Nice. I'm done with grind number one. Except for death. Death just doesn't look good. <laughs> I, I can I can pass death. I, I I know that people don't 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 like it, but the thing is, it's not in, because it's all all of the spell effects are um, particle effects rather than pixels. So they kind of kept that with the death. So they tried to put a pixel or, or a pixel design into particle effects, and it it came out kind of muddy. But I kind of like the effect around the skull. I don't know. The skull itself is a bit muddy, but yeah, no flex. Oh my god, this ship didn't look like it was sinking. I thought I hard locked. <laughs> <laughs> it was just sitting in the. It was just uh, sitting in the whirlpool. I'm like, did 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 did, like, did my game freeze again? Uh, yeah. The constant worry for this version. It's just like, oh no, <laughs> it's not. It's not going. I don't know what version you guys are playing. I have, feel fairly confident in it. I say that I'm going to get a, a devastating soft lock later. I in a practice fight against Exodus almost soft locked when I used Quick, and then I I got <laughs> yeah. uh. Another person's turn, even though Quick should actually like you know prevent that. <laughs> so what I had to do is auto battle and like cast Quick twice again to waste my MP to like get out of that situation. It's very funny. Also, piano flex. Piano flex. I do wonder if I didn't have enough MP for that, if I would have just actually soft locked there. Oh, nice, nice, nice back attack over here. I don't need a back attack to go last here. Yeah, that, that's... yeah. I always seem to get an encounter between Crescent and the Chocobo Forest. Ew. Yeah, that, the... Hey, I'm 11 now. Great. Also, oh, they made only... the Black Chocobo stupid easy to catch now. He just, like, stands still. <laughs> it's really weird because that just doesn't make sense. Oh, did you know that... It doesn't save, uh, keep all the battle on in between battles. The first time you... That's a setting! Back to the table screen. That's a setting. Yeah, you, you, can, you can set you, it up that it does. Yeah, yeah no, what I'm saying is it doesn't keep the setting. Oh, really? At least it didn't for me. Like, I have to activate it twice every time. Huh, I just, I, I never activated that because I wanted to have a little more control. <laughs> I find that the, the, the one time I did get a soft lock right, because I, I said it did, it did have a one, it was when I, I got the startup of an of a battle because I activated auto battle before the HUD had loaded. So that's why I just wait until I see everything and then I, I activate it. Um, I activate the battle then. You. Also, they changed, they changed the sound effect for the, for the um, Black Child One music. It used to be Hua! Now it's you. Yeah. Right. Very ill, indeed. It's different. <laughs> of course, these uh, these these uh, old grumblies are just like, oh, I, I, I only like the old version. <laughs> Mate, you can't tell me you like this one. 
I'm not. I'm not saying no, it's, it's not bad. bad. I'm I, just don't, saying I don't it's hate it. I think it's funny. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Uh, of course. Of course. Why is better? I'm not gonna say it's not. But... I mean, I like to compare it to if you watch a TV show or an anime or something like that in one language, and then after two seasons you try to switch to another language. It just sounds weird. Like it doesn't necessarily sound bad. It just sounds really strange because you're so used to one thing rather than the other. That's kind of how I see this version anyways. Because I'm so used to like the original ATB system that getting used to this one is kind of difficult. Ah oh, man, the black joke over sounds is just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. I'm glad that this, this isn't a sponsored stream. This is bad, dude. Terrible. Yeah? <laughs> Terrible ass game. I mean, they, 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 awful version. They, they need to it. know, don't they? Like, if everybody <laughs> says, oh, it's fine, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing that. Easy. I'm, I mean, overall, it's fine. Like, overall, yeah, that, yeah. It's like, I wouldn't consider the Pixel Remaster to be any worse than the Game Boy Advance version. It's just like. Oh, no. Different. I don't know. I think it's diff different is probably a good way to describe it. Yeah. It's definitely pretty fine. Plus, it has a nicer resolution. It does. Which is why I mostly play Super Nintendo version, actually, rather than Game Boy Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Are you a Weaker? No. It just sounds weird. <laughs> Your true colors came out. Cannot avoid this. Piano. Alright. Pro tip, don't auto battle on Sandworm. Or do. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> also, pro tip, force an encounter before going into um, the desert so you can go a little longer without getting an encounter. Yeah. It's actually kind of, inter kind of interesting. I think. You guarantee, like in the Super Nintendo version, you kind of get an encounter after two steps, but I think the earliest you can get one is like 20 steps in this one. It's like 15 to 20 is what people were saying. I didn't yeah, notice that, and that, that step didn't, re didn't refresh on screen, on like on area transitions, so I didn't know it goes from world map to any It's global, so to speak. You can't get any. I have no idea how many were. Sorry. Last time I auto battled when the heat gravity countered, it's just soft locked after gravity, so I'm just not doing it. <laughs> just not doing it. I didn't encounter that one yet. Uh, it's very annoying when it uses, even though you've used your second rod to kill it, it still uses gravity. Wait, please. Yep. Da, 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 da. But yeah, Sandworm is an interesting battle. He has 3000 HP, no particular weakness we can exploit. Like, Aqua Rick deals 8 times damage and just wrecks him. But we don't have that. But or normally, you want to avoid hitting the holes because they will counterattack with gravity, which reduces your current HP by half. But because you just kill him with two rod breaks, it's still way faster than doing anything else, anyways. We have a way mage, we can heal up after the fight. Mm -hmm. okay. Plus, we are not nearly as low level anymore after decent grind here. So, it's just not worth trying to run from any of these encounters in the desert. They're ungodly difficult, so I just rod break all of them. I set up my auto battle to um, just be ready to do it. Don't know what you're talking about, it's just turn. I'd say I run from him too. <laughs> maybe, maybe no, no, he's maybe. right. Like it, can, it can take a while. But yeah. Oh wow, the three this time. That's I think the the thing is like your rods are not as precious as mine. I would say because like I need, I only do two like two grinding sessions effectively. So you can probably just like waste them and be fine. I don't think I could. Maybe I could do that, but eh, I don't want to try just now. <laughs> <laughs> My practice must have left me disillusioned then, because I, uh, or, or, or I guess with, with the wrong impression, because I've not had too much of an issue running so far. It can, it can be, but like, it, sh it shouldn't be, for the most part, but like, I've had like three bear hits, for instance, 
before I ran. It's just that it's a noticeable difference between trying to run from those encounters and like stuff on the overworld around it. Yeah. It's noticeably more difficult. And I was just, I, I spent so much time trying to run from a couple of encounters the first time I tried to do this. I'm like, you know something? I can set up my auto battle to just rod break through this whole place. Yep. Yeah. I was strongly considering it, but it mostly worked out fine. I mean, I would probably do that if I didn't have White Mage, to be fair. But. Because, like. Being able to heal is definitely big. Yep. I agree. Unless the white mage gets knocked out. One hour would just be silly. <laughs> Who would that happen to? Uh, never. So I'm actually going to use the Black Jacobo just to fly three tiles. I don't know if that's going to be useful, but you could all get encounter in here. You could! You could. Uh, Are you sure? You know, I have three more lightning rods than before, so... Oh, this sorry, I stole those and used them in the desert. I could use those in the desert too now. Plus, Sandworm is convenient to just set up rock breaks. Yeah, unlike the uh, other version, Sandworm isn't actually active right at the start of the fight. Um, yeah, he, he waits a little bit before popping up at the beginning. You have plenty of time for your ATB to fill. Um, and then all you'll all have a turn like immediately, so you can just set up rod breaks and then just defend on the White Mage, so you're just set up for, for future encounters. Uh, Now this wrong card does not have Lahi. <laughs> Very different Ronka. Yeah. Nope, sorry, no no Lahi today. Be funny, I should have played that. <laughs> Just replace the file. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I could figure out a way to do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's easy enough to mod these, honestly. Like, even I can do it, and that's pretty much... Pretty much says it's easy. Anybody use mini at some point? No. Nope. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I never even got it. Like, Halicarnassa is the only enemy that is worthwhile to many, but the problem is the magic defense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just breaking rods now in this desert. I think that's a good idea. I just fled from everything. Like, <laughs> like uh -huh. easy. Look at this, look at this guy. I told you, it's not hard. I, I think I think I think you're just, you're just lying, honestly. <laughs> like, it, you just run, <laughs> just hold M L R and you go. Heck yeah! Like one, I have what I tend to do sometimes. I just I will just like force new new turns if I like. I'll run for a little bit if I don't get anyone. Just, just, just defend with everyone and just force new turns. Just try and refresh it or something. But just run. The RNG in this, in this game is a mystery. I know the others are already past these ruins here, but I did not know for a real long time that you could just trigger one step of the cutscene with the king just kind of appearing on the left side rather than doing two on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been like that in like every version. You just have to, yeah. It's just that left one that triggers everything. Yeah, I, I just never, I didn't know that for a long time. It, it's weird why that why that works too. I'm not gonna argue. It's quick. Oh yeah, Crayclaw. Who? What? Crayclaw pretends to be a boss. What? What? Who? Yeah. Hey. Cray <laughs> the not red lobster has only 2,000 HP. Is weak to lightning, and we have rods to break. So yeah. His gimmick yeah. is his defense is super high, like comparatively to like most stuff in World One. But uh, he's w almost yep. weak to anything really outside of that. Indeed. Yeah, it's just it's it's unfortunate for him that I set up my auto battle to just throw thunder rods. 
Mm-hmm. True. I still have the other battle for that, too. The only time Craig Claw gave me trouble was with the Thief Solo Challenge. Yeah, that, that sounds that not so mess. fun, yeah. Because the low attack power just made it a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Are you stopping in Jekyll now? Yeah. Just to get it out of yeah. the way. I Pretty actually don't do that point. for a little while, because I gotta I gotta buy Mage Mashers there later on and I um I just do it when I stop in town. You get Mage Mashers? For Archaeovis? Yep, I get three of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I just go with one cacti in the front row. I go with I go with three. I buy two Mage Mashers and one Mr. Knife. Because reasons. I don't know, it worked out that way. Also, <laughs> <laughs> oh, another no, no, nice no. quality of life addition. They made it so you can trigger the um, landing spot for the airship over here. Um, it's, it's actually nine tiles you can activate it on. You don't have to stop directly on top of it. Yep. Yeah, I, I like that a lot, actually, because it was kind of a lot of fiddling, depending on how fast the ship was in the version. Also, you can land on top of meteors, which I initially thought was a soft lock. <laughs> but you can interact with the ship from one tile away as well if you face against it. Unequip my rods. I might have to actually. We'll find out. If you can't stop on boss that is flagged as heavy, which is most bosses, not all of them though then they only get stopped for a very, very short time. It still briefly stops them, but not nearly as long for it to be useful most of the time. Yep. Unless you have a very specific setup like we have for Titan, I guess. Yeah. Stop. Yes. Uh. Alright, so this is Adam Antois, aka from previous versions, we just call him Timmy. Come on. 2000 HP has the protect and shell status. Um, in his first turn, he'll punch twice. Thankfully, he didn't punch the same character. He is weak to ice. Uh, you need to defend. He also has built in shell. I said that. Maybe we did face half that much. Oh, you did, you did say that. I didn't that. Yeah, he has built in. Um, so you, it does off. take two rods. Um, I could have gone and leveled first and then come back here. And um, it wouldn't matter. And, Trust and rod me. Bo rod boosted it or something, but I didn't want to go for it. Uh, sh shell is too strong. Again, uh, unless you like do your entire leveling, I guess then you might have a chance. But shell is very, very powerful. So I'm actually going to make a very quick detour into Tycoon Castle, and by quick, I mean I'm not watching the long, long, the two and a half minute cutscene. Wow. So Skipping content. In. The uh, Chancellor's gonna offer us his, uh, he's gonna offer us um, a place to sleep for the night, and we're gonna be like, no, we just wanna rob the place. Please. Unfortunately, you cannot pick up the weapons if you do this, but I don't care about the weapons. I just want, um, there's some ethers and phoenix downs in here that I can pawn later. Wait, you can't deny sleeping? I didn't even realize that. Okay, I do my grinding as three before going to Timmy, so Same. I, I will put him. Hmm. 
See if I can get level 18, actually. Welcome to this spot here, where I'm gonna be for about 17 minutes. Wow. That's a lot of minutes. Well, it was 17 minutes like this. Might well, be a he's, better minute. He's gonna have to leave once to go buy more rows. <laughs> I think twice. Oh no, I basically once to leave and then use them up again. Yeah. That is a good thing. I will be joining them in the grind. So, um, the Black Flame Brain is actually also surprisingly good for early ability points. Like, there's not many better places, or at least not as reliable in World 1 for getting ability points on job classes. And the way Final Fantasy V works is you want to basically learn certain abilities from jobs. For example, if you have level 5 time magic, you cannot cast the highest level spells of time magic in the end. If you put that time magic on, let's say, a white mage, for example. But once you get all the way up to level 6 time magic, that is when you will be able to do that. And that's going to be my grinding goal here, which is also why it takes a while. But it allows me to do some silly shenanigans later, like just meteor four times. And Meteor is not dependent on magic power, but even if it was, you actually gain the magic power of a time mage if you equip time magic on other characters. You gain slightly less if you don't have full time magic, but you get the entire magic power of a time mage if you have well, full time magic on the character. Tough blocking, yay! Great. I'm actually keeping track of how many rods I have based on how many ability points I gain. So right now I noticed that I need 15 ability points remaining for the job level on bots. That's when I used up all the rods. Because I'm terrible at counting. First back attack. Well, of the black flame encounters. I was going to say, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic once again. Uh, uh. I mean I got two level five dooms. Then again, I was also set up for level five dooms, so whatever. <laughs> it's my own fault, technically. To bike, sure. Well, maybe worth noting, this is also for experience. Like, getting the experience here is definitely helpful as well, because I can... I'll literally go whatever level I will have at the end here, all the way through World 3, and actually... Initially, in my practice, I actually went all the way just finishing the game at whatever, whatever level I get here. I'm gonna go a little bit safer this time. I found it was 
worth it to like rod to throw rods in like the island shrine and the um, waterfall shrine as well, just because you it, throwing a rod at it's just uh, pretty much just as fast as um, teleporting out of it. So yeah, exactly. it was just free experience. We rods I have left. That's what I'm doing too. Also, fun fact, it is faster to wrap around the world than go the normal way in order to buy more rods in Karnak. The world is a Taurus, or a donut. Ten minutes slower than my practice run. It's so sad. <laughs> How was your practice was run that fast though? Gaming. I just didn't get. <laughs> just didn't get unlucky. Just pure gaming, dude. Oh. I had to revive characters. Got destroyed on multiple boss fights. The sergeant incident. Using ten rods in this game. I don't know. It's like very bad. No bueno. What seven teams time? Uh, seventeen times three. Too much. Fifty-one. I'm still going with my answer. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh, it feels nice to just hawk pretty much your entire inventory and load up on rods. Like, oh, all this, all this nice, all this nice consumables and stuff that I could be reviving people with, and yeah, no, I don't want it. Sure. Where are we sitting ADP wise? Who's behind? Ferris is the one I gotta be looking at. Ferris died on Biblo, so when Ferris hits the amount of ADP I want, that's what I can. What is it? It's a double target on Faris. Why wouldn't it be a double target on Faris? Yep. Definitely have an upload. My last, my last run, I actually because somebody died. Uh, the same person died like four times on different bo on <laughs> different boxes. Um, I actually had to do the last little bit of ADP grinding up in uh, up in the Rock and Ruins because I didn't have enough to get me to, to get me to where I wanted to be. I might have screwed this myself over here. Seems like a good idea at the time. Yeah, maybe. Everything seems like a good idea at the time. No! Oh my god, I might, I might lose to Timmy. Oh my god. Uh... Uh -oh. I just got bodied by who had the targeting, uh, who had the, uh, who had the bloody rods. Both of them had them equipped, so I couldn't just break one and break another one in two turns. So, um... Oh, stop attacking Faris! Literally anyone else! He just, he's killed her like three times now, and she's, my, she's the one with the rod equipped. And again. Oh, boy. Wow. I have two Phoenix Downs left. Literally anyone else. What a me. Well, Faris is literally the only only character left. And oh man, that was a disgusting fight. You got through it though. Not good enough, I'm afraid. I'm not happy with that. And not 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 that that five AVP is like hugely important, really. And my my AVP routine is a little bit looser than yours. Um, but it's just that was about another minute and about three Phoenix Downs lost, which is two rods worth. I like how we calculate like every item in the game based on how many rods it's gonna be worth. <laughs> Make sense. It's like, oh, that ether? That's that's a rod. Yep. That, that's guaranteed. That's just a rod. 
<laughs> That's true. Phoenix down, two thirds of a rod. It was really good because like Faris went first, so I could have got the rod off her to give it to um like to give it to uh Lena, but yeah, I'll make oh, the, 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 the double target. Like, if, if he had double targeted anyone else, he would have made it a haste the person I wanted to move it over before he had, had the chance to get his second target. Yeah. I don't know whether anybody has done that yet, but another little trick we can do is we can try to run away in combat because we have the combat settings to fastest. Running away briefly stops the timer, like the bars in the bottom right, and that allows us to just go, well, do a bit of minioning before the enemy can do much more. It's really awkward to use though, because you can't just hold the button because it will actually cause the pause to happen right before the turn comes up. So you have to do it right after, and it's a little weird to try and use. Yeah, you can also briefly hop into a menu and then hold the buttons down for that once you get out of the menu. I learned that from Magus. I didn't even know that, that, that it did that. Right? Like, as in pause the timer. I knew that the ATB, when when you have like one person at max and you're, you're watching the ATB, it does like tick in a weird way. But I didn't know that it like paused the enemy ATB when, you're, when you have your turn. Yep. What did you get for never watching my stream? Well, I knew you did it, I just didn't know why you were doing it. <laughs> I was like, why is he running when he can't run? Like, in, during boss uh... like, what the hell's happening? Uh, I'm used to run buffering from other games, so I mean, for me it's not even a big change, to be fair. You do that stuff. It's just getting used to the new timing is all. Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should have said flex. Yeah, no, flex. I let everyone down. Chat's got your back. Indeed. All right, almost done with grinding here. I just need the last load of rods, which also lasts me for the remainder of World One. I do need to make one more stop back in Karnak to buy more rods um, before going up to the going up to the ruins. But I'm combining this. I want to do the grind right before heading back and turning in the Animantite. You get a free heal when you go down there, and I want to combine it with that just so I don't have to stop anywhere else. Not so much for my HP. That's usually all right. It's just it's my MP because my White Mage is actually kind of running low now. Yep. Run buffering is when you activate L and pirates to influence the ATB. Exactly. <laughs> well, that means it's just you're just activating L and Ferris. <laughs> so clearly, Ferris is the uh, Ferris is the trick to uh, run buffering. Yeah, yeah. So, so what run buffering actually means is like. Yeah, I explained earlier with the LNR and boss fights or battles you can't run more specifically. It will pop up the you cannot run away message and that stops the enemy ATP from progressing while you can still do like inputs in your menu. Hold up. Piano flex. Gitura. Um I only have one Phoenix down, so I'm just gonna die if I die, I guess. Also, just got the auto save from the room transition, so. Ah, I actually ran away. Insane. Insane. Crazy. Madness. Madness hero. I should use a tent instead of my Phoenix down, though. Ten more oh. UP, so four more fights. Gidras drop uh, Phoenix down. 
Yep. It, yeah, most of the time, even. Uh, actually, guaranteed. Yeah. True. <laughs> Makes sense. What's that? You you used one to kill me? Here, here, have it back. Yeah. It's just not guaranteed to hit the phoenix down. Yep. However, if you have race, I believe in this version, which I actually didn't buy yet. Uh. I'm pretty sure it's gonna just guaranteed hits, cause like I still haven't missed rays. Uh, the catch is that thing has auto reflex. I mean, so can't really hit it with rays. Oh, you can. I think it's gonna reflect. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, where is it? Uh. Da -da -da -da. Alright, there we go. Black flames are done. Let's go turn in Satamantite. Magic. Thunder Rod. Yeah. Oh. How much AVP do you go for? As in remaining. I look for whoever has the lowest amount. I want them to have 27 left. 27, right? 27 remain 27 to um to timer white six. Alrighty. Yeah, I actually went for 20 in my practice just to play it safe. I wasn't having too many issues with Arceo Arceo Avis, so I didn't it didn't bother me too much to just map it out around having everybody alive for the um for everything up there. Okay. And now that we know slow works at the beginning of the fight... Yep, that's convenient. <laughs> Plus for me it's only Lena who needs to guarantee survive everything, so I guess it's fine. Just need to pay attention to Lena surviving. Alright, now, now I'm finally gonna head over to Jackal. I didn't. Okay. All right. I suppose my grinding is done too. Can't believe I under damage for this one. I might not have no what? Such energy. Much wow. Actually have to go and buy Thunder Rods this time. Oh. Please let me go. Wow. Unlucky. Alright, and I'm actually gonna buy spells finally. Okay. Every time I land on that meteor by accident. Speed shakes. Shades for gloof, yay! Two flame rods, rest in thunder rods. Put those. Oh yeah, shades for gloof reminds me. ran into an issue when my white niche died and I didn't have anybody to cast Aesuna on my melee attack here. And Arcuev is dead already. Nice. Mm. Maybe real quick to the Arcuev is fight. Actually I can't because Timmy, hang on. <laughs> it's a fun fight. It basically has five different phases, weaknesses in every phase, like, differ. Uh, so, the first four phases all have 1600 HP, which uh, we mostly get rid of by just using rods, 
at the start. Um, what you can do in phase two and four, though, is so that he changes like what he absorbs every phase. And uh, phase two absorbs ice. Phase three absorbs fire. Phase four absorbs thunder. Phase two and four are not actually heavy, so you can use gravity on those if you want to. Which is what I did on form uh, on the fourth phase. The last phase doesn't actually take the damage from any magic, so you have to actually smack him with normal weapons. Uh, and yeah, every phase has different attacks based on what element they are as well. Uh, most annoying is, I think, uh, well, usually he has a normal attack that does some status. Uh, and AoE attacks, like I said, based on this element. The most annoying one, the ice one, which does a static amount of damage instead of like everything else. And increase, yep. uh, inflicts HP zap. But usually... Yeah, like two on the board damage. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Usually you don't get to see that if you like immediately uh, kill him. In this version as well as in all other versions, if you kill a form, it's ATB reset, so you can set it up in a way where uh, you can just get all the turns before you know he even gets one. Does it have blaster in this version? Really? It does, yeah. Oh, neat. I, was getting, I, I had three blasters. Neat! Two deaths and a, and a, and a paralyzed. Neat! Yeah. Oh, that was Soul Cannon. That's what happens, happens when you have the Thunder Rods. Oh yeah, right, there's a boss in between there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there? I don't know. I mean, it can be a mildly dangerous boss to say the least if you are... It is well not having it like this. Yeah, if you don't have access to thunder, then in 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 any way, it's a dangerous boss, I guess. Especially in this version, because like normally you'd get the first turn in every other version, but in this turn, <laughs> in this version, uh, you you don't necessarily have to get the first turn. And uh, Sulkin yeah. comes like with two little blasters that put the old status on you, which uh, very bad status to have on. I forgot to sell the speed shakes, that's why I didn't have enough money. Yeah, they do matter. Only 55 a pop, but you get, you get a whole bunch of those during the, during the grind anyway, so you might as well just pop them. Yep. The only rocket punch I saw hit Galoop, and he immediately cast uh, Mute. Which is a little surprising, because I didn't know if rods would work under Mute. They, they do. do! They do. It's very important. <laughs> well, I, I that... didn't mean to kill that, but oh well. I used that in Mesh on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah I, I, yeah, I actually do the same thing, but it, was just, it came out of like, nowhere, and I'm just like, can I still do- oh yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Then I was worried that it was going to set my um, auto battle up to whatever the loop cast last, which was technically mute. You don't have the one you. You have a Thunder Rod equipped, so great weapons. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it would do. Because Lena right now is physically attacking on my end. And a fairy stone. That's inconvenient. That's my white mage. Mm. Yeah. I always said Gl Gloof was his white mage. Mm -hmm. Who's yours, Magus? Ah, uh, right now Gloof it was Ferris for the entire like thing on, up until Archie Avis. I switched there. Uh, Just so I, was I have... say each one of us could have had a different white mage because mine's bots. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lena's too important to be a white mage. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I switched before RQ because I want everybody to have time magic on. And two white mages, I mean, that helps too. That's the wrong attack. Alright, 
Soul Cannon has 12 and a half thousand HP, which is a lot, but because it's weak to lightning and we can break frogs. Uh, you just lied! Okay. It has 22,500 HP. Yes. Well, I can't believe this guy's lying on national television. Yes, but it dies when it drops below 10,000 HP remaining. Unless you use some weird special attacks that don't trigger the effect. Like... Oracle attacks, actually. <laughs> Oracle attacks, huh? <laughs> That, that comes up how often again? Okay, yeah. Well, if you specifically play the Game Boy Advance version and decide to unlock that early for some reason, it's a good class. If you know how to Oh, yeah, it. yeah. yeah. No, I mean, terrible. all the extra classes are good. Yeah. Sun. Oracle is just one of these classes which I think is only really good or even usable at times if you know what you're doing. Yeah. Anybody already in World 2 or something? I should be. I'm not, though. There's there's a lot of cutscenes. There's like 10 minutes of cutscenes after Arky Wavis. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. What you could do, Lena, is not miss. That'd be great. Oh, you have a... You have you do are, you got shades at some point. Well, fuck. I don't know. Dead. All right. Yop. Uh, you need that. Mage Masher and Ribbon. There's so many stairs in the ruins. Shuriken chest. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's not worth anything when he tried to sell it. Uh, I should have an Ether now. Yeah, yeah, I do. Too many thunder rods, yay! I do like how the visualization of uh, Gloof shaking off his amnesia is just throwing away the uh, question yes. mark. That's great. No more questions. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. Nope, only answers now. I really don't think the uh, slow stuck. Well, let's make us light. I'm gonna I mean, try recasting it. Dead for me. Yeah, it doesn't stick. Wow. You again. Listen. Archeavis as well. As Mike has already said, Archeavis has actually five different forms. The first one has 1600 HP. Well, the first four actually have 1600 HP. They absorb various elements. They start out being really, really 
well, defensive in terms of physical attacks, and then get weaker and weaker to physical, but stronger and stronger against magic. In the end, it's immune to get any magic. I did not put Gallop in the front row, or even equip stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Uh. Uh, haste you. You got this. There we go. Hello. A little dicey, but now we know for certain that slow does not stick through all the phases. I had a sick. I got like three turns for every one he did. It definitely didn't stick on mine. Huh. Weird. Maybe I'm just underestimating how fast I am. I face you pretty fast. Yeah. Row. Yeah. Slow. Region. Oh no, don't defend. Oh, don't kill that one. I need that one. <laughs> oh, this is enough. Wait, you're already cured. Uh, go. The last four has 2,500 HP. Still need it. Oh. Uh. I'm dealing forty damage less per attack from Butts because I forgot to equip the power ring on him. But it still worked out. Should be enough for what I need. Lena Master Time Magic Level 6. Dragon Dog was right. Perfect timing. Good stuff. Ah, uh, 200 more, huh? Ah, uh, for those of you talking about, um,. Font modding and everything. I'm actually using a base. If this is actually a base font, this year, the Japanese font, which actually is allowed in speedruns. Yeah, yeah. So the reason we're not changing the fonts is because, like, if you change the font, it does mess with how fast things run in some places. Yeah. I normally would use. are actually included with the game itself. Um, the J the Japanese font is still the same speed as um, the default font, mm. and I just switched it to that because the default font is awful. What? No way. No idea. I normally use the pixel font there because the modern. Uh, just left it. That is. Alrighty, we have all now the Earth Crystal, if I'm not mistaken, which means everybody has to have at least one dancer, one beast monster, and one time mage, and one white mage in their party at any given point. Correct. Because we didn't unlock beast monster until now. For me and Dragon Dark, this is also the reason why we did our grinding before we got these crystals, because we wanted to get ability points for time magic on everybody. But the others are going to do some grinding kind of along the way, I will guess. By the way, do we take a break this year? Yeah, I think so. Well, World 1 is pretty chunky. Um, World 2 is really short. I think usually the break coincides with like the first person reaching the uh, Mubu cutscene or the Mubu forest. Is that what it was? I was the last person out of World 1. Maybe those two were, uh, two coincided. <laughs> 
I mean, we can do either or. It doesn't really matter. Where do, where do we want to break? Sorry. I was busy fighting the bald man. The bald man? Yeah. I guess we were really well too. Oh, that one. Yeah, I guess World Tour is probably good. Okay. Point, because the rest is pretty quick. Thanks to... Well, actually, unless people donate for us to not be able to use a chicken knife and magic lamp. I mean... Then that's gonna be slightly longer. And also, at least for me, it's gonna be pretty tricky timings. Yeah, it will be for me too. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So, before we get into World 2, there are three mini-bosses, as I like to call them, the Meteor Trio. One is Puroboros. The gimmick of them is that if you kill one, they will cast Revive or Arise, basically reviving all his allies with maximum HP. But because you kill all of them at the same time, they, well, don't do that. Die Titan will basically usually just do physical attacks, but occasionally use Earthshake here in regular turns. And it will, well, do a lot of damage. And it also casts Earthshaker as a counterattack when it dies. Unless you cast up on it. So unless you either have enough HP, which I do, to survive it, or you just cast up on him, um, you might have a tough time defeating Titan. And the last one is Chimera Brain, whose main gimmick is to just cast air effects on all party members all the time. But it is also not heavy, which means status effects, which it is vulnerable to a lot of them, will stick for a really long time, so if you just stop it, it's not gonna do anything anymore. Or just kill it, I guess. I, I, I just go one gravity and one rod. Yeah. That's that the whole fight. Stick. I don't... I think I don't even bother with gravity. I think I set up the auto battle for using one rod and put over us and the other two cars stop. And I just auto battle through the next two boss battles. Mm -hmm. I need to back infuse, actually. Derp! Uh, 6.50. I'll get it later. Yeah, 10 minutes low in practice, rip. Actually, good question. Did you already pre-register? What run are you gonna do first? Chaos and Risk. I didn't want to do the new mode with Risk, because I don't want to end up with four mini drops. <laughs> I'm very excited for the new mode, though. To see how that plays out. I went with 375, the new mode, and Berserker Risk, just to see. Also, my first class will be Berserker. So far. What a surprise! Hmm. How do you know? When the jobs haven't been released yet? You were able to see them. The first one you can check. Yeah. Really? I thought I thought all of them were locked until the end. They are, technically, but... I mean, you can see it on your own profile. Yeah. That's how I saw it. I haven't looked, because I just assumed they weren't locked. Imagine they were just telling way. everybody now how to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> so one I of the mean... weird changes they made to this is you... Um, unless I just completely overlooked something, you have to go back to the... Um, yes, you do. To the, to the airship landing and find a note from Mid and Sid telling you to go to the meteorite. Yep. You can't just go straight to the meteorite. Correct. Oh, yeah, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> That's so weird. Because I did not even remember that thing existed. I might have found it in my first playthrough, but never afterwards. Because you don't need to, technically. Yeah. Well, except this version. Yeah. Alright, abductor friend. Please kill fast. I just pass gravity on him twice and then dance just to see whether it works. I cast gravity on myself. <laughs> I, 
I just tried to pilot the fire-powered ship instead of my airship. <laughs> Whoops. I'm like, why isn't the ship going? Oh. 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 Yeah. You also don't have to press the button every time you want to go through the door, and I keep forgetting that. I always go and press that bloody button. It's kind of fascinating how many little things you are used to that you may or may not have to do now. To go and get mini, like mini's just not worth it anymore. You can't just go, you can't just say no to pushing and saying yes to pulling. You have to do the you whole, have to? the whole shit. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Whole, whole shebang. I actually didn't even realize that. I would yeah. have gotten mini if I had a shield user, but I don't. I was trying to see if like I can mini an enemy or something, but no, you can't. <laughs> I mean, you can, but the chance yeah. to hit is probably... Yeah, yeah. That's one, and then it's not even necessary, and you can't hit it, really. Yeah. Too bad there's no mini blade for the missing knife. That would be funny. Gallop in the front when he's not in the party. Who should I have in the front instead? That. And you go to this. This. That. Da, da, da. Um. I don't know. One thing that really irritates me in this version is when your characters leave your party and rejoin, your order is all messed up. Yeah, well, I hate it. So weird. I hate it. The thing is, if we if if we didn't bother about changing it, it would matter. But like, I always have a set order. If, to play no, it, it always matters to me. Like, even if I wouldn't like change it at the start, if, if I have an order I want to play with, I want I need I need to have it that way. Yeah, like, I'm so used to it being Faris, Bart, Lennox, uh, uh, like, that entire order. So it's just I know that that's where they are on the on the bar whenever I see them. So when, it, when they're not, I'm like, why the hell is Faris on the bottom? <laughs> mm. It really does wig me out a little bit. Yep. Oh, why are Satan made at the meteor? Well, it couldn't be because of the note we read just now. Wait, you can grab it, Greg? Yes. Oh. Yep, the first one you can. That's exactly what I do to him. Oh yeah, and also your front character is not the right, the correct one anymore. He just always broke a rod. <laughs> I mean, works just as well, really, but... Yeah... Kind of, technically. Also, I need to not forget to change my dobs around. Mm hmm. Don't want to have you Hello? disqualified. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I think as long as you don't get in any battles with un with incorrect jo incorrect job, you're fine. Shopping trip here. All right, I just gave my cactus the final drops because I literally don't ever change it anymore. I make a couple of changes later on, but not many. Yeah, I was considering some catches and releases for later, but it just doesn't feel worth it.
And once again, shout out to our awesome race streamer for doing a lot of work. Super early in the morning. Um. Front row. Not the best song in the game? Wow, I agree. <laughs> the Lick song is the best one in my opinion. Well, yeah, right. because I, I, I use like 19 Phoenix now on Adamantoy, so I couldn't sell them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 19, you say? I feel like <laughs> you're lying. Like my, may, maybe a little bit of exaggeration. Uh, Save the rod on Gilga because I got a sword dance! Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't even go for those. I mean, I have I a free like turn. I, might, I feel like I might have to go and grab a bear just to make up for that rod. Yeah, you can gravity the bear, so it's a quick patch, actually. Gravity, gravity, gravity. The problem is encountering it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's really, yeah. really rare. To be fair, I do, I do still have one extra frost rod, so I could just make that make up where it is that. It won't, it won't, won't be boosted, but it shouldn't matter too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is actually faster than my practice. Go bigger. I think. This will just about be. I think this is roughly the same as my practice. I had a two forty three. I think so this is looking tight. Two forty one. Yeah. Just hoping my world two goes back. I I I had a you very. Sit like two twenty. That's a super slow, super slow world one. Yeah, it was so. I mean, I don't do like the level six grinding and all that nonsense. So definitely so. Ah, right, let's just be safe here. Why do I keep having more yeah. news scroll? Uh, you know what, I might, I'm gonna go grab this because I'm you used to having it, so just my numbers are gonna work out with it. If I don't have it, it's just gonna feel weird. I'm probably the only only one getting this, and I don't really need it, but it's just I'm used to having it as like a, uh, a damage modifier, like, uh, not a damage modifier, but I use it to kind of like throw out hits here and there, and I modulate my damage with it. The Elven Cloak? The Blitz, the blitz Whip. Oh, the Blitz Whip. Okay. I don't buy a Chain Whip because I haven't got the money. Yeah, I don't get, get blitzed by board chain. Yeah, no flex. Nice. I guess all right there. Yeah, but this is one. You can technically do this one later, but uh, imagine who would forget that. <laughs> huh. yeah, not me. Yeah. It's just, it, there's not really anything else we're gonna do in that town, so it's just convenient yeah. to just hit it on the way through. Yeah. I'm probably like high holy water. That's about it. Yeah, I need to buy a holy water. I got I got zombied on the way through that once, and that was not. Wow. Yeah, that's why I quick save. This killer beast here. Okay. Sure. Yeah, the spots where there where there's not supposed to be any encounters, there are now. Good job, bots. You did one damage to yourself. There's zero damage to yourself. I mean, it there's literally no modi uh, modification to any encounter rate in this game from what i can tell because normally in karnak escape you have very low encounter rate and over there you normally have no encounters in this game it's just like encounters everywhere yeah there used to be like a no encounter zone of the ocean and for the ocean as well in world one and that doesn't exist anymore um yeah, yeah it's just it's weird but all those areas that weren't supposed to have encounters, they just set it to have the encounters from the very beginning of the game, so it's not really impactful anyway. 
That's what you say, I fixed my AP route on the way to Moogle Forest. <laughs> Usually not. Ah, come on, run! Hello? Wow. Alright, I guess I'm the last one to enter World 2 here soon. Not there yet. Lovely. Also, I would like to point out that Galov, Trial, and the others, they came in Meteors in order to change dimensions. But Lena and Ferris they decided to just go without anything like that. Not necessary. I mean, why would it be? I mean, protection. Nah. It's fine. One or two burns are not going to kill them. <laughs> yeah, I think me and Ragnarok are not going to catch up until World 3, where we have time magic level 6 for everything. Before that, though, we don't get time magic 6. I mean... You're just gonna have an advantage on XP. That's it. I'm going I'm getting time magic six on people as I get meteor, actually. Interesting. Well, that's the idea anyway. Whether that's actually gonna happen, let's see. <laughs> I did what level do you guys get with your grind in there anyway? Uh I came out at twenty two. Yeah. I decided against that. While the AP is great, the XP is not really that great. Yeah. Hey, got the ether. Saving my grind for later. I've got one more grind to do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How are we feeling for breaks at some point? Does someone want to get ready for that or? Are we all at a point where we can stop, or are we in the middle of um, cutscene? I break? can technically stop now. I could stop now too if need be. I'm in the middle of a cutscene. I can stare at XF if you want me to. That's fine. Yeah, I'm about to get control of Gloof, so. Alright, you tell us stop and then we take a break. Okay, well, let's uh, stop in 5, 4, three, two, 1. Break time. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. Alright everybody, make sure to get up, stretch, walk around maybe for a second, stay hydrated, and grab a blanket, grab a cup of tea, hot chocolate, whatever you prefer, and make sure to be back in how long? Uh, ten? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten yeah, that would be, yeah, that would be exactly 1pm over here. Sounds right. good. Good! See you on the hour. Break time. On the hour. Pushing it back. Push! Sounds good. Yeah, I think we're. I, I'm guessing we're back now? Oh, baby. Hell yeah. Um, like I guess it. we can get confirmation from chat to make sure we're actually back. Mm. I trust Riz. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, cool. Are we all good to go? Ready to restart? In three, two, one, restart. Mm -hmm. Alright, good luck. Don't die yet. Yet. Yet, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Please die later. Oh, what? Nice. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, the title of the game. Yeah, guys. Don't die right now. That's all. Just get. I mean, 
you're allowed to die after the crystals. At least one character, if not more than one though. I am not sure if this is okay. It should be okay. Ah, Paris, please. More than okay. Inconceivable! That's enough of a beating. Here's where I screw up the pathway on the bloody big bridge. I was surprised that it's the same, to be honest. I was expecting, like, all kinds of magic, like, fighting every encounter. <laughs> <laughs> High praise. I mean, the other mobile port was that way, so... I was like, hmm... Was it really? The, uh, the old, uh... <laughs> the grey port, yes. That. That wet fart of a release. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget that. The tower explosion! With the, with, with the tower, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be honest, actually worth playing just for that. Just to get the, oh, yeah. the, the laugh for that, but yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, y'all get noticed. See, I disabled my mouse cursor for my captures. Yeah, same. First thing I do, capture cursor. Hell no. I like to point out stuff on the screen when I'm streaming sometimes. Well, you're just considerate of your audience, so screw you. Imagine explaining what you're doing, please. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no time for that. <laughs> yeah, so leave it up to them to figure out. If they can't figure it out, that's on them. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of explaining things, Gilgamesh here actually has a lot more HP. Are you pointing at able him? To be I would like to see see the cursor, please. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gone now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> But yes, basically, the gravity reduces enemies' HP by half of what they currently have. So, because Gilgamesh has a lot more HP than he needs to lose in order to run away, you can just grab with him and win the battle instantly. Yay! I used a rock, I didn't actually know you used gravity that much. Yeah, Good. I mean, I learned that today, so that's why I use gravity now <laughs> instead of a rock. I just I just noticed it in my um, in my spreadsheet for like all the boss for all the boss stats and everything. It's like, oh wait, he's not heavy. I can just gravity him. How did none wrong. of you know that? Wow. Oh Jesus! Sorry, I mean, sorry, I young master. Fantasy <laughs> <laughs> five. Uh. I, I actually knew that he was not heavy in other versions, but for some reason I expected him to be heavy here. Because Pixel Remastered. It wouldn't have surprised me if they did. Yeah, right. Heavy. But I mean, I, I, I figure you would have tried. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I largely didn't even use catch and releases because I figured yeah. they would still be broken. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the thing is, I said that on my stream the other day, like with catch and release. While, while it is actually really amazing. The unfortunate thing about this party is that the Time Mage can do like 90% of the stuff you would like do with a Beastmaster with catches and releases normally. Like most of them are just like not necessary. Yeah, which is a shame. Which is why Berserk would have been better than Time Mage, right? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean. You can get two maxes, I guess. I mean, it only takes like the Oregon Compass, right? Piano Flux! You can't use haste. You can also not use protect. And so you cannot use shell. Sorry. Not all break rods and move on anyway. Alright. I just used Mute in this battle here. Mute is a very strange time magic spell. It literally mutes the entire battlefield. Nobody can cast spells anymore, which does include Gilgamesh in this case. 
And normally when he drops below a certain HP amount, he tries to haste, protect and shell himself, basically taking half damage and going way faster than before. But because I'm to the battlefield, he can't do that. I didn't screw it up! I'm so proud of me. Me too! <laughs> Congratulations. The last time I did it, I just went full pelt on the left side and went too far up. <laughs> I didn't think to slow down, I don't know why. <laughs> so... Oh dear. Yeah, that's one nasty enemy there, actually, Neo Garula, that uh, has mm. a lot of HP. And also, mean to Thunder, like, like everything isn't. Everything else is weak to Thunder, apart from him who absorbed it. Yeah. <laughs> like, cheers, buddy. Yep. I would have to break fire rod. I can't afford to like, break fire rods because I only bought exactly as many as I needed. I'm not yeah. too Like, more. the thing is, I, I feel like if I need to break one, I will break one, but I, I don't want to have to go up, up to Karnak to buy extras from Pyramid. Yeah. And I know that, you know, you have to use a couple, I think, you know, like three from the four merits in. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of... My backup is if I use too many fire rods, I just capture a bio soldier in there. Oh yeah, because you get that first try, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember you got that back attack. You you, you got that back attack, and, and so she went first and summoned a bio soldier. <laughs> and then you went, yeah, Graviga catch, done. Yeah. It's always funny when the enemy summons another enemy, you cast Gravika in order to reduce it below 1 8 HP, and just catch it and run away with the Beastmaster. Just snatch their friend away. It's perfect. Absolutely saving before this fight. Even though it's not a, a hard fight or anything, I did manage to lock it up on this one. It just, just, it just refused to disintegrate. It got stuck in the shaking animation. It's like, okay, well, cool. That's fun, I Rude. Okay, didn't do it this yeah, time. <laughs> <sighs> It's only three questions mark in this version. Is this what's the question mark? Sorry, we you counting the uh, the blue magic the, or revenge yeah, attack? Yeah, the blue magic. The uh, Kuza beast uses it um, on basically every turn, and it's in every other version. It's just four question marks. In this version, it's only three. Makes all the difference. <laughs> it's a very, it's a, it's three quarters of as good a move now, or one quarter less a move. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Something like that. Wing. <laughs> Down here in this river are the worst enemies because they are Mughal eaters. Please don't eat Mughals. Mughals are friends, not food. Unless they have voice over, then it's fair game. It's amazing how Moogles are, are simultaneously the best and worst of the of the Final Fantasy mascots. Koopa. Was slightly faster, they had to force an extra encounter and then just walk across the sand instead of walking all the way around. Yep, that's what I did too. I, I, I didn't even think, because like, yeah, the way it used to work is that you didn't get any encounters unless you're on the sand, but now you get encounters regardless. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you know it's not going to be an encounter for like at least a good 10 to 15 steps minimum, so you can easily make it across that last little bit. Indeed. Can I catch a Lopros if I get one here? No, I need the death thing first. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to talk to you again. 
I do appreciate how I have had to deal with like three, at least uh, two, at least two actions every single encounter here. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Uh oh. Actually, no. I, I was knackered anyway. Doesn't matter. Tell me if you should have done that. It doesn't matter. It turns out. So I just have to get lucky with my phoenix down. I can't cast rays because I haven't got enough, enough MP. And I sold all my ethers. What a... Ooh, that's actually bad. I'm I could have elixir. Elixir. elixir, but like I don't know. I haven't got three random drops, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I actually skip most of them in Pyramid and they devoid. I wonder well. why you do that and they're still fine. <laughs> uh. It's so mean to Yagamoth. <laughs> I mean, he sets it up nicely though, what can I say? First try. To be fair, what I could have just done is just made someone else a white mage and then just used their arrays. And that would have been a much, a much smarter idea in all honesty. Yeah, I thought it would be much slower too. All right now, coupo, coupo, coupo. It's coupo. a noise. It's not a word, coupo. You know, it's like coupo, rather than going coupo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a disturbingly accurate um... rendition of Moogles with a voiceover. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've never even heard that, but. <laughs> I, yeah. I, mechanically, I enjoy playing 13-2 sometimes. I was going to say, to yeah, 13-2 yeah, right. yeah, is the worst offender, by far. Like. I, I was, I, I was I, have you played Dissidia NT, NT, my friend? Like, I love NT to pieces, but use your skills, Koopao! <laughs> Every... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I, I was very just thinking um, some of the cutscenes from Final Fantasy XIV, but... They, see, they don't say Koopo, though. They just have that kind of woo, -woo thing going on for them. <laughs> like, some kind of, like, UFO sound. I don't know. Lesson. All this talk about Moogles and Chocobos and Cactars and Tongaries and we all know Moogles are the other, other number one. What's a Bingleberry? How many are Bingleberries? Bingleberry! Tonberries are what happens when you curse a Lollafell. That is true. <laughs> Oh, oh, that is true! <laughs> yeah, is yeah, true. yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> I just thought of that. I was wondering how long it would take you two to get that. Oh, man, well, it's not I my class. I don't play that class. What do you mean? It's the best healer class in the nah, game, dude. It's the worst, actually. <laughs> it's, not the w it's not the worst. I'm sorry, it's not the worst. It's amazing. I prefer Astro myself. Yeah, Astro's Astro's better. got some good stuff at 90. I like it's Flake Sage. It's got some good stuff at 90, but... Dollars is too good. We all know the white mage is the best, you know. Vanilla healer, nice and boring. If I, play, if I play healer at all, it's ass, but um, I still mean, I still prefer Bard over everything else. It's my favorite class by a long shot. Dollars is my main healer, but uh, yeah. Red mage! Excuse me? I know Dark Knight is my. I'm, I like, they're both alright. I'm a Dark Knight and a Red mage main. Co main. Sorry, Sarah, white mage is bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, we love white mages, and then we really enjoy them being part of the raid. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't leave. Um... <laughs> Am I to guess that Magoose plays a white mage? I was no, actually no. white mage for a while. The beginning. Yeah. And then... then he saw the light and he went Dragoon. And no, Antwalker, which is the disaster for white mage. Actually, and then Wait, we have we actually have someone in our uh, static that ha is in another static um, on their main and plays white mage, and they said the changes they made um, in I think it was six point one actually were pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. White mage did get better. Twenty second, the twenty second lilies is huge. First off, it means it's like much more. Uh, it, well, it, apparently, it's like it's no no longer a DPS loss to use misery. It's like great. This is completely unrelated to FF5, by the way, everyone, but, uh, you know, <laughs> nah. just, uh, no, it, is a, it, it is a job talking. system, it is a, it is a job system, so, you know. And you can change it any time, well, actually, mm -hmm. 
Well, no, can you? I haven't played enough of not, the game. Not in an instance, but, yeah. Yeah. but you can't change the job in a battle in this game, can you? No. No, but all, all of the classes are really good, that's the thing. Like, every single healer's good. It's kind of hard to say if they're the worst one. I don't know. I guess it depends on your preferences. Like, I like shield healing. I'm really enjoying playing Sage, I think. I don't think it's going to overtake Scholar any 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 anytime soon, but like the concept makes sense. To me, so. Yeah, one of our uh, static members actually was probably going to go White Mage, but then just enjoyed Sage too much and just like, yeah, I'll go with this. I mean, Sage is fun. That's the one thing I know. We have a DPS that calls himself a Sage. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> 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 the zero percent healing path on Sage. Like, Let's go. <laughs> I had to take, had to had to get one shot more out. I'm pretty sure he like for a while during that fight he was like ahead of the tanks. <laughs> oh, see, that was funny. The macrocosmos did enough work, so it was okay. Yeah. <sighs> Macro is so good, especially in P3S. Yeah. That's good, yeah. So I think flow. We get flowers soon. Plucking some flowers by Magus. Ah uh, yes, I'm actually right here. So initially, this this thing is also not heavy. So I, what I'm going to do is use gravity on it. Uh, but initially, I actually caught something uh, because you can also use Doom on it and whatnot. But eh. not worth the hassle. If you get the fight, it's easy to kind of get it and go. Yeah. Also, I'm in um, Bal Castle, where um, good old um, the Luke Baldessian is here. He uh, he stores a very very handy spell called Teleport, which allows us to instantly flee from uh, any encounter. He works like escape or smoke from the thief or ninja, respectively. It, uh, quickly. it costs 15 MP though, so it's uh, it's quite um, an MP investment but it is you know there are some enemies in this game which which is just nuts to flee from we've already mentioned in like previous encounters but going forward like the, the higher end of x death of, of x death castle is just not okay um, there's some encounters in in the pyramid as well that are just not ideal to have to try and run from so having a reliable um having a reliable flee option is just good yeah it's definitely very nice to have and escaping from dungeons is just kind of the cherry on top because in most Forge of Fiestas you don't have that luxury, you just have to walk all the way outside. A frog! A frog! Ah! Oh, you'll eat like a king tonight! See, frogs are food. There you, ha there you have it! Proof! <laughs> Absolutely! 100%! Oh, frogs are friends, not food. So I'm, so, I'm, so I'm guessing I'm not the only one picking up the Tornado board? Yeah, it's just easier and like. For, for instance, if, if you get the yellow dragons for the gold hairpin chest, it just makes that like a little bit faster and I don't have to worry about like magic dragons and whatnot, like having to hit certain thresholds for that. Doesn't it cost like 25 million pounds to get the gold? 10,000. 10,000. Ten but you have that like, kind of money? Yeah, you, 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 took, you uh, stole it from the move. Well, no, that's for, that's for other things. I've still got to buy some spells. It's just so much easier to just be able to cast Gravity once and then catch immediately without having to cast Graviga and then have to do a little bit more damage without killing it. I just It, it, it just seems so much easier to me to just go with it and it didn't take very long to catch the stupid frog. Yeah, you, I mean, it kind of depends on what you're trying to catch. You know what helps if you get it? Uh, you're equipping it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does yeah. help. I didn't do that too. You know what also helps? Remembering to unequip it afterwards because it weighs like it, it weighs it as much as a ton of bricks. Yeah, it does. Thank you for people who may not know. Uh, if you equip a Kanaga Gold as an accessory, you only need to uh, damage enemies half instead of one eighth in order to be able to capture them. Indeed. Now, actually, in some cases, like I was originally catching a Knockworth one for the plants just not worth it, but it actually is better to keep the Gord on, to have the beast, your beast master go last, because you do have 100% of the time to get rid of the flowers beforehand. So in that instance it will actually be helpful to slow down the beast master. 
I guess that's something we actually haven't talked about, is how weight works in this version, huh? Because it's different. Yeah. We... Instead of every 8 uh, weight slowing you down by 1 speed, every weight slows you down by 1 speed. It's actually pretty extreme. Yeah, how much yeah. slower you go if you have heavy armor and such. Yeah. Alrighty. And everybody on my team has Comet now and Gravity, so... I can easily just murder this poor up doctor fella. Me right, so Meteor does between 400 and 1600 damage. So it's very variable, but oddly enough, our most reliable option, despite that. It's also nice that it's independent of your magic stat, so anyone can cast it without any problems. Yeah. That too. Really I actually don't pick up Comet until I get back from uh, Drakenvale, though. I, um, Same. I was picking up for the way up there, but I ended up just not needing it. So I was just like, I'll get all and I come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether you cast Comet or one more gravity on the plant doesn't really matter. Oh, I just go th I go three gravity and then one rod, and that's all it takes. Yep. Jobby. Frog! Frog! <laughs> He's gonna eat like a king. Yep, food. Frogs are food. Proof! But you gave him a That's what I said. Uh, no, 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 no. He is asking for a frog. <laughs> it's a frog. Don't, 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 don't do that. Also, unique to this version, it is actually faster to sleep at the end than to sit at the table and um, eat the. Um, and just have dinner, um, because you actually run to your beds and then run out of your beds. Yes. Wait, what, what do you mean, sit at the table and eat dinner? Is that a thing in this in this in this village? In in Kelb, if you sit, there's a table up in the um, in the in the upper half of the room. If you sit in the left chair, he'll just go get you dinner, and it basically treats it like you stayed at the inn, and you get in eight the... potions in addition. Is this in the inn, or is this in? Yeah, in the inn. Yeah, and if you do that three times, there's no more sheep outside. Guess what you're eating? Frogs! Thanks. Easy. Frogs! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, good back attack. Uh, the, the sheep just have to migrate because they can't eat frogs anymore. So they have to mm. go someplace else. They have to go to a farm. In this guy. That, that worked a bit better when you're not talking about actual farm animals, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, frogs are friends, not food. No eating frogs, please. Are you getting the gourd, actually? <laughs> that, that Yagamoth just why... atting the entire country of France there. <laughs> I think that's why Yaga doesn't get the gourd. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want anyone to eat any frogs. I see. <laughs> no, I, I don't get the gourd because Gravigo is mostly fine. Yeah, I suppose. I just like I it, what pushed me over is like the gold hairpin chest for the yellow dragons that like it's a quick catch there. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I'm just gonna get a red dragon. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, that's actually a thing we haven't pointed out yet, is it? Well, th this is a point where it's most important to talk about it, I guess. Going through Drakenvale. Um, yes. One of the quirks of this particular version, and it's very, very cool, is that Drain and Osmos are spells that um, absorb. Uh, HP and MP respectively from your opponent and give them to you. Um, as we know, when it comes to undead enemies, that was always in reverse. If you're healing an undead enemy, they take damage. So if you're trying to absorb from them, it actually reverses it. So you take, you lose the HP and MP and they gain it. Um, but if you use Drain and Osmos on undead enemies, specifically Osmos, by using Drain particularly, it overflows their HP value and kills them. Or their MP value and kills them. Um, and if you do it with HP, it puts them essentially in critical HP. Um, or high coal, or ever much you drain, or you um, drain by. Um, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Which means it's actually very, e even more powerful. Or yeah, basically flexible. it overwrites their HP and MP value rather than adding it. It's kind of silly. Thank you for the explanation. Nice. It may have not been entirely accurate. I think the thing about the MP is that it increases the MP by that amount, or like replaces the MP, but there's nothing attached to the HP. Which yeah, is because the, the same function <laughs> on the level. And because there's nothing to put into HP, it's going to be zero. 
I think that's pretty cool. Also, um, after we put that poor bear wolf into bed, uh, we go and visit the mountain as well. I need to go and heal, so I'm going to go to this... Uh... Well, I could just um, take a tent. I've got plenty of tents still. That's what I'm doing. Yes. And I can find it anyways. No one's rescuing Gollum. Yeah, that would take a while. Oh, another change in the Pixel Remaster, by the way. In every other version, you can use a Phoenix Down on these zombie dragons in order to instantly kill them. This version, you cannot. They are heavy. Heavy means that they cannot be afflicted by percentile damage or instant death and gravity-based effects. Time magic in general. Kind of weird. Hey, I got an elixir. Guaranteed. <laughs> nice. I'm getting That's sword dances on my dragon zombie. Everything but. Wow, you are so lucky, Bowie. <laughs> I'm very lucky yeah. at getting what I don't want. <laughs> the good option when I don't need it. This time you don't want to so three times as well. It was a pretty good. Maybe real quick on how dance works. Dance is basically you choose one of four random dances. Well, it's random. You choose dance and then you get a random outcome. One is Tempting Tango, which tries to confuse the enemy. The best part about it is, uh, even if the enemy has a ridiculous amount of magic evasion, it still will always hit if they are susceptible to it. Um, then it also especially has the Jitterbug Duet and the Mystery Waltz, which are Drain and Osmose, respectively. Basically, it's the exact same thing as the black magic spell strain and those moves in this game. And last but not least, you get sword dance, which is double your attack and double your attack multiplier, effectively four times damage most of the time. And it actually ignores row in this game. It's kind of pretty strong. The biggest problem of sword dance is trying to get it when you need it. <laughs> yes. Um, X death at the end of World Two, where your only real sword source of damage is sword dance is uh, a special kind of hell. Yeah, that... I just hope you leveled up enough beforehand in that case. I guess something other than... like... Oh, for God's sake, dude. Oh, no, I accidentally let go of my... Oh, this is... Ab oh, this is... This is, this is dreadful. <laughs> This is not okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah, one second. Ooh. I see the poison breath. Oof. Uh -huh. Oh, and I can't return because he's just killed! <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude! Really? Let me just return! I just want a card return! Good god! <laughs> Let me go! Oh, crikey. I haven't had a single, like, mystery wall. <laughs> I'm... This is Mystery it... Waltz! <laughs> yes! This Good. is why I didn't bother with the zombie dragons. I was having no luck getting Mystery Waltz or Jitterbug to come up, and it's just like, you know, I don't need this. Dragon Clank. Well, like, a lot of money. I mean, yeah, it's 2,500 gil, but I'm, I just, I planned around just not getting them. Like, if this was GBA, I would have absolutely stocked up on Phoenix Downs and gone up there and just threw those at him for a while, but it's not GBA and we can't do that. Yep. Why did it die from mystery walls? Well, it couldn't take the dance and then just rolled over. Sorry, zombie dragons have two left feet. Dancing is their one weakness. Got two left feet. Yeah. yeah. Bart is a hardcore clubber, and uh, the. Um... Wait for it. 
but um, it was ex we just explained it a little bit ago. But basically, what's happening is when you use a drain type attack on them, they're undead, which is supposed to give them, which will give them the um, HP or the MP and, um, instead of taking it from them like it normally would. Um, and what's happening is instead of adding the amount to their um, totals, it's just completely overriding it with whatever you drain them for. So if you drain them for MP, um, it sees zero HP and just kills it. And if you were to hit Jitterbug, it would just put them at like two or three hundred HP. There you go. That's stuck. Third time. Third time's the charm. Return is a lovely spell when you can just the fight didn't, didn't go in your favor. Start again. <laughs> yeah. I'll have another crack. Two over. I want to shouldn't get the path. Confused and stuff. Just got confused and stuff. Yeah, oh my goodness! <laughs> Fairy just tried to cast raise. Ah, huh. uh, that could have been bad. But uh, it, he targeted the one enemy that was still alive. Ah, uh, yeah, that actually, yeah, yeah, that would have worked. Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 uh, man, that would have been fun. I didn't realize she was confused because she was also stunned, so I just tried to attack with everybody else instead. That, there, there is a big reason why I did not buy the Confuse spell, and it's because I did have my Confused character cast Confuse on somebody else, and I'm just like, nope, we're not doing this again. <laughs> that ain't happening. Well, that's a really good point. Wow, if you, have a, if you have a preemptive and you return, you lose a preemptive. Yep. And back attack to, uh, could be the other way around. I mean, you can still get it again, but yeah. Yep. I assume Mega's already through the death uh, at Gilgo. Uh, yep. Took a while, yeah. but it, yeah. It took a while? Interesting. Had to return, like, for the release. So something different on the uh, boat is that in previous versions, um, the gobble the, the uh, like goblins, the gobbledygooks that are just walking around, as long as you didn't try to talk to them, they wouldn't fight you. Yeah. In this one, if you just look at them, they will. Yeah. Yep. They sure will. So you actually have to avoid them properly. Interesting. Indeed. Yeah. Xdef on the boat has 8,888 HP. Once he drops below 6,000 HP remaining, he would call Enkidu, who heals him for 4,000. And has 4,000 HP himself. So... It's easier to just release that one thing that we call, which is the Aquathorn, which costs Doom, and has a really high chance to straight up kill, kill the mesh on the boat, so that's what we do. And if it doesn't work, we have a time age to try again. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. <laughs> that is the power of the return spell. <laughs> yep. He meant Gilgamesh. You meant, it, it's, no, never mind. You, you, oh. know Gilgamesh is really, you know Gilgamesh right. is really just at death. Right, sure. I don't know why I made that mistake. I mean, actually, we're all calling him the wrong name. His name is Greg. Gregamesh. Georg. We, we know it's Greg. We've seen this. Hildebrand Manderville has taught us well. Where does the name Greg come from? <laughs> <laughs> it, it comes from uh, comes from Final Fantasy XIV. There's a very long side quest line that involves Gilgamesh and somebody who just will not get his name right, and he just calls him Greg. So now his name is officially Greg. But there's a whole story behind it, and it's a good one too. It's actually a really cool side quest. To buy my stuff. You know, some people don't like those side quests, I don't know. Weird people, really. I wouldn't have done the side quest unless what people told me to. <laughs> like, they are fun, but at the same time, 
I ended up starting to play Final Fantasy XIV because I wanted to have something mindless to do, just follow dots around the map. But now suddenly the story is actually quite fun and interesting. And it's just not welcome. mindless anymore. Yeah, welcome to 14, <laughs> mate, yeah. <laughs> we all intend to go in the same way. We come out a different one. Yeah. So, yeah. The main problem is it just kind of made me not want to continue playing unless I could actually pay attention, so I just didn't continue. I had I, I had to pay attention. How could the game do this to me? I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you stop atomic raining me? <laughs> Please? Thank you! Right. Maybe I'm if I can have one less disastrous fight, that'd be really good. Uh huh. Now oh, these boys. And again. Alright, well, return! Try that again. Yeah. Return is such a nice spell. It's also something that I completely forgot about when initially routing. Because it's so nice to be able to just return to how the battle was at the beginning. Except for Rod and Wonder uh, last cycles for some reason. There. I see. Uh... Well, since I already have the Cornago, since I forgot to take the Cornago car. <laughs> Off of Galoop, I guess I'm just gonna keep it on. I'm gonna catch something that's gonna get in the barracks in the door. Good luck. It's a pretty yeah. common enemy, so, I don't, so it's not a big deal to uh, do it. Oh, for Antline later? Ah, uh, man. Oh, I'm catching a uh, Traveler on the way up because it casts Time Slip, which, ca which inflicts Sleep and Old, and I'm gonna use Sleep on Atomos. Oh, yeah, that works in this version. I forgot about that part. Well, if it hits, yeah. Well, yeah, but I forgot. Every other version, uh, basically, time slip inflicts peak sleep and old, as Dragonair said. Um, but normally, it does not work if one or the other is resisted by the enemy. In this version, whatever hits can hit. I actually forgot about that. So, I'm just brute forcing it down. I was gonna try and bring like a zoo from World One just to throw at him for a lot of damage, but I'm like, wait a minute, I can put him to sleep and then just auto battle the rest of the fight and throw comets at him. Yeah, I mean auto battle anyways. <laughs> also, my favorite thing is that the island is currently not present on the map when you initially tried to go there, and then it is present on the map after it sinks. It's great. Kinda weird. Again, very unlucky, but we push on. Yep, I did leave it on you. Alright, where are you, traveler? Oh, first fight. Good. And you put my Beastmaster to sleep. Easy first try every time. Oh, and then they woke him right up. All right, cool. cool. That works. On you. Mm -hmm. I actually need to heal you now. Let me haste you. One of the weirdest things about the Pixel Remaster is, when you try to go to take an in or go to sleep, the default answer your cursor is on is no. And I don't understand. Yeah, that's that's another weird one for this game. There's arguments for both sides, but it's used to yes. If you, if you, in case you don't want to spend too much money, but at the same time it kind of it feels like they like, very much decrease the cost of, of in this mode. I mean, no. I kind of mildly disagree. I guess see the point. But if you talk to if you usually want to sleep. But you know, it's also about confirming the price. You know, you know, you know that how much it costs, you know how much you're losing. It's nice. So you don't actually really want to sleep. Mm 
five. And we got control, yay! Everything's on the control box. Well, heh. <laughs> About that. Oh, welcome to my practice run yesterday, I forgot to. <laughs> I, I think in my, in my practice I did it before I went to Sergei, so I was like, I went straight to Sergei this time. Oh, you went to Sergei? To get float? Mm hmm. And fly brand. I see. I know you, but you don't, you don't get it. You mm -hmm. don't really need it. I mean, you, it just gets you through X Death Castle without damage. Well, it's quite nice. Also, X Death himself in phase one. Just avoid uh, Earthquake entirely. But no, we can just flirt with him. <laughs> we, yeah, we have a way to deal with X Death. Well, I mean, yeah. if it misses enough, he's still do Earthshaker. <laughs> yeah. 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 He, he can. How do I know that you <laughs> ask? Well. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's a, it's a, it's a ninety percent hit rate for Yagamoth. For all the, for the rest of us mere mortals, it is um. Sixty or something. Fifty. Fifty. 50, 50. 60 or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I have no idea how it's calculated in this game. It's clearly a lot like the original. It's it must be higher than fifty because like it does hit more often on average than it doesn't. But yeah. He's hit. Nope. Uh, we'll yeah, this is why I didn't catch the thing. I tried that and I missed like four times and it's like eh well, I just well just cast comet and then revive at the end count damage. There it is. <laughs> okay, Atmos has almost 20,000 HP and is weak to. Slap. Being put to sleep. Otherwise, Atmos, as long as you don't have anybody dead in your party, he will cast Comet up to two times a turn, usually two times a turn. Yes. Which will, at our level, pretty much kill one character at a time. Pretty much guaranteed. Enemy, enemy comet rolls don't go below eight, 800, I swear. Like, <laughs> minimum. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel like it sometimes. Oh. Then again, below 800 is kind of not that likely to begin with, to be fair. Because yeah. it goes from 400 to 1,600 as a roll. Minus whatever magic defense you have. But you guys don't even have armor. I'm going to call this fight a win because I didn't accidentally comet one of my own characters this time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a thing. Speaking of comet, I accidentally comet the enemy. Could you all roll higher damage values? I don't like these two and three hundreds. Exactly, it's what I'm saying. It's not oh, that rare to roll. It, it's really rare to roll under a a hundred and just sitting there getting like you know, two, three, fours. I think I, I think I had an Atmos fight where I hit over a, over a thousand twice. Wow. I have to admit I didn't pay attention to my numbers. Eventually he just died. <laughs> That's, I, I mean, mean yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm not even holding the controller at this point. Yeah, the reason we want actually to sleep if we can't get it is like, if even if a character is dead, he slowly sucks them in and eventually re just removes them from the field. That That's not the bad part though. Like, he does know some nasty magic, thing, including Sloga, which is the absolute worst because then, well, the entire party gets slowed. And the fight yeah. takes that much longer. 
pretty funny. I didn't even know that you could encounter the, go the, the gobbledygook gooks by, lo by looking at them. I have never met them eye to eye until right now where it, when it happened. So that was fun. Don't worry, one got in my way too. Like, very just turned around because he thought he was funny. And I have to fight him. The good news is I was behind on AP anyway, so yay, but... Whoop, 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 whoop. See, I got the right track. <laughs> so, like, right. Slo Sloga wouldn't even be that bad if we had as a access to Haste Go already, but that's literally the next time. Yeah, the next thing it is. Yep. There's so many good things in the next town that you would like to have here. This isn't going to land. Oh yeah, maybe worth noting, even though the red dragon does not look on that, it is on that. Yep. So you can do the HP replacement again, or whatever you want to call it. Indeed. I can try. Well, I haven't seen Mystery Walls yet. So. <laughs> I had to use two rods, that's just like fine, but yeah. So I bought them for anyway. I actually was using rods on Atomos, but I'm like, I don't need to. No. I might as well just yeah. save them for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I keep them all for X death at the end of the Yeah, I, 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 I definitely use them on X death just because uh, Flirt may or may not hit, and it's just like, I want this fight over as fast as I can get it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think the optimal strategy would just be throwing rods everywhere, really. Like, or whatever you can think of, like, you want to probably throw rods, but, like, you don't have that much money. Yeah, if we could get rods in this world, it wouldn't be so bad, but... Yeah. I mean, poison, unfortunately, poison rods just aren't as good. Mm. Also, another quality of life at, um, update. You don't have to sit here and just wait for Galoof to finally uh, snap to uh, be willing to go. You just talk to him and then run back up to the middle of the room. Yep. Um... No, we have a submarine. I like it. This is one of the little changes oh. I like. Is that it's got little <laughs> lights on its fins. <laughs> it did the thing again. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice those lights till you just pointed that out. Yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, self comet counter plus one. <laughs> nice. We gotta let all the sea creatures know that we're coming. Memory cursor just memorizes who you targeted last, regardless of whether it's a helpful or not a helpful spell. So, yeah. What's the name of the old fairies? That's so silly. Getting pretty good rolls and comments though, so that helps. Metamorphs are annoyingly difficult to run away from, so it's just better to, to just, uh, set up your auto battle for teleport. Yeah. Only the lava slimes down there are easy to run away from. Oh, which means dark aspects don't need to do that. I really used to take that Tornado Gore off of Galoof already. <laughs> I've had it on him since he caught the Aquaform. <laughs> 
to the revenge of sacrificing Grogs. The ultimate karma. Alrighty. What is maybe worth noting, um, these metamorpha enemies that we're encountering down there, um, they would technically be worthwhile to kill if you could get their rare drop, because they drop light stays, which if you break them they cast holy, which is really, really strong against x at the end of World 1, and World 2 too. But the problem is, they have 7000 HP, and you have to kill the metamorpha directly rather than any of the transformation, otherwise you don't get the drop. They're weak to water and wind, but you just don't have any means to kill them efficiently. And worship them though. a little bit uh, away from it because they, they, their cap is the cap of the damage is 999 obviously so you have to do it five times to kill them or four and then hit them I guess but, but they have so much defense they're not going to deal any damage I guess but yeah they're worth 10k so it's two, two, 2,500 per, per character it's quite a long fight if you, and it can be if they can go sometimes go wrong it's uh, uh, annoying thing if, is if, if, if you, uh, annoying thing is that you can't auto battle this because auto battle is not smart about controlling things Otherwise, it would be really good. It's still fine to like do it manually, but yeah, I have to sit here and do everything manually. So I think out of all the versions of this game, this is the only one where it may have to be faster to go left after Hito's cave, just because you can move diagonally. Yeah. All the other ones, it's actually faster to just go right. I always go left anyways because I'm so used to it. But this one, probably faster. I didn't find it. Okay, so let's do this before I forget about it this time. This is always the one that I tend to forget. No one else forgot. I forgot to put the gold hairpin on the leather. Piano flex! Hold on. If I forget to hit a piano, it's always this one. Uh, Holy hell. They don't have one, yeah. Getting a body by dragons? Exist, apparently. Yeah. Uh, that's my fifth double yellow dragon. There we go, jeez. I'm gonna buy a few cards, and I'm good. Not so And into the forest. Lena, please. Ah, oh, idiot. <laughs> uh, silly butts. Thankfully, the encounters in here aren't that bad to run away from. Yeah, it works most of the time. The problem is when you get one of the dudes uh, that are just facing backwards somehow to be an even guys, and they cause confuse on you. Then you could get into a little bit of trouble. Just a little Put the Quinado Gord back on Galoof. So I want to catch a worm, and the highest 
the place where you can ca has the highest chance of actually catching them is inside the trees. Or the highest chance of encountering them, rather. Where is that? I assume you have Galoop as a beast monster. Yep. Yep, that's my strategy as well. If I I actually don't farm for one, if I don't happen to get one, I'm just gonna keep going. And I use Pomat instead. I haven't had too many problems actually just getting one to show up, because like I said, the encounter rate on it is actually pretty high in the tr inside the trees. If you just do it in that area, it's fine. Right, but I'm just always hoping maybe I just get it along the way. That, you get that. Oh, oh my word. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Good luck. Jesus. That's a last left Faris. Uh, 2 HP. And Sloga. You absolute troll. <laughs> what is happening to me? <laughs> okay. That sounds like a return to me. No, I just I got I got the sleep off, so I'm just gonna. Oh. Alright, I'm, gonna... I'm just gonna haste and just go through it slowly. <laughs> Buck died. And then, and then I got slow good, he got three turns. Ah, oh, what a... Now we just cast Comet. I guess not. Well, Comet's be better. Silly yeah, bots. Also, hey, I, I'm pretty sure haste is works different. I don't, don't, I don't believe it would work well, but I don't like this original, but rather than overwriting haste is slow, it, you, you just remove them back to normal speed and then... Yeah, I think that sounds a lot right. So it's, uh, it's interesting. Curious. Uh, actually not crap rolls from these comets, holy crap. Sounds like a lie. Well, there's a 464, a 530, big fan. 420, big fan. 500, big fan. <laughs> okay, this is better. There we go. So, I'm going out of my way and grab an additional Mangosh here. Mangosh is a dagger that gives you one important chance to block physical attacks, which is really nice, especially if you don't need to equip any particular weapon. Might as well just equip that one. I throw it on Galoof at this point just because uh, you need to do some damage after I release the worm. So I just put it on him so it could actually real hit and do non-zero damage. Yeah, that's pretty much who has it for me as well. Also, we now got Gravigas, and you would think it's an upgrade from Demi, so it should deal or reduce an enemy to a quarter of what they currently have, but it actually reduces them to one eighth. Which is kind of confusing because the original fan translation of the game called uh, Gravica Quarter, which doesn't make sense because it's one eighth of the, RH, of the enemy's HP. It likely did that because um, other FF6 at the time called it Demi and Quarter, so they just named it the same thing as they saw in that. That would be my guess. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Demi makes a lot of sense just kind of naming wise. Gravity is not nearly as obvious to me. Lena does not have enough MP to teleport. Mm. Okay, the best part about quarter? Uh, well, <laughs> excuse me, Gravica is that in order to catch an enemy with a beast mask, you need to reduce them to one eighth of their HP or less. And Gravigot just does exactly that. Very good. It does exactly that, but unfortunately it rounds down, so if the enemy's HP isn't exactly divisible by 8, it um, doesn't work. Yeah. That's yeah, I still have to do a little bit of damage. Uh, I actually set my up. Oh yeah, I'm good. I just need to turn this down. Uh, I'm all healed. Yeah, I'm good. Go. Good luck. Speaking of good luck, um, we don't really know the numbers, but we're pretty sure that Gravity or Graviga has a significantly higher hit chance against the crystals than in the original. 
Because the chance to hit should not be nearly as high as it ends up being against these things. Like, you still can miss, but it does not happen nearly as frequently as you would expect it to if you're used to previous numbers. And the strategy for this as well is it's very, very precise in the order of this usage as well because of their HP is like 7777. Seven, seven. When they go below 3000, they'll start doing like big um, Arga spells. Um, so we're gonna, it's gravity first, and then Rivi get into a comet to hopefully kill. Because oh. at least that's how I'm doing it, I'm assuming the others are doing it. I love my worm. Oh, nice. It just slows out this time. So, yes. I actually bother with Demi, I just you uh, break a rod afterwards. Yeah, I do rods on the first two. I, I do uh, Graviga, then into a rod, and then I do the same thing for the second one. That sounds a bit scarier. I don't mind. No, it's fine. You just need to have all the turns ready. Because the rod is a guaranteed kill, whereas Comet might come up just a little bit short. I mean, I guess if you just wait for two comments, then it's fine. Okay, I can get this guy. Uh, not if the other guy is. That one missed. Fine. Okay. Comet's the third one. Oh, I need to hit him. Oh, shoot. Punch. Ooh, yeah, I'm glad I got to save two comments for that. I rolled minimum damage. There we go. <laughs> oh, Lena's punch crit uh, put the thing into HP where I could catch it. Nice, an 8% chance to crit with uh, punches. And there we go. We're down. Nice. That was efficient. Only had one Graviga miss, so that was pretty good. Very convenient. By the way, the shield I'm gonna pick up here in the Forest of Moor is a flame shield after it burns down, but before it burns down it's an Aegis shield. Since we don't care about... we can't equip the shields anyway, um, flame shield sells for more. Yeah, Flame Shield sells for, sells for 10k. The Aegis Shield, I think, is 6,500 or something? 4,500. 4,500. Yeah, yeah, it's it's oh, it's quite a bit less. Uh, um, I'm not really going to grind, per se. The only thing that I really need to do... The only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some incidental fights in the Island Shrine and in the Waterfall Shrine because I can just throw rods at them and one-shot entire groups, and that's basically where I'm going to get the remainder of my levels. I should end up at around 26-ish, which has been fine so far for me. Yeah, actually, if I do that, I'm only about 24, 25, so I will probably want to stick around a little bit longer for 27. It depends, it depends on how many fights you get, really, because sometimes you just keep getting fights that are just not... You just can't rod down quickly. Yeah, like a Toad Avis. Four times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the one you really want to see is the um, is the four Oso rares or the five Oso rares. Those are that's super good experience. Black of air. Yep. Because they are birds. That's so weird. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. But as we already mentioned, these crystals have seven thousand seven hundred seven HP, and once they drop below 3,000 HP, they just wreck your entire party with spells that deal usually about 500 block damage. Each one of them has a different element, but they are also not heavy, so we can do some shenanigans with that. Shenanigans! Alright, time magic. Did I save before? Oh, shoot. But that's the wrong character to cast time magic. So unfortunately, in this version, they did nerf the bone mail strat. You cannot, um, you cannot just phoenix down yourself and finish the fight. What's really good about that, though, is that any items you use in that fight come back to you because they do. Yep. So you can just hammer away with rodage and get that those rods back. Super handy. 
I just I caught a I just caught a worm and then released that for uh, max damage and then you just have to keep just swing at him a bunch. I believe Galoof is currently at like minus thirty thousand HP. Oh what? Oh uh, no. What have you done? Uh, the crystal didn't die. Did I not hit it? Uh oh. Actually, more than good on AP. Crazy. Silly Ferris. Huh, good thing Galif has an elemental. Vindicated. Oof. So funny story. Um, I had one um, one fight with X Death here with uh, versus with uh, Soa Galoof um, during my practice runs, where I equipped the Dancing Dagger and he caused X Death to die with Jitterbug. So he had positive HP coming out of the fight. So it's just like, wait a minute, he didn't die. What, what's what's going on here? Well, plot armor can also be plot death. One more. Mm. And we don't. Silly butts. Very silly butts. Rude. Also, yes, can I get all the Fs in chat for Galoof? Galoof will live on in our hearts. Rest in peace. If I had the time, I would actually have to remove this grind, but I didn't. So here we are. I didn't just want to wing like an experience route for no reason. Hey everyone, I told you at the beginning of the run, my controller was loud. I can't hear it. I don't mind it. Blue Angler could die. Did it take any a full refill? Yeah, it did. Good. Piano flex. All right, so you need oh, Thunderrod again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! This guy trying to cheat again. Insane.
Actually, I forgot I had these stuff for the crystals now that I think about it. <laughs> Only haste in one character. Uh, I'm doing that. I think we're just so used to most years where we don't have a white mage, and the only way we can revive is Phoenix Downs. That's it. Raise costs a lot of MP outside of battle as well, which is kind of like... I mean, it, I mean until we get... Well, after we get, get the gold happening, it always costs a lot otherwise, but... um, Yeah. Yeah, it's expensive, but, I mean, especially in the early game, we needed the money. I yep. always... <laughs> Subscribe, dude. <laughs> hey, no, I didn't this, say this, that. this is one of the few teams that we will actually sell Phoenix Downs just so we can buy rods. And a lot of other cases, even with even if you have a rod breaker, you usually don't need to buy as many. But in this case, it's just like we have a white mage. Why? Why am I? Why am I saving these? You. Yep. I mean, it worked out in practice three times, so it's fine, right? Hmm. Good point. Please let me go. Please let me go. Congratulations, we have summoned Meat Castle. <laughs> Such a grim term. I mean, it's not that at all. Ah, good. Match dragon in the first fight. Magic dragon have an unleash that is, again, a percentage damage thingy. We're throwing that against, probably grab one for Gilgi 4, and then grab a second one for X Death at the end of World 2. Memory cursor was set on teleport, so I just left XX Castle. <laughs> I was only a few floors in though, so it's not a huge deal. <laughs> oh no! I did, however, do that earlier on floor ten. Oh no! Well, sandbagging so we can catch up. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Stupid memory <laughs> cursor. <laughs> uh. All right, delete piano flex from me coming in. Yeah, I lost too much time in World 1, really. Well, and the Dragon Fiasco didn't help either. No, we're gonna do Raze. And Cure. This is a recovery. Nice to that. I like how Cryo also gets the equipment and drop from Gallop immediately, rather than having to manually apply You anything. actually, you actually get a leather armor for free, if she doesn't have armor on. <laughs> huh. I didn't realize that. My Gallop had the power set equipped, and then it goes through for Yeah, 40, 40 gil, I mean, who could say no? No, get that memory cursor off that. The, re the real enemy of this game <laughs> controls. Yeah. And we're not going to try and run from anything on the way up X Death's Tower. All of this stuff is really awful to try and get away from. Most of it, yeah. I mean, Red Dragons used to be unrunnable, but they're not anymore, for some reason. I know the reason. They suck.
Let's she go. Alrighty. Okay, Let me not screw up the bridge. I do want this One of my favorite hit bits about Excess Castle is you know a chest with the ice shield in it? In order to get to the switch, you can actually just walk through the wall to the left of the corridor. It's really weird. It saves you like four tiles of movement. Four tiles is four tiles! Stinky cops, because I can't imagine the smell being too good at the end. The stinky castle. Not too missed this one too many. Man, I've never missed Gravigo that much before, actually. are really not nice, they keep hitting the blind one. Oh. Right. Nice and easy. Who can use twin lands in this group? Nobody, only thieves and ninjas can use twin lands. You can probably pick it up to sell it. Yeah, yeah you can pawn it for a decent amount. 5k, so... And it's easy to get. It just hold up right. Wait, do you? Okay, so since the uh, fight all Gilgamesh battles incentive was met, we're fighting Gilgamesh here. Yep. Uh, upright works because you have load, yeah. You can't actually oh. pull down these things with load. <laughs> Wait, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have those. Though, so. <laughs> oh, you put them to sleep. You. You are that. Well, another weird quirk about this pixel remaster, every other version you hit a button in order to stop the bridge just kind of cycling through. This one here you just off. Set off. That does change the timing a lot because it has to wait for you to be off the platform completely so it doesn't happen on the button press, it, has, it happens like after you finish moving, which is really yep. awkward. I could catch that yellow dragon. Oh. Okay. This is magic dragon. I could try. What a meaning. One shot, what a meaning. It's actually kind of funny, since I haven't bought armor since the beginning of the game, uh, his Excalibur is actually doing damage. Yep. Yeah? It's not a lot of damage, but it's more than he does in any other version. Immediately save. This is the point where I accidentally teleported out last time. <laughs> Don't do it. Did not do it. Okay, good. Now I need to Winning. catch another magic dragon. 
Did I leave the Cornago board on you? I did. That was why you were so slow. Morning light. Meow. And there's a magic dragon. Take this. Not Comet Gravity. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I got the three blue dragon encounter. And I'm a. Kind of one of my favorite uh, encounters in the game. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's a big I honestly don't even remember how, like, who you speak to about the frog. I have, I've got it once, but... It's in the well. In the well. In the wolves, they do. Yeah. You specifically mean to catch a frog, right? Yes. Alright. Just make sure you have the right equipment. Good. This Gilgamesh, kind of like the previous ones, actually has way more HP than you need to defeat him for. So you can actually very easily just knock him out with that 25% of uh, maximum HP damage. Can't use gravity or grabbing on him though here. Okay. Oh, you're blind. That's not going well enough. I've missed every flirt. Yeah. That happens. Somebody showed me the flirt strat and I was like, hell yeah, and then it wasn't working. It's like, hell no. <laughs> I mean, there, oh, hits that I'm... time. 
Yeah, I literally never missed. But yeah, um, maybe real quick about that strategy, because Dragon Dark is implementing it already. Um, for some reason, Flirt actually does in fact work in this version against uh, X-Step, or specifically against any enemy it seems like that is considered heavy. Which normally Flirt does not work in heavy enemy, from what I know at least. And basically what it does, it just replaces its next turn with the text box and trance. Yep. That's kind of all it does, but it's really powerful against an enemy that does otherwise a ton of damage to you or other nasty. Next step has 32,875 HP. That probably didn't happen, that was like 2 to the power or something. And you need to bring it below it. 16,000 HP in order to push him into phase 2. That is when he starts becoming actually really spooky and scary. But as long as we manage to keep him flirting with us, at least for me, I don't know what two Dragon Dark uses. Um, He should be pretty tame. Uh -huh. I still blink and shell up everybody before I go. Yeah. I'm not even doing that. I just haste everybody and go. That's why you had to reset the fight. It wouldn't have helped with what he did. <laughs> it doesn't help when you miss every single one of them. Got him. Nice. <sighs> so the first fight I missed every one. The second fight I only missed one. And that probably because you already still had the thing on. The what thing? Because Flirt was still active. Probably. Yeah. It's better when we can get Sword Dance up gear because that boosts the hit rate on it by like to perfect. I haven't seen it miss if I have a Lamia's Tierra equipped. Yeah, 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 I mean, there's probably a chance that it does, but yeah. <laughs> um, wait, do you use a Lamia's Tierra? But when the strat actually works, it's really, really good. When Flirt just doesn't want to hit, uh, X-Death wrecks your day. And I'm just glad I had the return spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I forgot I need to break rods with Ferris. Yeah. That's a cheeky back attack. Okay, let's go you of your gear and you of your gear. Oh, how many rods do I have left? Oh wow, I still have 10 thunder rods. That's more than I'm break used off. to. Uh, oh, my order's wrong. Yeah, maybe Butts just works better for flirting with Hexter. Who knows? Because he's I'm a good looking chap! The I only mean... time I'm with when he's already in France to begin with. Yeah, that is true, Matrick. I did get... My comment rolls were actually pretty good. Uh -oh. That's a nasty encounter. The dude that tries to float with him, so that might be an issue. That was fun. Back attack, double dragon. Oh. thing is, since I already looted the castle earlier for the items, I don't have to do it now. Oh, please. These things are being very aggressive and okay. going very early. Except please don't do that. My 
god, dude. <laughs> what the hell is this? Well, we got Amy and Jimmy. I've I've had like three back attacks against dragons so far. Like, that feels mean. Two and then one where it just got I had bad ATB and it went first and just bodied me. All amounts to the same. Let me go. Arigato. Alrighty, welcome to World 3 to some people. You have donated it to see us collect all the legendary weapons, so that means we have to get all the tablets and do the corresponding stuff with that, so... Well, thank you. Kind of as a reminder, the Fort of Fiesta is also a charity event. So if you visit the Fort of Fiesta website, you'll see that definitely is also a very good cause. Whenever you donate anything, um, for example, if you want to have a specific job or want to change something up, all this goes towards that. Also upcoming for Dragon Dark is gonna be an Antline. Not a terribly dangerous or difficult boss, generally speaking, but he's susceptible to sleep and all, which is why I thought he was catching a traveler for that one. Nope. Antline, I just slow, haste, and if he doesn't discord on butts, I, br I break rods. If not, just comment spam. Nice. I break rods. Well, actually, I don't break rods because I don't have the time mage with me right now. I have the rods to spare, but if he hits me with Discord, then Comet basically ends up being better anyway. That makes sense, too. So I needed to equip the Magush on us as well. I kind of forgot about doing that. Okay, though. I'm not breaking rods. <laughs> Immediately discorded bots. Yeah. Discord reduces your level by half, and getting your level half basically... Not quite reduces your damage by half, but it's not far away from that. Like, it's a lot less damage. And because Comet doesn't care about levels, might as well cast Comet at that point. Elven Cloak block. My word. Okay, at least got a comment back.
I'm just gonna recapture a magic dragon, I guess. I don't know. I could catch something later, but eh. Same difference, really. Oh no, I forgot to equip time magic back on, but... World uh, 3 is unfortunately very cutscene heavy right at the beginning of it. Yep. Hello, it's... I think we're set. Well, my round in general, I, even though I wasn't in the lead, was really bad, unfortunately. I should still be in the lead if my round didn't go like south in a lot of places. I think I lost like 15 minutes to like some dumb stuff. It's very unfortunate. Thirty seconds to live. Right. Flirt missing always a good one. Never flirt a bit in that time before. Apparently it's going well. So far so good. Blink and then he came back in wave, and then immediately the next thing that happened, obviously, was that the uh, uh, that's things. Okay. Two flirt failures in a row, good stuff. Passive content. Matt, I don't think anybody's locked up yet. I've talked about a bunch of them that happened to me in practice, but so far it has not happened, to my knowledge. Okay. Let's see if we can get lucky from here. So we are allowed to use the chicken knife, right? Yeah. Yes. As yeah. of right now. That's convenient. My boy. Guys, your commas could roll slightly higher. Pretty sure. Going 288 right now, hell yeah. 
1,300 NT Dome. Reasonable. Not ideal, but reasonable. Is X-Zone more accurate than this one? You remember it having terrible spell accuracy. It's nope, still terrible. Bad. It's still bad. <laughs> <laughs> I had to reset to Antenia in practice once because x just wouldn't hit. Um, I do need time. I actually equip you. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Right now, give you oh. this. Really like it if I could just flirt with this guy. Okay. So unfortunately, well, in this version, you cannot skip this cutscene in front of the tree. The trigger box extends all the way down to the bottom of the room. Yep. Now it's only minutes out of my practice run right now. Sadness. So you have to watch through all ten seconds of that cutscene. Or 20. I don't remember. It's like 15. Hey, hey. Dead. Okay. Uh, oh, ah, time magic, please. And, and. You already had the thingy, didn't you? Yeah. Alright, I need a sleepy to show up. Need is a strong word, man. I mean, sleepies are friendly. They're yeah, very okay. nice. That's they definitely not a sleepy. I'll also just put the bell speed back up. Oh, that's well, two done as well. So I'm, 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 I am in fourth place, but I'm also I have, I have to have to do a grind still. I just do a, do it a bit differently. I did a shield, grind, shield dragon grind before, um, but I wanted to try something different, and it worked out for me last time. So. Yeah. I mean, you're effectively behind. you're effectively doing the same they are, except you're doing it like in one place. I guess so. Yeah. They have the advantage of like the black flame stuff. You have to stay in one place and get a little bit. Mm. When I get basically, I'm, well, I'm gonna be low level until I get to the, until I get the uh, submarine. I'm gonna go to the trench and level up there because the bats and things are there. It, basically, it's it, it's. It's half the experience of a shield, shield dragon. A shield dragon takes, I feel personally, a little bit longer and has a bit more variance in terms of the actual fight itself. Yeah. If I get lucky with a string of encounters, I can just one action them and it's done. Um, plus more yeah. a ABP. But that's my still that's my that's my thought process anyway. Chicken knife obtained. Nice. <laughs> So the way the chicken knife works in this game is like in every other Final Fantasy V game at least. And, well, almost. You do have a 1 in 4 chance to run away if you attack normally with it. But the chicken knife has two things going for it. For one, it has a pretty high attack power, up to 127 depending on how many times you've run away. 250, up to 255 divided by two times, rounded down. So it can be up to 127 attack power. But more importantly than that, actually, the chicken knife, on top of that, has actually equal scaling with strength as well as agility. Effectively, it uses the knife formula, but it actually does not mess it up with the other knife formulas messed up, so to speak. So effectively, you get a much higher multiplier with the chicken knife than you would get with most other weapons. The exception being actually the bells. But the problem with bells is you don't get a one that has high attack power. <laughs> I was gonna say. Bells are nice in concept. Yeah. The rune bell is at least usable, I guess. But yeah. Yeah. No. Even then, it's like yeah, no. Might as well just see how much at that point. Yep. <laughs> Sleepy? Oh, sleepy. There we go. Oh, you shouldn't help, there we go. That's okay. That's fine. 
No, not ah. Oh, that's not fine. Mm. Why? Why? I got a sleepy. Wait, I shouldn't be that big for energy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, do you have flame rods? I do, I have plenty. Yeah. I was just thinking, I'm forcing an encounter before I go into the desert. Then I forgot. I mean, you can put her to sleep now. She, she should be vulnerable to sleep. If I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, she's Ooh. absolutely vulnerable to sleep. That's why I caught yeah, it. There, there, there you go, absolutely plans, 100%. Sure. That's actually not why I called the sleep. I wanted to sleep before. <laughs> just oh, say I... you did and just take the just take yeah, the win. Yeah. <laughs> I actually catch two of them. To be fair, yeah. I mean, I might just uh, do that. You things need to get out of the way. Go up, up. Oh, stay there. Stay there. Can you go down? Good. You need to go down. No. Got no, it. It hasn't been talked about too much, which is a really, really, I think, a bit. Un Un unacceptable is that there are two chocobos in Final Fantasy which are you know just far beyond the best chocobos one of them is of course Alpha um, the other one is Boko right here um, Boko is great we love Boko but specifically um, he is the only like chocobo we know to, uh, to find himself find himself a wife gonna have a bunch of chocobo babies Ch or oh, chickabos or choco chicks I don't know what you want to call them I'll Good on you, Baka. King. <laughs> and that's Coco, and she's lovely. You know nothing about Coco. Just that Baka chose her. Oh yeah, the gargoyles. Both of them have 5,000 HP. If you leave one of them alive while killing the other, they will revive each other, and both of them will have full HP. Just different from previous versions. Kind of inconvenient, to say the least. Alright, I need to remember to take Flirt off of um, Bart's this time. My, the last time I did this fight with this uh, with this setup that I did, I forgot to put um, uh, time, ma time, time Magic back on. I flirted, and flirt actually overrides the Zerk. They get the turn back, and then he, he, he can act normally again. Huh! Yep. <laughs> huh. Which is certainly a thing. I was like, why? I, I berserked it. Yeah, it was still, still sitting there using Discord and, and uh, digestive fluid. That's not ideal. Interesting. I guess flirt is purging, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Does whatever it... Flirt's doing, it's so weird in this game. If it if it dispels Berserk, it should also dispel like Shell and Protect. Can you flirt with your own party members on this? Don't think so. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to target them. Splinter? Ah, oh, it's fine. You're fine. There's no splinters in this game. Master Splinter is in the Ninja Turtles. That new one comes out next week, doesn't it? Is, is it next week? I don't know. I put a spoiler that said 16th, and I was like, right, I am 5,000% game. Just sod off, mate. Well, no, you can't because you're berserked, but just. There we go. Man, 
Andrei. Which classes now to catch the sleepy beforehand? Man. Outrageous. <laughs> This game has loads of like tiny animation details or like action details that are super nice. Like there's this bit where like Faris jumps over Lena when she like falls unconscious. It's kind of a cool thing, like that idea of like jumping over so there's more space behind. I don't know. It's just one of those things that's quite a, a realistic um, animation. But one 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 thing I love here is when uh, Bart actually sends Bocco up first. So I could climb out, but it's most important that my steed goes first, which is a nice yeah. thing. I agree. A lot Good of man, animation. Bart. One thing that didn't quite get uh, translated too well into the Pixel Remaster is, in my opinion, when you scare the Moogle and it just bumps in the bush and stuff. It looks so good in the Super Nintendo Game Boy Advance versions. I feel like it's a bit sped up here, so you kind of like don't get the impact of it as much. It's actually more like thinking of the right movie, I say. I was hoping that they'd um, they'd upgrade the uh, the dance sequence in the hall because if you if you've played two PR. Um, FF2 has like a little dance as well at the like, towards like the back half of the game. Um, you kind of go back to the uh, like yeah, I think you like re reclaim your homeland or whatever for a little bit, and then they have a dance. It's a really like complex like um, animation where they're like spinning around and like. But the, the, I was hoping that they do that here, but they just go back and forward like like normal, which is a bit, a bit, a bit of a shame. I have to feel. Yeah. Well, so I just walk diagonally over these pits because you can. I don't know about the other guys' routing, but I'm basically just grabbing money in the pyramid and get out. Mm -hmm. uh, I grabbed a shield and a couple things towards the top, but that was about it. I took two chests with the um, with the, with the damned in oh. them because they're actually pretty good experience, and you can just rod them down. Yeah, it's pretty good experience. I agree. The thing is, I accidentally fell to the lower floor where I did not mean to drop down to this time. Might right. as well grab the money. Then. I actually intentionally did that because I wanted the money in the um, in the other chest. Yeah, it makes sense. Like it's good money. It's ten thousand, but I did not need it. Uh, pretty sure the Gaia hammer is, pretty, is protected by um, damned as well. So yeah, it is. I opened that one too. No, that one and the one downstairs with the flame shield. I opened those two with monsters just because yeah, the yeah. damned are really good for experience, and both of those items sell well enough to justify it. Yeah, I agree. So, I think the next boss coming up for Dragon Dark here is going to be Merujin. Merujin has five different forms, and she. Didn't basically see any starts... of them. Yeah, well, exactly. She always starts out being weak to fire. She technically has a weak a form that is weak to lightning, to fire, to ice, and physical attacks for that matter. Actually, it's only four forms, I guess, now. Huh? Either way. She always starts out weak being, being weak to fire, and because you can put her to sleep, you just put her to sleep and then fire her up, because in this game, you never wake up unless you take a physical hit or get Ezu out or something. Very convenient. How are we feeling as well, everyone? Yeah, in terms of like next break coming up at some point, or do you want to kind of crack off for a little, little bit longer? Uh, I'm going for another, another two hours for so. Let's see. Go until the hour, maybe? Yeah, we could yeah. We could grab one maybe like at, at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, my time, um, on the dot if we wanted. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Oh, 9 Eastern, did you say? So that's in five in five minutes, I mean. Ooh. Yeah, four minutes according to my computer clock. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, shit. That. I like to point out that XF is a crab in reality. Look at the <laughs> movement on it. On me! Okay, good. Hit. Hit you. XF voiceover in the city is so good. There's no sleeping in this fight, I don't understand. 
Rodded um, in World 2. Got six fire left. Don't want to rod, kids. <laughs> Burn them all to the ground. Also, another neat, another weird quirk with this one. Lena doesn't come back to you dead. Yep. Actually, everybody like, gets a full I... heal for that matter. I do oh, wait, like no, that no. narratively she does. I do like originally when she did, you know, when she did come back to us unconscious. It did make sense because like she'd just taken a big blow and had a demon kind of like ripped out of her body. <laughs> so that's that's got to you know speak for something. But it is much more helpful from a game game gameplay perspective just to get Eddie all there. Two little rolls. Thanks, game. Uh, I need another sleepy game. You need to cough one up. Let's go, boss. I think sleep is actually only appear in like the channel on the left. At least it didn't feel. No, like they can appear it. up here too. They're in sl they're in slot two in this entire area. Okay. I don't. I absolutely double checked that. <laughs> there right. he is. That was just a coincidence that it didn't work for me. I'm just trying to not use the sleepy. See how far I get. I mean, you can do the same thing with Confuse effectively on Merging. Yeah. Just a bit more. Catchy yeah. is my Rodbreaker is the only one who has light magic. I guess I could floor. I was but going to do Confuse right up until I was fighting. I was up uh, heading towards Soul Cannon, and one of the rocket, <laughs> and one of the uh, rocket launchers decided to confuse the uh, White Mage, and the White Mage confused somebody else. Yeah. Back to back. It's like, you know, I don't need this spell. <laughs> Quick reminder if you are just joining us as well, uh, that uh, the run is the, um, the opening race of the Forge of Fiesta, which uh, if you haven't kind of figured out now or hasn't, hasn't, that hasn't been mentioned or hasn't kind of um, been explained at all, um, it's a challenge playthrough to complete FF5 with four jobs only. Uh, the four jobs that we are using, as you can see, are Time, White, Beast, and... Um, Dancer. Dodge, Dancer. Uh, the, the, the chicken knife's on the right, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. It is, yeah. It even says it this time, thanks. I <laughs> keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, so we only have these four four jobs, and we can, we can give the jobs to anyone, and we can use any ability from those jobs that we learn on any of the characters, but um, the idea is just to... Uh, complete the game with that. Uh, we are, uh, it we is are a charity event. We are required to have at least one of each job in the party at all times. So yes. As well. Obviously there are times when you only have like three or two characters, which you obviously can't have, have all the jobs, but you need to have different jobs, at least any combination of three or two, or even one of them, just, you know, it doesn't matter, so as long as you get them going. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a charity event. Raises money for um, some good causes over, over, over the years. Also, if a good time to take a break now, we will get a couple of the other. Uh, just as soon as I get out of these cutscenes, I can. I have no control over this. Okay. I'll just fight the gargoyles then. I guess when, I'm killed, when I've killed the gargoyles, you should be, you might be free. The thing Attention. is, I would get into the same cutscene as the Eagle <laughs> gets in just a second. Uh, as soon as I can get some text to come up, I can stop. Uh, time. Uh, I can stop now. Alright, I'm stopping. Okay, I'm going to stop in a menu. <laughs> um, All right, thought that be fine. Okay, cool. Break so, um, yeah, we'll be back. We're just going to take another quick break and another ten minutes just for some food and for some stretching and some water. I recommend you all do the same if you've been sitting down for a while. Uh, when we come back, we will crack on with World Three and get through to the Void and complete complete the game for you. So, uh, yeah, stick around and we'll see you in a few few minutes. So let's just keep that paused and uh, let's go. In Indeed, grab some blankets, some tea, some hot chocolate, or whatever you feel like, and until afterwards. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Hello. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy V Four Job Fiesta, the run. The opening race to the event. After we finish, all the runs will go live and people can start cracking on. Um, you guys all good to go? We'll get, to get a quick countdown and crack on. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought the countdown oh. was four to go, so I just advanced my my text box, but I'm good. Oh, let's go. <laughs> crack on. Um, okay, go, go. Alrighty. This DD guy trying to get every single advantage he can. <laughs> Hey, uh, this I was DD guy also spell. teleported out of X-Death's castle to sandbag a little bit. Uh, I was actually wondering whether I should just go down as well with that count down there. Alright, sorry, I was counting down back to when we were coming back just because I, I was like... It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! We're going! And we're all... Good luck and have fun. It's fine. All you missed was butts flying the airship really quickly. Alright, which tile are you on? There it is. Mirage Village is weird. Just in case. So Mirage Village normally just appears as soon as you get an encounter in every other version in that forest, but in this version here, it's one specific tile that has Mirage Village and it's kind of random which one it is. And what Mirage Village does for you, it allows you to stock up on some of the best equipment. You can get Hermes boots, which automatic haste is still nice in this game. And the best part about them is basically you're immune to sleep, you're immune to paralyze. I, I hate to interrupt to... you at Yaga, but for the last time on my screen, piano flux. Nice. I assume you got all of them. Yep, I got the correct theme, so I did not miss any. Nice. But yeah, Mirage Village also has really high level spells, basically the latest spells we are going to get. I think everybody picks up quick, and this spell probably, I get speed and float in there as well. Uh, I get this spell on my all. first trip, I get the other stuff on my second trip. I see, I don't do a second trip. I do, I do two trips, one now and then one right before heading into the void. Makes sense. I assume you pick up some more Hermes boots as well, or maybe pick up I Hermes boots. Now. I pick up one the first time, and then I pick up uh, two more the next time. All right. Uh, two more. Wow. Uh huh. I basically skip everything. It just goes straight into the void. Actually, the one thing I do is I uh, stock a pack up on down the rods before the void. Uh, take that off. Also, I'm going so that can a bunch. Go. Yeah, that can go, that can go. Keep that. Keep that, that. Guessing you just cast Haze Guard in every fight, Yaga? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, the biggest downside is I'm not immune to Paralyze and Sleep. Yeah. Not to be tiny, that can be a bit of an issue, but for most other battles, I didn't really find it. Mm -hmm. No, that makes sense. I like getting a billion ethers at the end to like just like not having to use save points. I get pick up a few, but I mostly am good with like elixirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just like to have that in between. These out. Many. Uh. Oh, did you get the fire off? I did, okay. Ride Boko for a little bit. Oh, you, 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 you do that too. I thought it was just me. The other uh, riding, I would guess. Oh, the lamp, because we can't get the lamp now. 
Oh, you're doing, Joe, you're just getting the lamp. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna get the lamp, and I'm actually grabbing three um, of the weapons on the way, since you go literally right by it. Uh-oh, what did I just sell? See, I thought when you were riding, uh, riding Boko, you were doing the, uh, the, um, the circumnavigation. If it was important, yeah, you can load the autosave. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I hope it wasn't important. <laughs> I missed it. Shoot. Chat, what did Yaga sell the first? It's fine, probably. So in this trip, we're picking up the Magoose Rod, we're picking up the Sage Staff, and the Assassin's Dagger. I get a little bit less than 4,659 encounters. Wouldn't be surprised if my chicken knife is maxed out already. It's not, but... I usually get mine it's sitting at about 90 when I pick it up, and then it gets a bit stronger before the end of the game. Piano flex for the last is that what time. It, is, that, is that what it is right now? 90. More like a piano stretch, a stretch because cryo. Right, so now I'm actually gonna equip things. We want this on you, that. Wait, no, you get that, 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 and that. I don't know why I still have that in my notes. It shouldn't be. You can have that, I guess. Um, your weapon does not matter. You need that, that. And you'll keep that for actually. Now you have that, uh, you want this, and this, and you don't want that. There we go. <laughs> and now we'll go get the magic lamp. This is a territory for me, I haven't used the lamp yet. <laughs> So I'm also making a detour here into the Phoenix Tower because we can pick up a very useful armor for our dancer here. Perfect encounter. I just fight one old person for it. Uh-oh. I don't even bother picking it up at all. It's just nice to have the ribbon in case you get a gun cross, really. That's like the most... Honestly, you could get away with just having the tiara, but yeah. Karnak. So if you thought we were done buying rods, oh, you were wrong. <laughs> I am done, actually. I don't need any more. Alright, so we buy... it's four... yeah, four fire... rest in the thunder. Yeah, I guess and I by could. rest in the thunder, I mean 84 of them. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> Now down to the island shrine. Um, I have a 1 in 3 chance to cast a use mark and then a 40% chance to steal. Right now, I feel. There we go. Doesn't feel like that was necessarily the case. It's okay, you get a Hermes Sandal drop. I'm calling it now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who can't even drop that? One of one of the three enemies there can can drop it, but I thought you'd say you were just, just gonna say it doesn't matter, it'll just drop somehow. <laughs> it just drops, yeah. <laughs> Easy. I also I also predict him seeing a mirage vest somewhere as well. Oop. Oh no. Ah, oh. oh, no drops. Sad face. 
But yeah, the rainbow dress basically increases your chance for sword dance to hit, uh, for your dance to hit a sword dance from 25% up to 50%. It effectively replaces the tempting tango, which is very convenient. No, not time magic. That was the fault of the wrong one. We're not teleporting out. Granted, I'm in the first room, so it wouldn't have mattered. Wonderful thing about sword dance becoming a coin flip is it's still possible to lo lose a coin flip ten times in a row. So don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Still much better off than 25%. That's a dead Ferris. Where are my Phoenix Downs? I should sort my items. I keep forgetting to do that. Like it's one of those things that's really I don't know, it's a bit easier I guess in OG to sort. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't have to go through an extra menu. An immediate encounter. Da, 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 Calm your tits. You could walk over that river too, down near the castle. Yep. One thing that is different from the original is XF Soul here normally has the same music as in the cast itself, so you know whether you get the XF Soul or a shield track in the any other version. This one here, it's just changes by the music. Actually fighting these battles is roughly as fast as just running away, because the animations are just so fast. Yep. Wait, I, don't, I didn't need to grab the weapons this time, because I have a chicken knife. I mean, you have to eventually grab them. Yeah, right, but double trip kind of cost me time. You do have to watch the cutscene. Eventually. Time white mage mage, indeed. That's the encounter I wanted to see. That is a crap load of experience. Should be set up for this. Yeah, I'm good. Did it. You can actually teleport not out of the weapons room, but just the room before that. Still safe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, teleport. Magic Lamp. The Magic Lamp is an item that you can use in combat, and if you use it, it basically cycles from the strongest summon, which in this case is Bahamut, to the weakest. So Bahamut, then Leviathan, then Odin, then Sealdra, then I forget. I think it's Either, way. Yeah. Either way, appa apparently, according to the Dragon Dark here, uh, if you use the magic lamp during the quick turn of a time mage, uh, the lamp is gone. Yeah, quick it... I'm, what I think is happening is that it... Um, as, Bowie is, as Bowie found out, you actually use two items when you use items in quick. And um, it, or it subtracts two items, even though it's probably not supposed to. So what it's doing is it's likely subtracting two magic lamps and then trying to add the one back to the inventory and seeing minus one and just not knowing what to do. It's just like, well, no more magic lamp. Sounds about right. 
50 yeah, left, that was definitely a thing. <sighs> Come on, Sleepy. Alright, so I caught that second Sleepy, and credit goes to Yagamoth for the strat. Uh, you release a Sleepy on this guy, and you can put one of them to sleep, and you just have to remember which one you put to sleep, and just attack only that one. Yep. And then you won't move around, and then he just won't jump around, you won't have to guess at it or anything, you can just go at it as long as you don't hit it physically. Which, Dance is not physical, despite the fact I was smacking him with a dagger. Yeah. It, that that has been the case for Sword Dance for a while, actually, like in the original version um, as well. Um, X Death in, in World Two actually has has a physical counter, and he doesn't physical physically counter or doesn't counter sword dance. But they just made it fully magic property rather than like half and half. It's really odd. Um, okay. Time. Do you have to do some weirdness for Fork Tower? At Chola. Teleportola. Cottage up. Dancer white. Oh shoot, I bought Frost Gods. Uh, <laughs> oh no, Ferris. Ferris level changes. Ferris doesn't color matter. Time mage. Well, I dance. just thought about the discovery. Doesn't matter for the other shrine. Well, me is Tierra, Black Guard, Power Armlet. Oh, I actually sold that. Whoops. Oh well, that shouldn't be a big deal. Lena gets the Hermes shoes. Where are those? Here they are. Good. We are all Gucci. There's Optimize. Chicken Knife. Yeah, that works. I'm going to make a hard save out here because uh, I found a really awful bug with this with Fork Tower. A bug in this version? No. You're lying. Namely, after you beat Minotaur, um, it'll switch the scene over to the left tower, and there'll be a dialogue po bo box that pops up. Um, and if you hold up while dismissing that dialogue box, you just walk on top of the flare spell and disable its collision detection. And it's now uninteract- you can't interact with it to pick it up. Um, Sorry. So, uh, the tower just explodes. If you reload the autosave, it does the same thing. If you reload a quick save at the top of the tower, the map is now corrupted, and when you beat Minotaur, it will just, um, it, the game will just hang as soon as it tries to switch over to the other room, and you have to completely reload a save from outside the tower. That sounds terrible. It's, <laughs> it's really bad. I mean terrible, sounds like fun, no? Where Enix, if you're watching. <laughs> Stop patching the fun box and get to the ones that actually matter. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh wow. Did they increase the run chance from both areas? Or is it just run first try? Maybe. I mean, quite possibly, to be fair. Those big birds have like 30,000 HP, give no experience whatsoever, and they're not even worth it in any other capacity, really. Yep. They're pretty much just big and annoying. Indeed. Chillax. Oh, nice back attack. Thankfully, I have Phoenix down to spare now. I'm not having to sell them for. Broad money. That's nice. Oh, 
Sorry, little Timmy. That that money's for rods. <laughs> I've been I've grabbed the um, the Mirage vest in before and it's it's good but it's not really worth the time taken to get it, sadly. Another back attack. Ow. Stalker normally works in a way where well, that sucks. you attack one of them and then they switch position to a random position and you don't know which one is the real one and you need to try and find them. But if you put them to sleep, because at the beginning all of them are real rather than just one of them, well, it just works out better that way. Also, Sword Dance deals full damage from the back row in this version, which is a little bit unusual. Also, convenient enough, though. Oh no. Thankfully, it auto saves right at the beginning of the room, so. <laughs> Ferris ran out of magic and attacked with a rod, but I'm pretty sure that counts as a magic attack in this game and doesn't wake him up. Last time of the day. P and O. Or P and O. Okay. Now, Flex. Ferris, you can do a sword dance anytime here. Oh, what is this? So. One more. Budex! <clears throat> we are all virtuosos. Just play the piano eight times. Eight, yeah, uh, ensure it's eight oh, different pianos. Mm -hmm. You too can weapon. become. That one on Wait. somebody else. That might be a problem. Well. Uh, I don't have a sleepy for this fight, but I just auto battle with four people, all attacking a different one. And it, as soon, if, if, if you're like set up with haste, you will like hit them in a way where they never get a turn. So it's fine. It's taking a bit longer than just wailing on one, but eh. Yeah, they can confuse and paralyze you if you are attacking only that one. So it has disadvantages and advantages. Not how I intended to do this, but I forgot to take the assassin dagger off somebody else. Uh oh. Decent sort of block here. We need a chicken knife. I don't have a chicken knife, no. I'm just going without. Wow. You did set the fifth off the incentive. <laughs> we practice without it, so it's like. You know. Yeah, but it's so much more damage. <laughs> If you let me have it, that will okay, use it. Okay, that worked. It shouldn't have, but it did. <laughs> ah. Trial is dead. There they go. Yay! So, in every other version of the game, Omniscient starts with Shell and Hate. Shell and Protect. I mean, in this version, he starts with it as well. Um, however, in other versions, you can't dispel it. In this one, you can. Yep, it's kind of weird, but convenient. Uh, I'm sure you can dispel it. Also, right. if you release a zoo for 50% HP damage with wind, he actually does not count for it. What do we learn from that? Uh, the zoo's breath is magic. Dispel him, then slow him. Oh, I got the random counter in here. Three Ricard Matrix. Man. Switch. Sandals, I believe. Four. You. 
when I didn't think it was. Okay, let's get this on you. Blink. Paste it back up. Another nice change, actually. Uh, you're allowed to use magic on, uh, outside of uh, Minotaur. I mean, you could always use it. You just oh, get counter attack like crazy. Well, I screwed that up by not taking the assassin dagger off of Butts. I wanted to have that so I could re-equip it on Ferris on the other side before, um, before, uh, before finishing the Minotaur fight. So I had to kind of improvise there, and then uh, I accidentally berserked butts <laughs> over on this side because auto battle mm. is a thing. Oh mm. no. Whoops. But that's a good thing, right? I mean, berserk makes you deal more damage. Not from the back row, it doesn't. <laughs> so that was a mess. But it worked. Um, I just basically go with a dance strat for that. I was going with an old comet strat for it. Um. But this ended up being a little bit faster if I don't screw things up. Just because you can dispel him, which is so massive. Yep. And yeah, Minotaur basically is just a chunk of HP. He has literally zero physical defense. But he's also immune against various other status effects, and you literally can't cast any spells in except break rods. But he also counterattacks breaking rods as well as regular attacks, except he doesn't counterattack dance. Which is very convenient. Because mm. then you can just dance him to death. I have the wrong character with the Hermes sandals here. Big whoops. Da -da -da. Yeah, sure. Dueling knights. They just stop. I, sh I shouldn't be ahead, uh, I think. Uh, Butts is time mage with Dink. white. And you go back to Dancer. Oh, not you. Dink. Right, it reformed my party. Thanks, game. You become the Dancer with nice death time. Problem. Knife and now, this is the one fight the Minotaur here where actually smart targeting for healing is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Uh, you look like you're already set up. Ferris back on the bottom slot because this game. No, oh, it did give me a refill. I don't need it downstairs. Go on then, little Lala. Ah. Praise her too much. Lala. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Don't. 
power of holy. Ah, uh, no power at all. Okay. We do not want to rush with uh, our directional inputs. Just a, just a. Yeah, do do not hit. Do not hold up. Bad things happen. Ah, he burned me. It burns, it burns. Uh, I'll try to cast though first, I guess. There you go. Is it down? I don't bother berserking him. I just knock him down with Comet and the zoo. The enemies here in the trench are awful to run from. So I'm just gonna be teleporting out of every fight. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. You can also just straight up kill them, but it takes a little bit longer because you have to either cast holy or use the sage to stop a bunch. Magic lamp! Yeah, I did that in the first fight just to get it down two ticks. Can I please get something? Oh, you know what? I've got to equip with the with them with the dress. That's why I'm an idiot. But this way, I have I have butts with the um, Hermes shoes, so he's basically guaranteed to go first, and that allows me to just instant teleport out of every fight, pretty much. Yep. That's what I have Paris for. I basically, do the same thing there. Oh, please. Back attack city. Good luck. You're both currently level 20. Wasn't meant to happen. Oh. But it did. Oh! <laughs> I was like, huh, why would that matter? <laughs> uh, no, go to this one. Pretty 
bad. I'm burning through more Phoenix Downs. Waiting for that inevitable back attack. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe you get lucky. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one. No! Let's just get out of here, dude. Ugh. I'm not gonna bother trying to revive them. You think you can get a turn off when you have uh, Hermes uh, sandals on, but apparently not. They still go first. Oof. The boss there is very unfortunate in that none of them are heavy, and the magic lamp can just instantly kill all of them. Yep. Or you can use Phoenix Downs, or Raise, or Arise, whatever you want, actually. You can even cast, um, Shiraga just to bring him into critical HP. Yep. Uh oh. Uh... Yeah. Basically, they are lightweights. To be fair, it really don't look like much, so... Yep. It Should all makes store sense. Store it. Then we... Oink, oink, oink. Uh, thunder Rod. Why do you not have that? You really should. But you don't. That's really unfortunate. On another note, for anybody who may not know, if you are floating, you completely avoid all the damage from the damaging blow tiles. Yes. Very convenient. It's the only reason why I bought float, just to have this slightly more convenient. Actually, it's not true. I bought it also for Catastrop later. Yeah, yeah I forgot. I, I didn't have it on my notes to pick it up until later, and I just like, like oh well, I'll make do without. It's not like it's gonna kill you. Unless you get back attacked. <laughs> Hi. Magic cannot be reflected, deals what was it, 1200 to 2400 damage per meteor? 
potentially. I think it's Wait. 600 to 2400. Too much. It deals a lot, and it hits four times. The only downside is it's random targeting. Which, if there's only one target, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, uh, I guess I'm not gonna get any levels in history this time. Because I have frost rods instead. Oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. Yep. Very icy. Well, that would be less than ideal. Probably. Or maybe you can just get it elsewhere, but yeah. It's annoying to have to go somewhere else. I mean, to be fair, this is. I'm actually at a higher level than I did my practice run at, so I know it can still work. And with the chicken knife, it's probably even easier, I think. Probably. So I might just get. Before I check something in the wind or something. Considered not encountering me. I don't think that's an option for them. I think the first time I did the run and we had to do all teleport, um, all tablets. I uh, didn't know that you could just run straight past Leviathan. I fought him. I thought you had to fight him, but I, I never considered, yeah, I, ever even thought about just running to the side. Don't know why. Yep. <sighs> just my hype, hype and run. Pixel Remaster is Nico Ryan, isn't it? No, you can't use any version you want for the photo of your stuff. You can also mm -hmm. adjust the rules midway through the run if you're just not having fun. Because in the end, I feel like the photo of your is to either challenge yourself or have some fun. Or both. Fun? <laughs> Get out of here with your fun. I was gonna say, this is way too wholesome for, for the internet. Yeah, I gotta think about it, mate. Uh, I don't think it's like... Hey, a dingleberry. Hi, dingleberry. So if the game makes you think you have to fight Leviathan right here, but you, uh, don't. You can just walk out. How you use a high potion and then you get jitterbug anyway. <laughs> it's 
to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, we could tell, right? Three jitterbugs in a row. Four jitterbugs in a row! <laughs> Attack Faris for a change. Oh my Christ. <laughs> jitterbug five! Oh god! Okay, there's a sword dance. Oh, look at that. So you can attack Faris. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Jitterbug, big fan. Crit attack. Go on, J Jitterbug now. I'm not going to heal Barks. It's fine. Okay, there we go. Nope. <laughs> That's not good. Of course, yeah, you attack him twice the one time I don't decide to heal. Come more to wing defense. <sighs> yep. All righty. And I'm going to fulfill my side of the contract here, because people have donated for us to get all the legendary weapons. We're going to pick them up right here, right now. So am I. Except you're a bunch of levels higher. <laughs> uh, not really. I think I think most of the time that I lost it was because I was picking up more items to sell because I need to go back to Mirage. Oh yeah, you get more of these too. So Dragon Arc is gonna be way better equipped than me. Say the least. What's your favorite legendary weapon out of the bunch? Um, I don't know, honestly. Massa Moon, easy. Massa Moon, yeah, it's nuts. Ah, what I wanted you to do here. So I don't screw myself over. There's no countering from Om Omniscient if he's Berserked, is there? Or does he still counter? I, can, I, I guess I can find he out. Will, he will not counter if he's Berserked. Not sure for this I, I just, I just, yeah, I just don't, don't trust certain things. Oh, whoops. But time to find out, I guess. Wait, how do you get two chicken knives? You can, uh, there was a thing where you can like quick save or something like that and get a second one. Weird. Yeah. I don't need it in this case, but it could be interesting. Yeah, wow. I mean... Duplicating chicken knives. Look at this guy. Dual wield. <laughs> Have a freelance <laughs> movie. Like, like, just master ninja, dual wield, dance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, bye, Snake! Whee! Nice. Good to know. So you can get both the chicken knife and the other one as well. Yeah, that that's what you need to do, actually. Yeah, completion. Get I think my eyes, my everything. eyes today when they were like, you know, going through the, uh, you know, just re just re reading chat of we've been running. Someone said Brave Blade runs are fun. Yeah. I'm not sure I read the rest. A red, a red, a red mist descended. <laughs> just couldn't. Uh, everyone does one once, I think. I've done like two or three. You're the exception to the rule. We do majority of the time, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like. I, I was considering, would I do another one? Maybe I should try and do another one on this version. If, I, if I'm going to do, like, I guess, like a full Bastiri run or something. That is, yeah, yeah, to fill it out one time. That's pretty much... Alrighty. Welcome to the void. Man, it takes long to pick up these weapons, doesn't it? I know, right? 
<laughs> like I actually got into the castle <laughs> while you were still there. Oh man, it's insane. Did I catch another zoo? I don't know, did you? I hope so. Uh, Otherwise I'd have to catch the dragon but... I didn't see it, that's... But I dragon Avis isn't hard to catch if it helps, just... Did he... did Yagamos chat? Did, did he catch a zoo after Fork Tower? Why does I guess I'll, I can just check whether Trial has... I believe or not. I mean, you could. Bong bong. Bong bong. I might pick up some more elixirs than usual. That's what I It's never bad to have elixirs, I'll say that. Yeah. I do agree. Also, unfortunately, you cannot catch a grenade and release it on other magia. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, but it doesn't actually make him like. Do anything, yeah. Yeah. It's 3000 damage, I guess. Probably the biggest difficulty I will run into is going to be Necrofolk with my levels. Necrofolk's just yeah. scary in general with this group. With Shell I survive one, but that's about it. I mean, same yeah, situation we're all in, really. Even with 28 I'm in the same spot, I can be it's my character twice, it's just over. I mean, if you get, like, two turn two, you oh. probably survive two of them. That is true, I do survive two uh, Aga spells. How did this formation happen? Please, Fork Tower. Alright, it's Are you still in the castle? First goes to White Mage with Heart. Get me the heck out of here. That goes to that takes forever. Dance with time. Uh, it's magic. Oh, get him gone, get him gone. Alright. Stick this on you for right now. Like that. And yeah, you are all good. Go. Let's go. Eh? Don't smash the chocobo. Uh, let's change turns. Very good. Get up. Oh my god, I almost got wrecked for the first fight. Welcome to the void. Welcome to Kalatis Terry. Where she has 17,000 HP, but we have Meteor. So. Uh, yeah. Big deal, honestly. Yeah, okay. Oh, please. Just need to not forget about it. God damn it, dude. Cool. First two fights got earthquaked immediately. I mean, I could have sword dance because I've objected the knife. Hello. So, I'm 
Unfortunately, the incentive for fighting Omega has not been met, otherwise I would probably be still outside ranging, to be fair. Yeah, but... I think we all would be. <laughs> <laughs> but I would at least have a plan. I mean, I also have a plan. Grind to level 5000 and then fight Omega. Oh hey, I found Hydra! Oh, friendly. <laughs> Okay, next up, welcome to a panda. It doesn't look like a panda, but I can assure you it's a panda. And this guy is vulnerable to Berserk, which means if you Berserk an enemy, they basically just don't do anything except for do physical attacks. He would have some nasty things like drain attacks and counter attacks and stuff like that, but all that goes out the window. Wow, that's what I'm What a mean. Please. Let's go. I did not need to buy these fighting rods. Uh, teleports! Teleports! Yeah, as long as you like to do like, meteor and stuff, it's fine. Uh, teleport, yeah, okay. I'll set up for teleport. You need time six and white six. Alright, single Dragon Avis, please. <laughs> oh, just two. Just two. I have exactly what I need. I turned it off. What? Oh, okay. All right. Dragon Avis is a cat from release, and they do 25% of the enemy's maximum health and damage as wind. And I'm gonna use that against the final boss. So conveniently enough, there are Hermes sandals in this place here. So I can actually get a second pair for myself. Yeah. to cast haste every time. Yep. I am personally just way too lazy for that. <laughs> so am I. <laughs>
Oh, please. Yeah, yeah. Just so I have to heal, thanks. Uh. Right, welcome to Catastrophe, where if you're floating, he tries to make you not float anymore. But because I have a reflex ring on, well, he can't make me not float anymore. Actually, I killed him before he did even a second turn, so... That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so never mind, that's a completely different point. Oh. That is my strategy as well. Oh no, you ulted me, why? Especially the reason I tripped up the protection. Also, we don't have to fight Azulmania because it's not in the rules, I guess. I don't understand. Next up, Polycanazo. Something like 40,000 HP? Actually, I forget. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, uh, yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. By Kala. I like how a panda can uh, counterattack flirt when it hits. Weird. He does counter a lot of stuff he shouldn't, actually. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like it. Alright, Dragon Avis. Oh, okay. Dragon Avis. You to be uh, this. I didn't equip the card for it, I think. That might be a problem. I'm trying to come at Let's see if I equip it. I did. They want me to heal before every boss today. Okay, now I can take this off of you finally. We'll give you this. Alright. My cactus have basically no more MP remaining, so. We do the dreadful thing and use Alexis outside of combat to do the spell. Oh my goodness. Item sorting. Oh, please. Next up is Twin Tanya. 50,000 HP, weak to holy, but we actually have an even better solution because once Twin Tanya starts charging up its Giga Flare, it will basically no longer be able to resist the instant death attacks, which is exactly what we will be using. Well, if we hit the this, that's kind of the big hit. And hit punish first try. Shocking! <laughs> Very shocking. Alright. Well, there are other dances besides Jitterbug and, and uh, Mr. Waltz. Are you sure? We didn't see him in that fight. <laughs> I understand. 
If you need more Alexis, these crystal dragons here have them as a common steal. So if you have a thief's knife, just try to steal once or twice. And accidentally get, accidentally get dragoon lances when you want the Alexis. Kana is basically vulnerable to virtually everything while charging up for bigger cliff. Next up we have Greg. Greg, you only need to deal 7500 damage. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Just ask him to take a seat after a few meteor showers. Oh, you run into... Yeah, yeah, it's, I just don't have place. Oh, wait, I, I can vanish. This is on purpose, but... Okay, there we go. Messed up because I forgot to take the reflect ring off of Cryo and then, then tried to haste her. Whoops. So rude, man. Let's fix that and give you the proper Hermes sandals that I picked up for you. Them. I mean, please get the sword dance. It's hard to kill things. Jesus. Alright. This is gonna be interesting. I'm actually for the first time gonna reduce my battle speed to slow here for the necrophobe fight because you have very little time to get a turn in if you get lucky. Banish has such a bad hit rate, I can't stop on him first just in case. Wow, it took me four tries to get that to hit. I'm glad I had stop. Alright, uh, one of my answers. Oh. 
place again, wait for us. Oh. I can't run from this guy. <laughs> Get out of the way, old guy! Ah, oh, man. So many back attacks. So many back attacks. So if you get a rank counter outside here, by the way, it's really funny. You can't actually run from it. That includes our move and uh, the magic dragon formation. It's really funny. <laughs> One word for it. Uh huh. Haha, -ha, funny. Indeed. I really do feel the encounter. Can I please just not get a back attack again? <laughs> like, oh. Real. So I'm not really commentating on Necrophobe here, I guess. Oh, you didn't have shell? Or did you just not survive it? Okay, lag was tiny. Flirt. Butts goes dancer. Wait, no. Butts goes dancer to white. Chicken knife. Speed. Good luck. Uh, well. No, oh, first try. Yogs. 
two of them off. No! <laughs> the wrong person was ready to... Oh, that's really frustrating. I'm coming! I should just use the rod at the, the lamp at this point. Yeah, it's not going my way. Please, game. Alright, got Necrophobe. So the short version about Necrophobe is he has four barriers, each one of them has 8100 HP, and they will always cast Holy or Flare on themselves in turn one. This is about a thousand damage, so unless we have Shell on us, it will one-shot one cat, because there's four barriers and the battle speed is really difficult to de deal with, and it's difficult to get a turn in before these barriers occasionally. So if we can shell up everybody, we're usually fine to kind of then go into the next round. And afterwards, you just deal with Necrophob, who is actually weak against literally every element, so holy, breaking rods, whatever you want to do, it's all going to work out pretty well. I didn't have a bloody phoenix down, dude. Do the rays and the pigs. Ah, so I tried to stop one, and one came out of stop just as I was going to get my next turn to kill one, and so it just. Ah, yeah. I didn't really realize I used all my phoenix downs. Uh -oh. I have to run back to fix my lamp, which I really didn't want to do. Good luck. And we get the final save point here. That also means I can use Magnetal Cottage. Worked out the first time. I didn't need to use the magic dagger up. I think that would be better than the second knife, actually. Wait. <laughs> I see you need Shinrigu. Huh? What? No. How could that be? <laughs> this is amazing. There is an incentive for us to fight Shinrigu. It isn't meant yet. No. Unless it was met in the What lock. do you mean? What do you mean? I don't understand. How is it not met? Is it not met? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's met. I'm fighting him. <laughs> Let me check. Are you genuinely, genuinely doing the Shinri <laughs> a, 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 a yes. grind? Yes, 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 yes. That's where I feel. <laughs> okay, that is god like dude. That is, that, that is that is the god strat. Yeah, I was really concerned, but then again, we are a lot used to chicken. Them, so. But yeah, Shinryu, if you have a white mage, maybe. that's the short version. Worst case scenario, you don't have good damage, but we have Menio run them. Sure, damn. Now, despite the fact that I am a bit behind everyone, because um, they're coming up to the end of the uh, void, I'm actually really happy with this, because I'm like, feel like 20 minutes ahead of my run last time, so that's really good. Definitely quite the improvement. I did not time my individual splits, so I only know... Well, I actually don't even know my final time. I don't yeah, even I know seven, that one. I had a, a 7.33 entering the void at 6.30 or so, and it's like 6.08, so... 
I have no idea how you guys got in at 5, 5.30. That seems, seems unreal, unreal to me. I've had some pretty bad, bad luck, but I don't know. Okay, we pretty I'm much finished World 1 at the same time, and you guys did, like, a 17-minute grind. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm through say. Necrophobe. I meant to turn the battle speed down to slowest, and I just forgot and somehow still pulled it off on normal. With a lot of pause buffering. <laughs> I killed this crystal dragon who looked weird. I don't know. Strange. He took a lot more hits too than the crystal dragon. Is it just me, or do you always think when you go and t touch the statue that you hey, that you put another one down? I keep running to the bloody weapons, and it's like, nope, you can't open it. You are. Time. You slow for this? Interesting. Chicken knife. Mommy's tiara. Alrighty, welcome to Excess. First phase has 49,000 and 1 HP. Uh, and... You need the gold hairpin. Let's see. Optimize, give me the Magus Rod and the Hermes and Sandals. Check. Do not forget to give you time magic. Uh, Just double check everybody's equipment. Just like... Everything looks good. Make sure abilities are right. Yeah, yeah, guys, just gonna buff in phase one and then pretty much uh, try to not get hit by other stuff. At the end. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Oops, it works. I'm gonna put another tablet down. Uh, shell. It literally takes more than three three minutes to get all these with these weapons, doesn't it? Jesus. Yep. Bit faster than hitting X. So. Because I forced that encounter right before fighting Necrophobe as well, it meant there was a very good chance I was going to make it to the um, final teleporter without another encounter. So I did that intentionally so I wouldn't have to worry about um, losing a little bit of MP on any of that. That's kind of clever. I didn't think about that. Okay, Alright, see the damage. Okay, Ferris is a good target. Even if she dies, it's fine. Don't kill my Lala. Good. Did I not slow down time anymore? I might have forgotten. That's why we have speed, which All is right. a super weird time age though. I do need to remember to, bump, to drop my battle speed after this cutscene, though. I'm literally going to go over to my notes and highlight that so I can see it. <laughs> yep. I say, not that's that's definitely something. Not a very common sentence from Mr. Elmagus. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, screw it, it doesn't matter. I'm missing one. Right. Ah, it's fine, it doesn't matter. My life is not over. Alright. Nope. <laughs> Please the counter of self holy and flare by one. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That's just root, my friend. And the white one. These two have to like serve themselves anyway. All the mystery waltzes today. As long as I get the other thing, please do. This guy can skip his turn in phase one, one in three times. 
one in three times his white hole receives both death and petrify, so you need to remove both statuses uh, separately, which is kind of mean. Don't stop all this time. Ooh, that was the wrong spell. I wanted slow, not stop. I need to cause damage here. Oh, this is way less I'm damage than the magic to back here. Oh, come on, hit. There it is. Ugh, man. Ah! <laughs> That's one self target. <laughs> Video game! Don't know right. anything else out of these ones. And. Wait, no. Blink. Flirt. At least I didn't sell expert to you. Lena said. Time to elixir back up everybody's MP. Oh, the blazing the flame. as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just done with Necro, but thank you. Phase 2 consists of four separate parts. Bottom right is Almagest, which we absolutely need to kill, otherwise it will kill us since it is not reduced damage through shell, even if it was I was too level level. Anyways. Uh, top right is physical. Far left is magic, which is not heavy, which means the third charge of the magic lamp will kill it. I have very, very little time to kill the Amagus part before I kill me. I need to wait until everybody's ATB was ready, but I did not. So, it's gonna be interesting. Two. So, I have my fairies here, uh, quick and break rods, which co consumes two rods every time I break one for some reason, but it's still worth it. This is the most damage I can do to one card. Mm -hmm. Losing 20 minutes at the start wasn't wasn't the best, was it? <laughs> I have no idea how you guys uh, gained 20 minutes at the start, honestly. I mean, with the start, I mean like we're one yeah, as an entirety. 
plus the start of World 2. That's like where I lost all that time, effectively. Like the first half of the run. All right. I should have broken a rod, you can still break rods as a frog, I forgot about that. because I need to kill the magic card with some pets can always kill something that is not heavy and the farm card is not heavy. Uh, it's actually all practice I, I, without having I it. should... I'm one fight off my uh, mastered um, thing. That's really annoying. I have, need six AVP if I've taken one more set of fights. Uh, um, double Tentetsukun on the stream. Nice. <laughs> Also, the Almaged party is in fact considered a beast, so using the beast killer whip to hit it does extra damage. Mm -hmm. Beast killer whip also can paralyze the Grand Cross part. It's amazing! If it works. One AVP, Yeah, I've had to do that a bunch too. Like, that's the way the time loss comes in, honestly, from characters being dead and then being 1 AP off and everything. Like, stuff it up. I had to do, like, fixing four times, I think. The thing is, I can get this. I can get the AVP for winning this fight, and then that will get me another one. Then I can just get another dra dra Dragon Avis in a follow up. That should be enough. Apparently not. What do I want to do here? Let's do you. Daddy! No! I wasn't the menu! Oh my god, No! Definitely. No! Yeah, that's the mean thing. Almagus can just uh, do the thing anyways while you're in the menu. Oh, I killed it! Nice. Heck. <sighs> oh, yeah. Wait, did uh... I not quick save before? Oh no! <laughs> Watch the cutscene again, though. Uh, Dance. Okay. Don't do anything. All right. Time to set up. Oh, uh, I forgot to release my zoo. Oops. Well, that would do it. Wouldn't that it? would have probably done it because I figured that should be dead since a while now, because I got some good sword dances in that I wouldn't normally have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Elixir dance. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, I forgot to release the zoo. The main reason why I forgot to release the zoo is because the main reason why I forgot to release the zoo is because Cryo was not hasted, and I didn't realize it. Because normally she gets way more turns than that. Done! Done. 
Oh god, that fight's nerve wracking with this setup. <laughs> GG's. GG. Well played. Actually, I think you would have overtaken me in that fight anyways because I was not gonna be fun. Down, it's actually really easy because you can just have one character flirt the vacuum wave part over and over, and then just focus everything on the um on the. Uh, right. No! Grand okay, cost part. And you just burst uh... that, you, you focus that thing down, you'll push it through phases so it generally won't get the grand cross off, and then as long as you just keep flirting with the vacuum wave part, it can't do anything for the remainder of the fight, so you just win. Nice. I definitely forgot to cast float before. Uh, <sighs> before enga engaging my friend. Uh, that's fine, as long as you float in combat. Save before I fall in. All right, round two. Part. Hey, pretty sure I reduce the battle speed, but clearly he doesn't reduce. Well, I would have enjoyed if you actually sort of there. It's a bug. Is not sword dance. That is pretty much where I'm at, yeah. <laughs> Handshake emoji. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. Phase two! Good luck. Good luck. Die. I shouldn't need it technically unless I mess up, but yeah, thank you. Huh. Actually, this time gonna keep exact track of his HP in phase one. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, well, three was actually pretty good for me, I guess overall. Definitely saving time here compared to my practice run. Just the other two worlds that lost a billion. Actually, I'll keep exact track. I will admit, I did get really lucky with sword dances. Lena was dancing like a champ. Please. She does that. That's why she's the best dancer. I believe, I believe the term that the kids use these days is a Lena stand. Mega Flare. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say you. I can't believe the amount, amount of damage you're doing. Absolutely no chance. I have one hundred percent re-equipped with the answer. That's three of these. Just eight. I was gonna say I was getting two K. Chicken knife. I would have just. <laughs> Turn the game off now, like, yeah, cool. That's a doozy. No, we don't do that. I almost hit the softlock thing again. Ah. That would have been bad. I caught myself though. Looking 
8,000 HP of anything. Make that 8,000. Okay, magic around for Odin. Oh no, really? This is very um, so I did get in circles early in, in the run well, on Lena because I fought the Alteroids, and that actually lost me the cat my catch. <laughs> oh, good fun. I still managed to kill it, but good fun. Yeah, that's not great. All things considered. Nope. Thunder storm. I guess this is okay. Okay, so we gotta make sure to know what HP they have. Nice landed. Alright, phase two times two. Yo, the like, Murasame drop from <laughs> Twin Tiny <laughs> FD. Right. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to. It's gonna be awkward because I got Meteor just before phase two. Oh. I already know this. It's 15 for the front one. Now is well. Twenty for the back. All right. Wow, Root, he dispelled. Uh, Lexer, you. Fox is ready. He's using those last stands. Steam. This time I'm not gonna forget about releasing the zoo. Actually, it's in the track maybe. Finished around as we started it, I guess. Ah! GG. 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 Plan is dead though! Ah. <laughs> I don't believe it. That's just making up for the other year where uh, Lena, Lena was the only survivor with only one HP. Oh yeah, no chicken knife, ancient Ryu. Easy. Where's my money? <laughs> what do you mean? What? No! The thing is, objectively, Lena is actually the best female character in this game because she's the strongest with magic. That's just a fact. <laughs> like, you can't even say it's not that, uh, it's not the case. It is the case that she is the strongest with magic. Okay, uh, let's do this. 
please let me get my turn. Don't be a douchebag. No turns for you. I can actually do like necro on normal speed. I actually forgot to turn this turn the speed down. So yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, so did I. Do you have the speed spell? You can like do that. I don't get it, no. Alright. How am I gonna stop? Now we just need to stabilize. Man, I'm actually disappointed. The parts of the run that I should have been good at, I lost a billion. And then the part of the run that I didn't actually practice, I, I saved a billion on. I mean... <laughs> Please do not kill Lena here. That would be devastating. 15 minutes alone in World 1, and then over 5 and 2. Sadness. Okay, it's not ideal, but that's fine. I oh. could have skipped like three shots. <laughs> I almost used the Wonder Wand to set up a nice rod. That would have been not so good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that you want to consider not doing that. <laughs> I agree. Though you do get a funny, funny glitch if you do that. Actually, I guess. don't do it. Aww. It's not bad. They could have okay, left that I one in. Stop mashing. I distinctly remember the ending allowing uh, just auto advancing the text through the whole thing before, but apparently now you have to mash through like the first three quarters of it. Until you get to the tree, yeah. Yep. It's annoying. They're just making sure you're 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 awake so you can get the achievements, really. Achievements? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for finishing the game. You have to watch the credits and then save your save file to get that achievement actually. Uh... How do I know this? I, it's only like I've done it like a couple days ago for the first time. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, aside of me losing a billion, also I would have probably not grinded on Shield Dragons if I had the time to revise that. No, uh, Ferris! <sighs> Anyone else can survive two hits but Faris. Well, actually, Quiles will be close as well. <laughs> and mashed blizzards! That's also an achievement. You kept mashing the buttons. I wouldn't try to land any spells on any of these if I were you. I, I got slow to land on the back part once. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'm pretty sure they are not immune to it, but the magic no, no, is no. just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even bother. I, I guess mean, you can try to punt out like some stuff, like slow go or something. But... I mean, I don't, I don't know if you have flirt equipped on anybody, but you could just flirt one of them and then just auto battle the rest of the fight. No, I had time magic on everybody. That was my strategy. Everybody uh, just quick and attack the arm, I guess, part. Except yeah, I... with, if you don't have the chicken knife, you do need to, like, to have the damage output on everybody, I believe. Um, I... I mean, I only had um, Flirt on the Time Mage, so everyone still did have Time Magic. Yeah. I just gave that up once the Alma Guest part goes down, because my original strat was to see if I could just uh, see if I could just chain Flirt the Alma Guest part and prevent it from ever doing it. But nope, it uh, it still runs its script. It doesn't care. Yeah, it just yeah, straight up that, doesn't yeah. care. It's ridiculous. Which is also kind of why I didn't actually consider going for um, like flirting with the last part, because I figured that might just run its Alma Guest script anyways. I was gonna say, if you get lucky, like, you might just get meteors and stuff and you just see the Tee but like, what if, what if it uses all my guests? Like, it would still do it, right? If that's the case. I think because it's not part of a script or anything, it's just what it does on that turn. I don't, I don't, I mean, I've, ne I've never seen it actually take a turn when it was flirted, like, actually do anything. Huh. Be interesting. It's like, I, I mean, it is a script if only one part is left. That's, that's the whole point, but, yeah. But we also yeah. have haste, and they are not particularly fast in comparison. This is, this is true, yeah. 
Uh, it's pr if I had to guess, it's probably just something specific they coded in for the Alma Guest part and probably the Grand Cross part just to make sure that those actually go off. And the other ones probably don't care. Any hackers in chat that want to check real quick? <laughs> I'm really curious about that actually, because like if that that that, that is kind of like it matters. Like if you can still get Alma Guest there. Uh oh, I get a Grand Cross. That was too slow. I mean. Could have also just been unlucky. Like, <laughs> oh boy. I got Grand Cross once, like immediately almost. I think I'm, I'm fine. really hoping I can actually get a sword dance off for once. That'd be lovely. Oh my. God. Oh my. Oh my. Well, that's not that bad. Oh, I have HP leak on Paris. I don't want to attack right now because I don't remember how much HP leak on Paris. Also, I love the fact that um, if it winds up for Alma Guest and you kill the Alma Guest part, it just doesn't stop shaking. Yep, that's uh, that's okay. I mean, it happens in other versions too, depending on what you do. It stalls. All right. It's just guaranteed to happen here. In the other versions, you might not actually see that. All right, the double break from oh, Perry is gonna do the trick here. Gonna keep the others on standby just in case. And with this, I think. I got it. Crossroad. It was silly that I didn't have lightning rods, but I'm, it probably wouldn't have mattered. When I just forgot to release the root. Well, oh, maybe. There we go. Yeah, yeah, That's like all the damage you're missing, oh, really. Right. Um, you, you can like do the exact same amount of damage with other stuff. With uh, your time mage. Yep. Like the Holy Soul do exactly the same damage as the Thunder Rod breaks. You just don't hit everything. GG. 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 I didn't expect this run to be this fast. I did. In fact, I thought I was half an hour faster, but I wasn't. <laughs> well. Yeah, my, my, my practice runs were around 6.30. Uh, my first one was 6.31, and my second one was like a 6.26 or 6.27 or something. Yeah, yeah. I think I had like 8, eight hours or something. But also, I was kind of routing. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if this, if this, I think if this were on the GBA version, it might have actually been closer to that. Um, just because auto battle does save a lot of time, and being able to work stuff in this version that we couldn't in that one, plus rods being that much more powerful, I think just sped it up by a lot more than we were expecting. Yeah, GBA would have been Beastmaster if we used quite a bit more, and probably have gotten up with the releases. <laughs> wow. Like, the realization that when Autobella comes into play, oh, I can just throw Roth at everything. That's just Autobella. Yay! Uh, Next year, uh, somebody should make a mod so it implements the old ATB of the Super Nintendo GBA version. And then we just don't do auto battle with that one. Yeah. I, th I, I think this is just an unfortunate team, more, more than anything, really. <laughs> Maybe. Because, like, one class or two effectively takes away all the use of the other one. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have a weapon for more than half the run of my Beastmaster. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which just unnecessary. Like, I basically just threw... I threw the main gauche on in more, and that was the... I think the literal first weapon I put on the Beastmaster. I had the main gauche before, that's why I had it already on the Beastmaster, so I did the second one went to the dance Okay. Good luck, Bowie. Yeah, see if uh, I have the. Da I mean, the 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 chicken knife is making up for the damage, so I'm I'm gonna be. I I, I did a bit of a. Only twenty six right. Yeah. I didn't kill anything in this time because I was my straps and still like. I think I was, I believe I was at 26 on everyone when I finished. Probably could have cut my, my, my uh, grind even short, shorter than I did, but again, I know that I'm going to be dealing more damage, damage with chicken knife, but it's just extra cool. Yeah. 
Quick save after the cutscenes, you don't have to watch it again. If in case it all goes tits up. Oh. Looking, I mean, I'm not sure if I can do this in 15 to get the sub 7, but. You can. Should be able to. Just, just don't mess up? Yeah. <laughs> I think my, my two practice runs were 8 hours and 8 3 and 7 3. Already like much better. <laughs> My one practice placer I had was six thirty, faster than I did right now. <laughs> Very disappointing. Hell yeah! Can't wait for Final Fantasy V to get like a prequel featuring the Warriors of Dawn. Definitely gonna happen, isn't it? Ever oh, popular yeah. Final Fantasy V. We, we can hope. <laughs> I mean, the play Final Fantasy V. That's not about the warrior. These guys, though, is it? I have no idea what it's about, but it looks pretty neat. Got a job system in it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The back. Right then, how badly am I gonna get absolutely? Bodied by guy. Well, you just slow him, you haste yourself, you slow the battle speed, and then you can't do anything. That is the strategy I, ha I have in place. Right. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to get white hold four times on my uh, the, the two people who are not actually able to, or who aren't actually. Uh, oh yeah, you have two weapon. Have two, yeah. I, uh, I just swap uh, my. I got it off. Right. Oh. You can equip the money that I get on that other character too. Oh. Would be pretty good damage. It would be. But I... Yeah, I didn't realize how much more damage the money that I get would be for phase one. So. It must be out on like 2000 damage each. So that's. I hate something. Link. Ace. Dun, dun, dun. I can't try, I can't remember the damage it is. Breathe me down to his last 20k, isn't it? I feel like he never gets angry in this version. I don't know though. I haven't oh, I've specifically had it. tried. Yeah, okay. I haven't specifically tried to do to force that, but yeah. Alright, that's everyone. Uh, you know, you know that it's done when you can't open a menu. Like the mo the menus are ready to go, so I have both of my casters ready to go, which is actually really, really nice because I can go straight into uh, double holy. Nice. This, again, even though I have the magic lamp, because of the way that Al Alma Guest works, I need to get rid of it. So I'm all magic lamp when I have uh, with my Beastmaster after I've released. <sighs> yeah, I actually set mine up where I um, I released I popped one charge of the lamp from Bahamut. 
second charge of it, the Leviathan with the Beastmaster, and then I started um, doing quick rods for the Time Mage, and the Beastmaster just finished off with Santa on the second round, and then release, and then a quick release into um, a Syldra on the third round. Did you pick up the air and I forgot. Yeah, I specifically picked up the air and I did in uh, High Story Falls. I lost the magic lamp doing so, but that was exactly that was the whole point. Because after that, I don't care what it actually uses. I'll just follow up with it, I think one of the most difficult parts for me was because I can't just not focus with this guy. I can't easily like calculate stuff on the side for keeping track of HP and stuff. I mean I I was going to keep I was gonna do like HP counting on Ned and then I realized before it works. It's like, oh well I can just do that. Yeah. I want to. You would have to definitely been way faster than me on that end because I was just being careful there instead. Well it would have been. Yeah, I need to get a blink up. Well, I've done enough damage here so far. 14k, 34, 40, 40. Baking? I got the 7k from the sword dance as well, so... We'll listen out for it. Got it. Down. Nine minutes. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> careful with, with my timer here because like the damage I've done with AoEs is going to be good that I probably need to be careful how with how much damage I'm dealing. I can get a beast, I can get the beast killer on Gobby. Back bit, back cross. Okay. I have Lena's turn up with quick so I should be able to deal with anything unless she dies or gets paralyzed. Oh miss, perfect. <laughs> And then that goes off. Okay, so I need to do cost two holy waters to get rid of that, but that's fine. Should use uh yeah. Uh, let me just check that I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use Libra just because I want to make sure this should be quite close. Twelve thousand. Oh. Libra on the middle bit. So that's twelve thousand. I'm sort of Range. Perfect. Huh. Elixir up. Green. Green. That's the wrong person to attack. That was silly. Ah, uh, I got the yeah, plus one to the uh, target yourself counter. I only did it one time, so proud of myself. I think it was like 16. Sixteen and twelve, that's gonna be ten and fourteen. Eight and twelve. Well, you know. Seven.
Should be it. Make sure I get this off, then I can break and we're done. Got it. Must have. Must have got it. Actually, yeah, there's one one piece left. Grand Cross piece. And it should be dead. within 30 minutes of, that is within 30 minutes, by 4 seconds, within 30 minutes of first. I'll take that. Woo! It's 53 and 41. On my screen it's 41 anyway. Yeah, my first practice was 8.03, just to, say, to save an hour and ten since that first practice run was... That's good. Perhaps the best the run run I've done. Yeah, how many have you been part of now? Fourth? Anyway, I think my first one... Yeah, that first, that first one was that legendary mo moment with Jenya where he got trolled for like an hour and a half. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> If I think everyone remembers the uh oh, <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> the uh oh heard around the world. <laughs> like, we had a berserker, didn't we? And Cryo, yeah. Cryo, like I think no, some, so, he accidentally killed the piece, and then Cry everyone died but Cryo, and then Cryo randomly targeted the only piece alive and killed it. <laughs> what a moment! O only Genya could do something like oh, that. Oh yeah, godlike. Yeah, I think, uh, oh yeah, definitely, uh, I think the last one was, uh, my last one wasn't so good. Quality with this one. Someone has to come last. But... Yeah, that's pretty good still. I think you got a lot, uh, to put in a lot more time this year than last one too. So yeah. Yeah. I think this was this was a really good team, a really interesting team though. I actually did enjoy it. I know that obviously auto battling is one thing. Otherwise, I would just be, it would have been putting it all. Like, I still thought it was quite a good a good team overall. I haven't had time mage in in a four four job fiesta for about three four years. It feels like, so uh, I don't often get to play to play with it. So it's those strats are rolling in. Yeah, yeah. time mage is time mage is really powerful when you. We, we, uh, under the right, uh, not even necessarily under the right circumstances. It just has a lot of, it has some powerful damage spells, and it has a ton of utility. Yep, just slowing down enemies and hasting your party is so insanely powerful. Even in the Pixel Remaster here, where it's not quite as insane, but it's still really good. Mm. Um, to remind people as well, um, this, now that we're done. This is GG's. Um, the Four Job Fiesta, please go to fourjobfiesta.com to find out more, um, will be starting whenever RK wakes up. Um, remember, he is in Japan, so that's what, plus, apparently plus uh, well, eight. Plus eight, so it'd be it's probably like, like midnight his time, so. His, um, his icon in Discord is actually showing that he is active. Oh my god, it's green! He's al he is awake and alive! It's, it's only midnight! Come on, um, but yeah, basically, when when we're done, he will then activate everyone's runs, and then they can all crack on with the fi with the fiesta. So it is now, um, it's the, yeah, the fiesta is now going to be starting for the next three months until September. So you have as much time as you can to play a ton of FF5, raise a ton of money for charity as well. Very important. Also, please get out, support. Um, Obviously, we'll kind of keep going into our case here because I think he normally wants to say hi and get and like send you all off on your way. But um, obviously, I think we have mentioned earlier, but Riz, Rizzy, who's been uh, doing the restreaming for us, um, thank you very much, mate, for sitting down and having to listen to us rattle on. Um, yep. He has to go obviously at some point. Um, I think it's in like an hour and a half. So yeah, we actually crushed the time and made it so he could keep go. But um. <laughs> Also to R R RPG Limit Break for hosting this event every year. Um, much 
Waxel and the team, letting us uh, do that. I should probably be answering the time. Um, yeah. Good race this, this year, guys. It was a good one. Yeah. GG, and thank you for playing. Because this was definitely quite different than basically any other year with their pixel remasters. There's like so many little things that are just different. Hmm. Like if you're playing casually, you may not even necessarily notice so many like little things being different, but if you have like a lot of experience in one thing, it's just strange. Not bad, just strange. And I think this was kind of refreshing, I would say. People yeah, I think it's it's it's, it's <laughs> a different experience of the same thing that we know. Like we we know very well, so it's like we know what we can do with it. But there's always new things that we found that are kind of oh, some have been awful, some of them have been kind of funny, and some have been really interesting. Um, things that get that get, that are you know for some for, for some reason light or can be like raised rather than things like the drain and osmos techniques are really really cool and yeah it's just there's loads of little things. Working on basically everything. Oh mate, yeah, X Death World Two flirts. Because <laughs> the thing is, is X Death World World Two is one, honestly one of the hardest fights in in the game. It really is. It's a very very hard fight, and some comps are going to really struggle with it unless you just grind out levels. But flirt just shut it down. Crazy. Dance is really powerful in in this ver in this version. Which job was MVP? Oh, the rods. Yeah. The time mage really was the best the best job we had because like. Rods for um, breaking, like, rod, rod breaking as a whole, if you don't already know, is really broken in the, in, in the pixel remaster because not only does it not split damage, you're getting the single target damage, but you can also boost it but with rods because you don't break rods from the equip menu anymore, you break them from the equipment menu, uh, from the item menu. You can have a fire rod equipped and then break a fire rod and you get the 50% bonus. So it's nuts powerful against like multiple targets. Um, so like loads of jobs are going to be um, enhanced by, by that. Time Mage, one of them. Red Mage will be another. But um, yeah, and then we like Comet, just getting us through World Two. I guess our key might have been gone to, uh, gone to sleep anyways. So whenever it's morning in Japan, it is probably when the photo of guest begins. If you're lucky, it might be before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess with that, I mean, I guess, yeah. Um, whenever, I mean, from any, anywhere between now you're, oh, and then whenever um, RK wakes up, you'll be getting your jobs and you can crack on with your first fiestas. Make sure to get streaming them yourselves, everyone. And uh, use, I think the, the, the Twitter hashtag is, what is it, FJF2022? I think RK wants to try and ha give it a little bit more of a social media presence this year. Um, so, yeah, try and do that. Um, oh, you don't have to. I'm not, I'm not saying you must, but if you can, it'd be nice. Um, but I think with that, we can end the show and send you all on your merry way to some unsuspecting fool who's currently streaming and isn't expecting a thousand people to, to roll in. Yes. <laughs> any, any, a, any suggestions? To well, I put my suggestion in chat. See whether, like. That's my one suggestion I have. Actually, maybe just say it out loud, I guess. If anybody knows Duckfist, that would be my suggestion for somebody to watch. He's currently playing Crystal Project, which is a new RPG that is actually much, very much in the vein of Final Fantasy V with the job system, but like an open world with platforming. It's actually very fascinating. Can recommend you check it out. But whether mm -hmm. we're going to read or host him, that's, well, we'll going to be up in the air. I because didn't even realize it was an RPG. Yeah. But, okay. Going to duck once the Agus has it? Oh. I mean, it's one of those things. It's very um, somewhat on brand with the job systems. So, yeah, I mean, I'm... Yeah. Yeah. You can basically change your job at any time. You can mix and match abilities. It's a really, really good game. Like, it's very niche because it's also platformy heavy, but if you don't know Duckfist, it's been a long time stay in the speedrunning community. He's a very pleasant individual, to say the very least, and just started speedrunning that game. <laughs> Looks like we have an option. So, uh, yeah. Right then. Fellas, GG's. 
TT. Thank you for playing. Thank you for running, and have a good time. Good, good luck, everyone out there on your four job fiestas. Have a good time, and uh, enjoy your final your Final Fantasy fives. We'll see you all soon. Okay, any final words, Goose? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good final word. Bye. Yes, cheers. cheers.